This episode of the Grappler Union Podcast is brought to you by BJJ Tees. Go to BJJTees.com, enter the promo code GRAPPLERUNION, and save 10% off all your jiu-jitsu apparel. Go to BJJTees.com today. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Grappler Union Podcast. Paul Maloney alongside Anthony Zito. This podcast is an EBI 12 fight companion. Joining us in studio is Omar Ocasio, black belt under Eddie Bravo, Amber Kamishki, purple belt under Vienna Brothers, and Javier Palomo, purple belt under Josh Pacini. Enjoy. I need the six minutes. That's what happens in that six minutes. You told me using any technique that works. Never to limit myself to one style. To keep an open mind. We're not here just to take part. We're here to take over. In order to become more peaceful, in order for you to become better, and, and strategize your life. Be live. All right. Welcome, everyone. We're having some technical difficulties here in the studio. Right, Zito? I mean... Or is this, are we running on Eddie Bravo time here? Yeah. Well, no, the technical difficulties with Fight Pass. They kind of... Uh, hmm. They took away... For some reason, it took away being able to cast it using Chromecast. And so I had to, like, plug in my HDMI cable to the iPad to, like, stream it off our TV. Are we getting in some, like, some Google, Apple conspiracy theory? It's something. Here? I don't know. Going on? I don't know. Maybe UFC doesn't like uh, Chrome. What? No, we're leaving the door open because it's getting hot as shit in here. Here's the thing. So we built the box here. We built the podcast studio. I'll just call it the box. And um, we built it in the winter. When it was nice and chill. When it was beautiful. It was like great. And uh, Forgot to put a vent in. Forgot to put a vent in for the uh, summer. And so it's like cold as shit out there. But coming here, you're like, you know, in a sauna. Right. So my my (laughs) brother-in-law is supposed to come out and throw that vent in. Uh... I talked to him earlier today, and he's like, yeah, man, you should have hit me up in the spring. I'm like, well, in the spring, I didn't need you. I didn't think about it in the spring. <laughs> yeah. I think about it. It's summer. So, um, I bet you math therapy has AC in their studio. I bet you they do. Yeah, yeah I'm sure they do. Why don't yeah. you do like you do in the city? Put a fan on the window. Yeah. That, that'd right? be put a window summer. unit in? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be just amazing. <laughs> just constant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean I, as is, we're getting serenaded by the cicadas here. So. We are. I mean, it's okay, though. It's like uh, it's not our normal podcast, so yeah. It's like we don't have to be so profesh in this. Honored world. to have Chicago's newest black belt in studio. Yes, Omar, Omar. back at it. <laughs> Dang. All right, and and like firefighter now, right? Yeah. Oh, Legit. not yet. It will be in will September. Be. September. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is there like a formal graduation? Like, yeah. Yeah, he gets his white belt. Yeah, did you have the graduation? Yeah. We get like, like the day loose. after you got promoted to black belt. I got Is that a dream come true back to back. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of like that. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, that is cool. It's like dress. W- we get dressed blues, like the pre, like military. You know, I was be hard to top that weekend. I was super happy going to the seminar. You know, wrapping stuff with Eddie. It was fun, but the highlight, honestly, was when you got your black belt. I cried. I didn't think I was gonna cry. Yeah, you did. A did bit. you cry? He a did. little bit. I had uh, one tear, and then I started thinking about negative thoughts, so I could stop crying. <laughs> it was made me cry. It was made. Uh, yeah. You cried, baby. I know. I I've like, never. I've never seen anyone get a black belt. Like, I've seen it on YouTube, but I've never like been present. Person. Like, yeah. Weren't you there for Adelaide? No. Well, was I? I thought, you, no, I thought you were. I was there for a bunch. I was there for Rasan's or not. Was I there for Adelaide? Shit. Was I? Oh, Dang. oh. I put him on spot. Sorry. Is this recording? <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> no. I went were with... you in Kentucky for that camp? Oh, shit. You're yes. right. There you go. Sorry, Dang. Omar. Fuck, dude. I got my, my cherry popped a while ago. Dang. So Dang. it wasn't that special now. But, now I think about but, it, it wasn't that special. But Adelaide, not your instructor. Not my instructor. True. That's a, that adds True. a level. Omar, my instructor. Oh, wow, you so. said that on the podcast. Yeah, I did. It's awesome. It's all right, man. Much love. Oh, was, was that secret? Was, it, was, was that not revealed? Yeah. No, it was revealed. He, doesn't, oh, okay. he really like, doesn't, talk, he doesn't <laughs> talk about me in public. No. Are, no. You, the, are you the black the black sheep black yeah. guy? <laughs> Omar's a secret weapon. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What's going on here? Uh, li- it says the live stream will begin shortly. shortly. You yeah. know, fucking Thanks, Eddie, Eddie and Tenth Planet time. LA time. So in LA right now it's six twelve. Obama. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, 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 here we go. I, I had to invoke yeah. the right name. <laughs> <laughs> 
I wonder if I can make that larger. I probably could, right? I could probably zoom in with this TV. Matt Therapy, they usually have theirs pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Is that better? That's better. Okay. Is that acceptable? <laughs> <laughs> Who runs their technical stuff? Like, like is, um, is their technician? I think maybe this Donna. They might do it themselves. No, well, the, no, I just, I no the same dude who does uh, Joey Diaz's podcast. That's What's that guy's Lee? name? Lee? Yeah. Lee. I think oh, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Are they still in the same studio? I'm not sure. Oh, do you know? I'm not too sure. I think because they, they've been doing their stuff like on the road yeah, now, right? Like that. they go into gyms and they do the podcast and mm-hmm. I see them in couches and all over the place. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they, 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 have, they have fresh air wherever they go. They do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this TV muted here because for legal reasons I don't think we could actually like air the broadcast, right? Yeah, we would probably get pulled. Right. Or the UFC would probably write us a letter. I'm always curious what's an angry letter. It's right. like it's like this cuz this looks trippy as hell. So is is Eddie playing like smoke serpents in, in the background for this it does intro look very here? Trippy. Omar, did you help put this together? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> This is it's like ayahuasca something, right? Yeah, yeah. Ayahuasca LLC. That's like inch by inch. Ooh, who's that? Oh, I don't know. Inch yeah. by, but it's <laughs> inch by inch was what Jean Jacques Machado was yelling yeah. to Eddie during that Metamorphs fight against Hoyler. Oh, like, really? Inch by inch, Eddie. Inch <laughs> by inch. I don't know. Did he make a company out of it? No, or something? <laughs> Maybe. That's yeah. smart. Did they, I, Dude, I I that, that, that logo looks a little different. It looks like they updated the logo a little bit. The Twister logo? It looks the same. It looks the exact same. Oh, okay, guys. Um, th- that's why I have my iPad here. I mean, my uh, laptop. Your ThinkPad. Your ThinkPad. My ThinkPad, that's exactly. Because I need to. You don't understand. I remember when EBI won, we were doing it at some like nightclub, and we had to build the stage for it. Really? Build the stage. Like, literally, frame like, it out? Frame it out. Yes, it right. was the worst thing ever. And literally, like, it took about a couple hours to get it up. We were doing two divisions at that time. By the time we tore it down, I wasn't home until like four or five in the morning. It was the worst. Damn, it was the worst. Who was like the carpenter out of the group there? Like I don't you know. guys roll in with like nail guns and like yeah. hoses and compressors and there stuff. Were, there or? was an army. There was an army yeah. there for sure. I mean, it's good to have your own private army, I guess. Ooh, ah, oh, oh, there we go. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh yeah, the uh, combat, combat jiu-jitsu. jiu-jitsu. Tonight There's too. a combat tonight too, right? Yes. Yeah. Is it a women's yeah. combat? Yes. yes. Oh yes. Same weight for yes. women. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So the 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 inventors of the bitch slap. We're gonna see the pioneers <laughs> working it here today with the palm strikes. <laughs> Returning jujitsu to its roots, is that yeah, what you're all about? Exactly. All right. That's why I'm saying like the next evolution here has gotta include the pimp slap. We gotta uh, the pimp hand we gotta <laughs> allow like that, that those knuckles. At least not, not a closed men's. fist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, exactly. Because men need to keep their pimp hands strong. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know? Yeah, that's what it's all about in life. You know, I, it's kind of amusing here as I'm thinking about it, though. Like, you know, we don't we don't know what they're saying. They're probably explaining the rules in detail right now. But you know, it's like we're just showing the combat jujitsu. It's all dudes. We're about to we're about to get you know right. an all female card. There's probably some hype music going on <clears throat> for sure. <clears throat> I have to assume that. Yeah, we really should have waited till it started to start. But who cares? Well, I thought we were going to talk about things other yeah, than plenty of things to talk about. Yeah. We, is, we should just keep keep saying, hello, guys, welcome. So that way we can just again. edit it. Just yeah. loop it over and over again. Yeah. Speaking of podcasts, this is your second podcast of the weekend, Javier. Whoa. The second podcast of the day. Of the day. Yes, yes. I. You're going to try and squeeze another one in after this? or um, You know, actually, can we end this early? I, I do actually have something else scheduled. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Whose podcast did you do? So uh, I, I was on the Grappling Central Fucking podcast. Fucking traitor. Uh, God Total damn it. traitor. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving on up here. I'm going to become their consigliere. Oh, really? <laughs> How does yeah, Ryan no. Ford's balls taste? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that. I like that podcast. Yeah, no. How, no. Did, how long was it? You know, I, I I didn't time it out, and, and I know the may do some edits and whatnot, yeah. so I couldn't say for sure. Um, it probably probably took less than an hour. Yeah. Um, you know, it was just a, a quick Skype conversation. Uh, got set up just kind of out of the blue a while back. He, he Does he do video now? Like, so when you Skype in, will that be on YouTube? No, no, YouTube it, it, or? it was strictly audio. So, okay. I mean, I guess, I, guess, I guess he potentially could, but yeah, he's just using that 
so he doesn't have to make like an actual phone call, I assume. Right, but wouldn't you know? the, quali- the the audio quality be better on the phone? Over Wi Fi versus over, over Wi Fi? Uh, doesn't Skype always give issues? Buffering it, it and seemed, skipping and It shit. seemed to go pretty well. So uh, I'm not an avid Skype user. I do occasionally use like Google Hangouts to, to like video chat with my wife, yeah. almost never for phone calls. Riley Bodycomb, actually horrible, horrible human being that can't seem to remember that I have a cell phone number, always calls me through Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I mean, honestly, it's pretty convenient. Um, you know, uh, so long as you've got a good internet connection. I've never, never done it. Never yeah, it works pretty well. Does it? Like, yeah. I've, I've called people that I don't actually have the phone number to, but I, I message them. Yes. So it's like, okay, this works. You know, yeah. And, and yeah, so long as you've got a solid connection, you know, strong LTE or, or a Wi-Fi connection, it's pretty reliable. Decent signal. Cool. And then how do you get hooked up with him? So, um, you know, I've been a big fan of his podcast for, I don't know, even how long now. I've been, you know, a long-time listener. And... Uh, you know, I I actually reached out to him when you guys started off, just to be kind of like, hey, could you know, could I ask your professional opinion on this sort of thing? And uh, we got to chit chat and whatnot. Found out, you know, he's originally from uh, the area. You know, he's from Chicago, um, and, and whatnot. Cool guy. You know, really, you know, enjoyed talking with him. And you know, it's kind of it's kind of neat because you, you get tidbits of what people are like on air but you know like like it's it's different when you chat with them personally one on one and whatnot yeah and i can't even remember exactly how it got brought up like i'd have to go back and look but uh at one point we were chit-chatting and uh i said something along the lines of like you know hey maybe one day i'll i'll do something noteworthy enough to end up on the grappling central podcast and he's like oh did, did do you want to come on the show i'm like Yes. <laughs> like, what kind of question is this? Of course I do. Um, you know, it sounds like it'd be a cool time. And uh, so, so we set a date for it, which was today. And I wasn't even thinking about it, but I hit him up the other day. You know, we were we were talking, uh, like making sure that everything was still on schedule and whatnot. And I'm like, oh, by the way, I'm I'm going down to St. Louis on Saturday. I'm actually driving back on Sunday. I'm going down to St. Louis Saturday to do combat wrestling trials. Um, you know, hopefully I win. Maybe we can talk about it on air. Right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. That'd and, be note- uh, noteworthy enough, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, I did win, sort of. I, I, uh, I accomplished my primary objective. Um, my, my, my ideal situation would, of course, be to take gold. I took silver, but... Uh, uh, in my weight class, I was the only master's division competitor. Um, so I got shoved in with the young lions. And uh, as a result, uh, we're allowed to field one adult and one master's uh, on the uh, on the world team. So uh, I get to go to Japan uh-huh. in October to compete at, a, at the world level in the master's division. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty cool. They're going to fly you out? So the, the way it works is uh, U.S. Combat Wrestling is uh, is doing fundraising right now for the whole team. Okay, uh, the money will be broken out based on your performance at the trials. So since I got silver, I get the money like the the most money, the top priority of the money, I should say, is going to go to the gold medalist. Okay, and then silver, right, um, or or master's division uh, athlete, I should say. So, uh, so yeah, the objective, obviously, is to get funding for everyone, but first place finishers, regardless of age category, so, like, if a master's division guy took first, he's going to get the funding. If an adult division guy took first, he'd get the funding right. priority. Uh, and then, you know, what's left over, or, again, hopefully everyone gets fully funded, you know, then, then we worry about the silver medalists okay. at that point. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it, that's going to be... October 21st uh, in Japan um, it's gonna it's gonna be a, an experience <laughs> I'm looking forward to it probably fly out get there on the Tuesday before weigh-ins will be that Friday and then we'll compete on Saturday and a couple of teammates one too Matt Paul yeah so uh, old, your boy Riley so th- this was kind of like Riley presented the idea to me and I was originally 
going to just kind of go down there and, and hang with Riley and, and, and then Nelson and Hillary. Play magic. Of course. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Watch some. Just, just say play magic. Watch some geek movies, right. eat some food that I absolutely shouldn't be eating before competition. Um, but yeah. Yes. What, what is geek food? No, eat some food that that I shouldn't be. Oh, eating. I thought you said geek food. I was referencing like geeky stuff, like 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 we watched Spider Man Homecoming recently together. Yeah, because <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyhow, so Nelson was going to be there. Hillary's going to be there. Uh, Riley was going to be down there, and I'm like, hey, Dan Conway, you want to take a you want to take a road trip down to St. Louis, and we'll hang with our boys. And he's like, yes, absolutely. And then I'm like. Well, this is stupid. I mean, we're already dry. Hey, does anyone else want to come? You know, so I, I threw out all the information to the guys at 10th Planet. And I'm like, hey, it's it's wrestling with submissions. You, you know, like, like, here's how the points work. Here's the uniform you need. Is anyone down? And uh, Dean wound up coming down. Matt Paul wound up coming down. Uh, John Mejia came down. Um, Matt Paul took gold. So he, you know, he, he's, he's going to Japan 100%. I'm going to Japan. Um, John took silver in the heavyweight division. The guy that took gold is master's age category. So, uh, you know, assuming he's, you know, he gets fully funded, okay? Assuming he doesn't want to compete in the adult division, that means John potentially can go as the adult competitor. Right. And that guy can go as the master's competitor. And it makes more sense if that happens because we get to field one extra athlete that way at the world championships. Yeah. So, yeah, um, you know, we, we got we got complimented well for, you know, bringing a, bringing a pretty big team down. Um, a, a lot of other uh, – Vlad Kulikov had, I think – Three or four athletes came in from Evolution Grappling Academy. Okay. Uh, Westside MMA, I think, had two. Um, there were a lot of local talents. Um, I'm trying to remember where uh, Riley brought a big team. Um, uh, him, Chris, Kate, Stefan. Um, so yeah, there was a big, big San Francisco contingent, Berkeley. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, it was a, it was a good time. Uh, had a blast. Really looking forward to doing it again. Only, again, we'll be in Japan. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I'm super excited, man. And, like, it's right outside of Tokyo, so. Yeah. Well, it looks like they're about to start EBI here. Who do you got for this, Amber? Who's, uh, who's the favorite here? If I go by personally, I always have to cheer on Nikki. Right. Trained with her, been beat by her numerous times. Nikki Sullivan. But, yeah, Nikki Sullivan. Uh, the one true Nikki, yeah. as she is known amongst yes. her friends. Right. Of course. Um, but based on just performance and what I've seen, especially after Worlds this year, I would have to go with Talita Alencar because she got hit so hard in the face. I just remember her looking up and having like the biggest bruise on her face and that just pissed her off so much more to just go out there and attack and so i think she definitely has the assertiveness and the aggression to go out there and get it and she's a black belt so yeah. that and helps. she's a two-time ebi vet at this point right yeah. she did yeah. four and five i think it, it was once against um uh, K- uh yeah, yeah once against kira batara and once against uh, uh lila okay. lila thank you yeah, yeah. So she understands the rule set. She understands what she's getting into. Mm-hmm. There's your boy Gio. Yeah, Gio is just there. He's commentating. He's a guest. <clears throat> wow. That's it, man. He's blowing it's up. Usually, it's usually what, Scott Ross and uh, Compella? Eric Compella? Yeah. yeah. He's probably, he's probably uh, cornering Lila, I'm assuming. Yeah. That was one thing, too. What, uh couple of EBIs ago when Vinny Megaleus was fighting they brought in like Kanato to like guess do commentary com- guess yeah. commentate on that one but I like we were right. doing a companion so I didn't actually hear what was said but I'm sure it was probably pretty good he yeah. also missed out on uh, on his visit didn't you I really like yeah. Scott Ross's shirt no I went to the <laughs> seminar <laughs> it's a nice shirt it's a fabulous shirt what are you talking about I Scott like Ross it. I love Scott Ross. 
Great guy. And then it just, oh, yeah. it oh. just froze. Oh my god. Like, that's that's perfect. If that's you're gonna face, we can make it right there. Let's be <laughs> really honest. Somebody, somebody grab a picture of that. Post that on Instagram. If the freeze, going on the here? TV's it's, gonna freeze. It's not. It's the fight pass because everyone's logging on, so it buffers. See. Let me go on to the med therapy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, man. I just want to see if there's his live. I gotta put us on blast, man. There you go. Oh, there we go. There's Geo's gym is fucking cool, man. Yeah, that's exaggerated though. They have like a three football fields inside there, man. It's crazy. It's huge. It's so nice looking. Is he literally the, right on the beach? I know. This is Fuck. the new place, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like ocean side. It's ocean it's side. Not ocean. <laughs> it's like you step out, you're fucking there. That's wow. dope as fuck. It's really cool. Man, I so how far is that from HQ? Uh I want to say maybe an hour or so. A oh, is o- it? A little bit over an hour, yeah. Oh, okay. Is it's, that just because of traffic, though? No, it's... Yeah, yeah. Probably, <laughs> probably it's probably. the of traffic. Uh, it's, it's over there in Orange, uh, in Orange County, right? I don't mm-hmm. know. I, I never know. I'm not that good with my... Uh, you lived there for like five uh, or six years. Yeah, and I, I, and I went from my house to headquarters to every day. That's, yeah. that's all you did. <laughs> that's all I did. God bless. All right. This is our first match, right? No. No, no they're, they're, they're still breaking down. Now. Oh, they're breaking yeah. down? Okay. But this is those two are fighting. Yeah, these are the first round matchups. Okay. Silver Fox. Yeah, that's All a right. Henzo affiliate. That's that's pretty cool. But Silver Fox is like, isn't that like a Silver Fox is like, a, isn't that supposed to be like a handsome older gentleman that's with right. gray hair? Yeah, Silver. He Fox. is in fact a handsome older gentleman with gray hair. Oh, is that is that right? <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Uh, wait. Who are we talking about? Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> the Hold guy on. who owns it. Yeah. What, what's his name? Oh. Uh, follows him on Instagram or something. Of course. Is that why he named it Silver Fox? Oh, there's a combat yeah, jiu-jitsu man. That's his nickname from imagine. the gym. Ah, yeah. I see. Okay, clever. Combat jiu-jitsu. This is combat here? Uh-huh. Yeah, four women. Oh, so there's someone from 10 Planet. Yeah, she's from, uh, she's from San Diego. Yeah. Crazy Baja. Are they calling it Freaks now? Did they drop the San Diego instead of 10th Planet San Diego? It said 10th Planet Freaks. I think so. I think they are like that now. Oh, are they? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to be 10th Planet X? Team X. <laughs> Come on, man. Just X, man. That's the move. Just 10th Planet X. It's not X. X, man. It's supposed to be a Roman numeral for 10. So it's 10th Planet 10? <laughs> I Dude, guess. <laughs> please tell me you knew that, Zito. You know. I knew that. Oh. <laughs> so when everyone's types out Team X, I should actually pr- be pronouncing it Team, team 10. 10. Yeah, Team 10, bro. I think there's some confusion there uh, could amid be. the ranks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Sure, some of your uh, your own students aren't. Quite I'm, pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. What is it saying? They're going through the overtime rounds. Oh. A lot of dead air in this fucking podcast. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> yeah. Something that people are trying to read. Yeah, I'm not feeling read. it. Oh, is that the guy? Oh, okay. Yeah. St- is he wearing a storm come up? Oh, there you go. That that's what you focused on first. You're, storm. you're like, yeah, what, brand, you know. what brand kimono does right, he have? Yeah. yeah. I need to know if I need to take I'm this ba- guy I'm seriously. Back up, I'm back up to 10 because I, kind of gi I bought one of uh, Christian Wood Mancy's gis uh, the other day. The so, Dream Killer line? The dream, it's fucking nice. It's I really mean, nice. It, it looks very nice. Uh, is he, is he on, did he already come to your podcast? Do your podcast? He did our podcast. Yeah, he's he's going to come out next week. Nice. So, yeah, we were supposed to have him at the gym, but it just didn't work yeah, out timing didn't work wise. Out, right. Yeah. yeah. I'm. Uh, I mean, I'm happy I went to St. Louis, but I'm also annoyed that I wound up missing his seminar yeah. again. Yeah, the timing's just horrible. Every time he's in town, I'm otherwise occupied. Well, it's he's stuck in you, bro. <laughs> it's it's it honestly out. seems the other way around. Let's be honest here. I mean, he's the one hosting the seminar. He the knew you were going. going down there. Oh, That's is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Schedule the seminar. I'll have around. his people talk to my people. <laughs> All right, good. Zito, Zito, can you be my people? Yes, I could be your people. No okay. Problem. Work that out. Calendar, yeah. so Work that out for me, would you? <laughs> so, Omar, you were involved with the first EBI. First, second, third. Right. Were you also involved or when he started coming up with the idea? Uh, I don't know if we talked about this a little bit on our podcast. We probably did, but that was so long ago. I don't ago. think I was ever involved in it. But you knew of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we knew it was happening. You knew what was going on. Yeah, yeah, we knew it was yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. But would he, would he, like, and, like, 
come to you and be like, hey, listen, what do you guys think about this idea? Or was it? We were talking about uh, the rules. Right. Exactly. He would bring that up in class, <laughs> and then people were like. But did you, were you like repping it? Were you like actively like fucking like taking the back, starting off on, on Spiderweb and just trying to get out and doing stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, we would do, yeah. If shit like that would Oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. We were doing a lot of that. I mean, a lot's happened since since one. I mean, obviously, the, we were talking about a little bit earlier that they they had combined divisions. It was like six, seven hours a long tournament. Yeah. It was like you know an all day event thing. I mean, you worked it or all day, yeah. So I put it together, and worked it, all that fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I think it was the second one where I was actually uh, like walking like the competitors from the back to the stage, yeah. getting them ready. And that was when Robert Drysdale almost kicked my ass. Why? What? What, what happened there? <laughs> What uh, did you say? What did I you didn't do? say anything. I was scared. He's like he's buff, huge. six <laughs> foot twenty. He's <laughs> huge. He was all pissed off. I, I walked one of his fighters back, and he's like, "Hey, who's fucking running this tournament?" And I'm like, uh, "Eddie Bravo." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he's like, like "Come over here. Come over here. You Eddie see all Bravo those people? Yeah. Like, you see all those people sitting down? They have families. They have kids. Everybody wants to go home." And I'm like, "Okay." And he's like, you need to tell Eddie that he needs to fix this. I was like, all right, I'll let him know. What was <laughs> what was his beef? He was just mad because we had been there for like forty five hours. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, I'll day twelve. To be honest, let's, let, the way I'm understanding is that like he was expecting it to be run like as yes. smooth as an IBJJ. Yes. And he yeah. got basically the a naga. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, I felt like telling him I'm pissed off too. I'm over here working this thing. I want to go yeah. home too, but. Yeah, he was pissed. Yeah. What did like every single match go into overtime or something? No, it was two. It was two. They had two, two separate divisions. Man. And how was it? Six. It was still sixteen men. Yeah, sixteen But they just man. ran. That I mean, why would they do that? What was he thinking? I don't know. But they even had an intermission. Oh man! Oh shut like, up! Yeah, I'm really? Yes. <laughs> yes. It was the worst. Damn. But they've improved big time though. Well, obviously. I mean, we got, we got buffer. Yeah. yeah. On yeah. screen right now, yeah. might I add? Yeah. Yes. First Class class it up the joint. Are they going to bring in both buffers for the Mayweather McGregor? They that probably, would be awesome. Oh, that would they, be they, awesome. They, they probably could. They they should. They should. I'm sure problem. they can. Battle of the buffers. <laughs> there's there's your master Eddie Bravo. There he is. Tell me, man, his haircut, man. You're, you're digging it, aren't I'm you? I'm telling you that David Beckham, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that Beckham <laughs> haircut. Good. I was unaware that was the name of it. Yeah, I, I'm so glad he got rid of that like chin thing oh, yeah. that he had going oh, on. Yeah. That was gross. Yeah. <laughs> That was really gross. <laughs> Female perspective never attracted. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Amber. <clears throat> we, you know, we know he got rid of that strictly because it became a pain in the ass to constantly dye it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that is that? Oh, gotcha. He's going gray a little bit here, huh? Oh yeah. 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 I mean, does he stick around for the matches? You think? I just thought he Buffer? got rid of it. Yeah, he, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I, th I think he probably watched. Oh yeah, room. he had so nice to win. Looks happy. In sort of a psychotic way. How you pronounce the other girls? You name? know what's funny? I don't get it. So. She actually trains a lot with uh, Randall, so wait, wait, she is, trains a lot with Randall at Ten Planet. But she writes the lines. F F I O N. Yeah, how do you pronounce that? Fafion. It's like <laughs> I, I'm sure like, somebody on the announcing team actually it's like knows. Aaron. Yeah, I wish we could. <laughs> a A Ron. <laughs> a A Ron. Why is there two A's? <laughs> Tradition. All right, this is the first fight. So. You were saying she trains at 10th Planet? With yeah, well, I, I know for a fact she was training a lot with Randall okay. at Riverside for a while. Okay. I mean, she even came through headquarters a couple of times. So, uh, unless I know there's like a rule where they only want like a certain amount of 10th Planet people. Well, you get a lot of cross training out by you. Yeah. Yeah, we get a lot of cross training. Yeah. yeah. Usually when there's an EBI, majority of those guys will stop by headquarters. Yeah. Anyways, just to yeah. train like and, and roll and stuff like that. So. Right. Um, that's the benefits of being at headquarters, man. You yeah, get to train with all those visitors that yeah. come through. I remember, and I know Talita is a beast, man. Next I'm saying 10 plant lumbar, you get a lot of cross training. Yeah, we got a lot of cross training. Yeah. Yeah, today we had open mats. We had a lot of like pro fighters show up. All right, man, they're going at it. Look at that Renato logo right in the middle. Yeah, I see that. Oh, right away. Look at that, attacking off her back. Is she more, this, this is what she plays? This is her game? No, I thought she was more of a top girl, but I could, be wrong. I could be wrong. I mean, she pulled right away. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. It's, she's super comfortable off her back. <clears throat> May just not want to wrestle. Maybe. I hope there's a lot of finishes. Uh, same here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if every match goes into overtime, it's going to be like four or five hour podcast. Yeah. That was the worst part of working worlds, especially when you got to the brown belt level. Nobody finished. I think I had it, maybe one finish in the really? first like 
five hours of the day. Yeah. Because they just get to be too technical. But I think no gi, they're really going to push the pace. And I mean, there's money involved. If they don't get the finish in regulation, there's no cash. Right. But there's still glory. I don't think anybody cares about glory. Yeah. I'm pretty I mean, sure. I'm pretty sure money's the. But that belt looks at, nice, though. It does. At, at some does. point, you make Did that you hold the belt? in your mind, though. I've seen. Yeah, I've held it before. How is it? It's nice. It's nice, nice huh? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's better than the, the one I got for Naga. Is it? Damn, we're yeah. not Naga horribly here. You know you can get 150 bucks for that. <laughs> I, really? I, yeah. I got one you right there on the wall. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna put that up. I'm gonna put it up for sale. You could sell it on eBay for 150 bucks. Oh snap! Yeah, for real. They buy them. Matt Layton sold all his Naga belts. Yeah. Allegedly Germans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might be throwing mine up pretty soon. Need the cash. <laughs> Gotta get another gi. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. <laughs> like, whoa, wow, that dream killer set you back, huh? <laughs> Gotta support your habits any way yes, you can. That's right. Is she going for a wrist lock? No. Paul has been wrist locking me recently and I had to like yell at him for Some, fucking doing it the yeah. other day wait, i'm like why, why, why would you yell at him? yeah listen to me okay so <laughs> we go hard you know we don't go light on each other when we roll so he's fucking trying to you know open me up as he calls it and he's fucking trying to wrist i'm like dude we're i'm fucking we're going for worlds in like less than a month don't fucking injure my fucking wrist with a fucking wrist lock man can we just let's you go can't tap. he yelled at you me. So, so you want to make yeah. rules yeah. when you guys roll <laughs> yeah she's so going for wrist lock there that's for she's sure she's going for wrist lock, lock. Oh, but yeah. I'm like cause, cause you know you know, I don't think about it when we're rolling like no one wrist locks me except for Andre yeah. so I have to think about Andre when I'm rolling with him he's in a wrist wait, lock wait, wait. So, so Javi I, I don't think about chokes when we roll can you not choke me anymore <laughs> I mean <laughs> worlds is coming up yeah it is you should saying. make that clear to your opponents at worlds to just walk out and be like you know wrist lock don't wrist lock me don't fuck around with my wrist yeah I'll be more I'm prepared for it then, I, but I I'm feel just saying. Like I'm almost hearing like a "Don't heel hook me, bro." Uh, right? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Sounds like a "Don't heel hook me, bro." Yeah. Conversation. All I'm saying is that we've never, <laughs> no, we've matches. never formally trained wrist locks and, fire and, we're and stuff like over. that. Nobody yeah. formally trains wrist locks. There, Why is that? It's because it's a sure formally trains it, wrist locks. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, Pete does. <laughs> yes, they're go. an afterthought. It's it's almost like okay, and then this is how you finish the armbar. Oh, by the way, there's a wrist lock here. Yeah, but how do you know? how much pressure to apply to the wrist lock before you just snap someone's arm? What if you just go for it like hard and it, it just breaks? It's dependent on the person. I mean, mm. my wrists go much Your wrist, further than yeah, most exactly. people. So but like really, my wrist, what, yeah. how does Paul know that my wrists Ooh. aren't a little more like, and he just boom, no. goes for real quick and I'm, my arm, my I'm, wrist is broken. I've never hurt anybody. I'm just sad. <laughs> so. uh, he's a, yeah, he's, he's a cupcake. <laughs> This match was really I, I host a podcast, so I need a intact trachea. Can you not choke me, <laughs> guys? Please. I mean, that almost sounds like something that should be discussed before. <laughs> like, listen, listen, we got to talk for like four hours because there's an EBI tonight. No chokes at you, yeah, right? right. <laughs> no, Zito. Can you not risk lock me? We got worlds in a month, and then he attacks my ankle. Well, and I go, oh, can you oh, not? Can you oh. not ankle lock me? We got worlds in a month. <laughs> Just no joint locks at all. Just no submission yeah. jiu-jitsu. All points. All po- yeah, let's we'll do points based. Do- <laughs> yeah. This is a pretty fast-paced match. This is super fast. Yeah, this is the second time she's passed the guard. Toledo turtle Dude. got out back back to guard, and now we're back here again. Jeez. Mm. I mean, is is because you, girls you've seen big. a lot of IBJ Jeff Amber passing the guard in no gi. Is it just more common, or is it easier? Because I, I mean, I see like that's that she's a you know world champion and she's got her guard pass and no gi. If this was gi, that would probably never happen. Right? Oh no! So both from experience and from doing it, I feel that it's so much easier to pass the guard in no gi. Yeah. That's all I did for three years, and right. then once I put on the gi, it was frustrating because right. there's a lot more to hold on to, a right. lot more to keep them in place. Plus, I mean, girls don't sweat as much as guys, so it's completely different competing against a girl than like rolling with the guys in the gym but when once you add sweat it just you just slide on is that science you just drop a little science on us it may have been sexism but it's probably (laughs) sexism so it's okay yeah i mean there's there's some girls i've gone against in tournaments where i'm just like holy shit shit. is it on the chin whoa there goes your uh it's on the face it's on but uh, still yeah i'll tell you what i mean a tap is a tap i'll take that i'll break her jaw i don't think she would have let her guard get passed if this was a point situation though you think so paul I, I mean i don't think she'd want i don't think she wanted her past no i don't I, it's ebi man i don't think anyone cares well i mean th- there is that element yeah i'm not, I'm not that element, completely right? dismissing that but fuck man she's got her 
flattened out. Yeah, she's flat. However, if you go and be like, not only is she uh, letting her guard get past because, you know, she wants to fight from side control, but now she wants to fight from bottom of, of a savage back mount. Right. <laughs> We're probably getting into <laughs> straining credulity here. What, what, man, does she, look at this. I'll tell you what, Nikki Sullivan, uh, we, I got to train with her uh, before her premiere here on EBI, and she fucked my mouth up with a fucking rear naked choke. <laughs> she fucking busted my lip. I was like, uh, oh shit, this is real. Yeah. Like, I rolled with her before, and it was like, eh. but. It was a little she, bit more cuddles than. It was a little more cuddles. <laughs> right, right, right. Extreme like, cuddles. Like, 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 she's like, we were like rolling, and she's like going to kill me. And I'm like, oh, this is this is yeah. a different role. And she took my back, and she just cross faced me of some sort, and just. Did you tell her you had worlds coming up? I did month? not. <laughs> I think her EBI debut trumps his world. Yeah, I yes, think so. for sure. So, yeah, that's definitely a no-no in the gym. But when you got EBI coming up the next week, yeah, a little bit yeah, of face dude, crank. It was. Go. I told her, I'm like, that is fucking nasty. As sh I mean, if you do that to someone there, I'm, there's no way that they're not going to tap. That was. Did fun. you tap? I didn't tap to the first one when she broke my lip open, but then we were repping. Um, Overtime rules. overtime rules, and then she did, and then she did it again, and I had a tap because it hurt so fucking soft. bad. Soft, soft. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Omar, dude, demote him, bro. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> you need to demote him, Omar. See, this is why you need to start working wrist locks. <laughs> hey, hey. See, you're his instructor. Why are you not yeah. hooking him up? Yeah, yeah man. Preparing him properly. Sorry, man. What happened that they had to start uh, like out, of bounds. Reset from out of bounds? But yeah. why was oh she she reversed it? Okay. I love the sticker of Hanato right there, <laughs> like staring deeply into the eyes of the camera. I so appreciate that that the UFC allows that because you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. they could be like, no, let's be more, you know, professional. Professional. Okay, let, let's let's be real here for a second. I mean, Joey Diaz sponsors the podcast. Is he on it? No, he's not on. Yeah, there. the yeah, church of where the church of what's happening. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's usually on there. It's right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there it is. It's right there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. That's awesome. I said podcast. I obviously meant EBI. But, right. Yeah. But they could do that. I mean, they could. I mean, I guess they could. I, I would be like, hey, no, we can't do this. <clears throat> this is a great way to start this EBI. This yeah, is a pretty is. savage first yeah. round. Yeah. yeah. That's that chick from England, right? Wait, what? Yeah. She's English, I think. I know she's from Europe. I'm not or, sure. Yeah. Maybe England or Sweden. The double F kind of. Oh, uh, yeah. The double F gives that away. Yeah. A Fion. <laughs> He's taking the AA Ron approach with her name. AA Ron. She's fucking going after it, man. She wants that money. Yeah. She should go for those double unders and Paul. That remember that thing I showed you the other day? Mm -hmm. that, that would be that thing that you're not going to tell us about. No, no not. Super, super secret jujitsu yeah. move. It's, it's I mean, speak entirely yeah. obliquely around it. Because yeah. I have worlds I'm, in a month. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it on Omar when we roll next right. and then see if I can get it. Please risk lock him from that, Omar. <laughs> does it start Double off? Does it start lock. off from Double turtle position? <laughs> that's cold, bro. What, what do you mean by that, Omar? <laughs> that's how you, you know how people pull guard. Uh, Zero pulls fetal position. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 wow. Look at that. Oh, oh that's like a show. Oh, wow. Damn. 26 seconds left. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Gangster. That was quite the savage throat. That crush. was awesome. So sweet. Talita has Cobrinha in her corner. Damn. He just cornered Cyborg last night, too. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's about to cry. No crying in jujitsu. Uh, whoever put that logo on her back, it's unless you get a <laughs> what? So what? unless you get a black belt. The whole rest of the She's night. sponsored by Joey Diaz too. She is, yeah. Right. Paul, how come we didn't sponsor any of these girls? What the fuck? Yeah, actually, why not? Yeah, sell so one of your know. Naga belts. <laughs> I'm do there that. you go. Yeah. We could. We should have sponsored Nikki. What yeah, the fuck? I mean, she had space on her butt for sale. Oh, she really? Posted that. Yeah. Hello. She put your logo here on one of her photos because she's inverted a lot. So, uh -huh. oh man, yeah. you guys we fucked missed that up. out. Definitely and that's like that. That's the can angle we, you're always going to see. Can we text her like exactly. right now? Like, yeah. you haven't gone up yet. <laughs> Just yeah. spray paint. Sharpie. Yeah. White Sharpie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, she did look at the women's chat when we all said good luck. So she, <laughs> she's online. Did you see that post? I don't remember no. seeing it. No. Yeah. Go ahead. Throw it out to the women's chat. We fucked up. Oh, look at this. 
Ooh. Wow, that was really nice. Like, threatened, boom, whoa. These girls are... Getting going, after it? They are getting after it. Look at this back take. Yeah, so what is it? Is it still 20,000? Yes. 21, two? Five? Yeah. No, 20,000 is 5,000 per victory per and regulation. Right. Or per submission and regulation. Are... I, I know that the last time the uh, the combat jiu-jitsu athletes actually made less money for their victories. Had, yeah, wasn't it like 2500 a match or something like that? So they can win 5000 total? They can win 5000 yeah. I think it was something. I don't know. I really haven't seen what their prize money is advertised as much as the full-on women's tournament. Omar, do you know anything about the... Um, geez, look how high she is on that neck. My God! Oh, she was she was almost deep like a, on the throw. Deep, yeah. and, but she yeah. see how she put her leg over her shoulder, like almost like in the gi, where you put your leg. You know, what I mean, you're yeah. Like, that's fine. how she was. Yeah, that was that was. Man, I, don't, I, wonder, I don't know what that means. You, what do you mean with the gi? <laughs> yeah, I know, Omar. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, so let me explain oh, to you a little bit about the gi. No, I, I, I can relate it to him quite easily. It's it's very similar to that uh, that that thing you wear as a fireman now. That that, that oh. uniform. Right. Now it makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Only you choke people, with right? <laughs> Rachel Cummings, is she anything related to um, yeah. Eddie yeah. Cummings? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to act like I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So, Omar, since you're a black belt now, are you going to throw the gi on? Yeah, I, was, I told you I was. I know. So, just going to have time. Yeah. And a gi. And a gi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can get you a gi, man. We'll start, we'll you start got ten of them. I, got 10 I know of them, plenty man. of people that could lend you one. It's okay. I, mean, I, I don't so think you're gonna fit in Zos. Th- there's no. so many. There's so many low level gi guys that want to roll with me in the <laughs> gi, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, skills translate. It's it's not like you for sure. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. I'm gonna get choked the first five times with the collar choke. Whatever you call it, we guys. Mm. Oh, I mean, cross collar. You, you know how to fight hands. It's not like that's true. Yeah, it's it's not like you're like, okay, he's grabbing my. He's grabbing the thing around my neck, and he's he's pulling it across my throat. I'm gonna just sit here defenselessly. So if I if I competed at um, at worlds, I can do white belt gi. No. <laughs> why not? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> why not? Um, have you ever done an IBJJF? Yeah, I did worlds in California. Well, yeah. So you're already registered with them at least at oh, whatever belt true. you were at, because that was my up. thing when I switched to gi. <laughs> I said. Up. Like, do I come in as a purple belt? Like, what do you want me here as? And they said, IBJJF recognize you as a purple belt, so that's what you're going to be. Okay. You know, your skills may not be at that level in the gi, but we'll get you there. Wow, these girls are going after it. And Crystal Fuck. is a late addition, too, just this which week. One is, which Crystal, one is Crystal is the one on bottom in the uh, Just Roll rash guard, okay. the black and red one. Okay. And then the other girl is... I thought everyone had to wear spats. I know, I was just about to say that. Yeah, no. What's, what's up with that? No. Oh, no? That should have been the required. What do you call those? Booty shorts? Yeah, those are. I mean, Ballet that's Tudor what I shorts? Wear under my gi. Those are compression shorts. Okay. I would I, not feel comfortable rolling no gi in that. But hey, to each their own. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That is not IBJJF legal. <laughs> that's not. No, they have not. to. So the shorts, I've gotten. I've had to change mine before at tournaments because they have to come at least halfway down the thigh. Right. Yeah. We, we can't even wear the the Ardojo shorts. Yeah, the Ardojo shorts, shorts is what I wanted to wear because I like that cut that Riley has with inverted gear and uh yeah. no it's got to be within like what 10 centimeters of your kneecap or something uh, like? for the men women's have to go halfway down the thigh okay because i used to, like i would wear like not as short as that why though why don't they let the guys wear higher shorts if they want i have no idea i don't understand half of their rules and regulations don't look at me i got no insight here <laughs> yeah. the last time we i did worlds nogi worlds in, in california they what belt rank were you at the time brown okay they allowed some people to wear those that skeleton 10th Planet Rash card. Yeah. And then there's some people that got DQ'd because that was the only Rash Darst, card they had. Oh, Darst. really? Yeah, they're very inconsistent with what Rash cards they allow. They'll allow some things at the open, but they won't allow it at Worlds. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It all depends who's checking. Everyone told me to bring two geese. Oh, yeah. definitely. Bring yep. two geese, bring a spare belt. If yours has any kind of white showing whatsoever, you're going to want to have a completely brand new one almost for competition because they're a lot more strict at the big tournaments. So uh-huh. also, do you, can you have your stripes on your belt? Oh, yeah. You can have your stripes I've on seen, your belt. I've seen no stripes on belts before. Like- yeah. There are certain people that I know and uh, quite a few girls that I know in the area who have a Ooh. belt specifically for competition. So that way there's no fraying on it. There's no white showing. So and they don't put only- any stripes on it no. or like that. And yeah. it's also a more of a psychological thing. That's like- what I'm thinking, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking too. 
Man, she Wait, what's, the, psych- wait, what's the psychological with belts? Well, because, you know... You see three stripes on somebody, you assume they're more experienced than somebody with no stripes. Exactly. Yeah, so you underestimate the person that looks like they have a fresh, you know, blue belt or hold a fresh purple belt. So, that's so, what the, that's so what stripes, people... so stripes um, this is tape oh, that's okay. uh, so, typically placed on... Yeah. It's called wait, a belt. So this whole... It's, a, it's about a quarter length inch. Cloth. So for quarter Nogi, this whole mind game would be like the cauliflower thing. So since I don't have <laughs> yeah, cauliflower, yeah, 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 it's right, like... Right, exactly. gotcha. Yeah, you must not be that good if you gotcha. don't have cauliflower. Right. Right. <laughs> Man, a whole bunch of people must think I suck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am serious, Javi. It's the long hair. The protects. No, yeah, Paul, Paul has no cauliflower. I don't have cauliflower. Me neither. You I don't work have... on that. Omar's got nice ears. I like got the that. baby cartilage. Nice wow. So I'm the only guy in this room with Some people just don't get it. I know. You're the only one that's any good. That's what, yeah, that's that's what, what it I'm comes saying. comes down to, really. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you said on air. Thank P- you. Pulling Thank fetal you. guard. That's the greatest <laughs> shit mean, I've ever heard. Dude, he rags me so I, hard, bro. It's so funny. Good. Dude, when we roll, I, I he just makes me laugh so fucking much. I fucking hate him so much. You know what? This <laughs> is just fucking. It's laugh. actually fun to watch a tournament finally with leg locks are not like, you know, with the guys tournament, everybody's just attacking legs the whole time. Yeah. No, they're not. We're, they're we're watching Jiu Jitsu finally yeah. again. Yeah. 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 I mean, there were some leg attacks, but they were. But no, they're, they're, the they're mixing it up pretty nice. Yeah. It's yeah. not just strictly. Really, Look at this fucking arm. there for you. Yeah. I mean. You watch women's matches, it ends up on the back. I feel like there are so many more chokes and arm bars. Yeah. I, I don't know why you would say that, arm bar. I don't know. <laughs> Well, and those little, shorts are I know, I see a little butt cheek action. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? So you know, like when hey, you, she's making a name for herself, she you guys. She sure is. She sure, this is not the one with the pole strip. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's the one with the black, and the one with more clothes. The, the more modestly like, dressed one yes. is she, the pole dancer. She does yes. pole dancing? Really? Okay. Yes. She is known for her uh, scissor choke, which some of us have dubbed the stripper choke. But, you know, it's strong. She's got really strong legs. If you can hold yourself up on a pole, you're, you've are you got to have some, like, right. strong, yeah. strong leg muscles. Yeah. And Crystal's competed in various other invitational oh, yeah, uh, she, grappling, uh, fight, fight to win, win. Sapatero. Is there a difference She's between MMA. pole dancing and stripping? Yeah, one you're naked and one you're not. Oh, okay. I mean, there's even like <laughs> pole dancing, like fitness classes. Oh, so. for sure. I got you. I personally appreciate the intersection of the two. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I thought it was pretty clear, but like, 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 <laughs> Javi likes when they pole dance in a nice two piece. <laughs> <laughs> I think people just automatically assume you're a stripper if you if you do pole dancing, right? Yeah, but definitely not oh, true. Yeah. But not yeah. true. Right. Yeah. We're just trying to clear it up right here on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I mean like not only has pole fitness like become a thing within the oh, last yeah. couple of years, girl fitness or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. That's right. Yeah, Flirty but I mean fitness. like people actually like dedicate time to this it in it as like a athletic or That's, or artistic endeavor and there's like no taking off of clothes it's strictly like acrobatic movements right but flirty girl that doesn't sound right no there's actually like competitions there's a girl sky decker from 10 plant portland i think and she does it like i see pictures and stuff on she facebook does flirty girl fitness. no she does like pole dancing competitions like she can do like the flag yeah. Hold and all that, and that that's takes yeah, it takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of strength and talent. But almost that that, that flirty girl sounds no. That's sucks, that's more like a weird, hey, right? we're gonna have well, a bachelorette party and go right. pole dancing. It that's sound it's weird, not right? quite the same. Well, yeah. Alex Alex Magala, purple belt from Ten Planet Headquarters, that guy that swallows swords. Yes. He's does pretty much pole dancing if you want to call it that. Does he <laughs> acrobatic like pole stuff? Yeah, See, not sexist. He'd at all. be swallowing swords and sliding down the pole. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> It's the same thing, ain't it? I, guess. I hope people tune in right at that point. Right. Like, just right. skip ahead to whatever time this is. Actually, we're just going to use that as, like, the byline of the entire episode. Definitely. Swallowing swords and sliding down poles. Come on, Join man. us for the female featherweight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say that we're talking about a guy. <laughs> Classing up the joint. These girls are just going after it. It's really nice. I, I have a feeling you're going to be saying that pretty much the entire night. Yeah, yeah they're... It's it's a different so Amber I mean I know you're a big competitor I mean what when you see like this I mean are you like yeah this is totally normal I mean I don't see a lot of uh, female like going at it mm-hmm. so this is like this is the norm right they just go harder oh or? like nonstop I would come back especially like 
early on white and blue belt, I'd come back to the gym and be like, you guys take it too easy. Like, the girls are brutal. Like, they are aggressive. Ooh. It's just nonstop Ooh. go. And Whoa. the higher you get, like, level-wise, belt-wise, the more aggressive it is. That oh, she bar. is a deep arm bar triangle combo oh right God. now. And she there's the tap. It. She got the tap. So uh, the winner is who's? The pole name? dancer lost. Mm, yeah, the pole dancer. I believe, I believe her opponent was Rachel. She's yeah, tall, man. Wow, she's tall. She's pulling down those shorts. Yeah, you're going to want to do that a little bit. She'll be back out. Don't worry. The shirt will ride up more. I, think, I feel like girls up. roll harder with other girls. There's like an ego thing going on there too, right? Is there? It's So there have been a lot of, there's been a lot of discussion about this. Rachel Cummings one. Yep. Uh, where it's almost like hard because some women may see other women who come into the gym as like, intimidating or whatever because there aren't many of us i mean i was the only one at 10th planet for the longest time and territorial it can get that way sometimes what? i mean i've noticed that visiting gyms oh. even where like i go in and you just kind of get this vibe especially being a higher rank you get this vibe where they're like you know they have to almost like show that this is their ground and that they're number one and you can't go in and be them. So I'll visit gyms and have to go almost comp roles right. with some of the girls when I just want to, you know, train. So I typically go in visiting or even when visitors come to, you know, Viana's and it's like, okay, with I'm going to feel of pumpkin bars. <laughs> Hi guys. I'm Amber. Can I roll with you for the day? I just, you know, I get a feel for their pace and then I match it. Like I'm not going to go balls to the wall. Cause you right. don't want to, especially a newer person, you don't want to intimidate them. You don't want to scare them away, but girls are a lot more territorial. Was that a dead orchard to hit her? She hit her with? It was just an arm just, bar uh, with the, from the triangle. Yeah. Oh, that was just, that wasn't dead orchard. Yeah, she yeah. had both arms. No, it was just one arm, just normal triangle. Because that's the thing, especially thinner girls, it's hard to triangle them because you can't close that space as right. much. So you right. have to go for like the arm bar or the yeah. the throat punch, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Kayla, Kayla Patterson, the gag Memphis reflex. judo and jujitsu. Javi, there you go, buddy. Well, that's, judo, yeah, that's, that's the name of the school: Memphis Judo and Jujitsu. She's the two-time uh, Nogi World Champion, 2015 and 2016. Oh, wow. And she's also done the um, oh, the tournament that JW does down in... Uh, Fuji? No, not the tournament. I'm sorry, the Invitational. Oh, um, I, I, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's not JW's, though. You, are you talking and about the one in Atlanta? No, the one in uh, St. Louis. JW's Royal. Okay. So I believe it's called Royal. She's she did the four person women's tournament down there, and she's done a couple <laughs> other invitationals. Some of these girls do not look one twenty five. No, they don't. No, like, that girl is, looks pretty thick. Yeah, and that girl trains. I mean, Gabby Gracie Umata, McCall. South Bay. That's where like a lot of female killers are. Oh really? So this girl's got her. <laughs> yeah, she's a brown belt. I can I can't tell what a, a female weighs at all. Like any oh, dude, no. I could guess within five pounds. A, a chick, I'd be like, ah, uh, somewhere That's a between. survival mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I remember one, coming in. Yeah. 10 and 140, I, I don't know. I remember coming into the gym and, like, the guys would be like, how is that girl in your weight class? And I was like, we were both, you know, we weighed in and within five pounds. And they're like, she looks huge compared to you. It's, it's body composition. You can have, like, for me, I go right middleweight. Away, so you can have on. a super tall girl. You can have me who's just, like, dense. Or you can have a fluffy girl. And we all weigh the same yeah. but look completely right. different. I mean, that's very true. I'm habitually the smallest guy in the division, like by height. So I mean, even you know, at lighter men's weights, I see I see a lot of variation in like overall size of the right. guys. So I don't know. It just seems normal to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm terrible about judging people's weights. So, and so oh, she's same. got she, the Memphis girl. She's got that MG in action. Te um, is that sponsor? Or are they are they affiliate? They're they're Marcelo affiliate. Marcelo affiliate. Yeah. Okay. And she got the just roll. Oh, Man, so. Nick is sponsoring everyone in this yeah, show. Dude, we fucked up. What the fuck are we thinking? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm disappointed. I'm very I'm disappointed. Nikki was looking for sponsors. Yeah, why didn't fuck? you reach out and remind yeah. us? Break our balls. Yeah. I'll let her know Matt there. Yeah, you know? We'll do that after. <laughs> right. Right. I'm actually just deeply annoyed that there's an opportunity here to put a logo on an ass and it was not taken. I yeah, did right? not see that post. If I did see Clearly. it, I would have. Yeah. Okay. I need so, to go back and see if you liked it just <laughs> unintentionally. Cause that would be really fun. <laughs> yeah. Be right. Seriously. You don't look, <laughs> make sure. Yeah, I, what if, Cause if what I if, did, that would be good radio. Maybe I did too. Yeah. 
Because you don't, you go to the list, you just start. Da, 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 ta, yeah, 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 yeah. Da, da, da. No, no, I never do that. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> a <bullshit. laughs> I, you know, I, I have to stop following Omar because black belt social media like, over here. You follow Omar and you follow Lombard, and it's the, the, it's the <laughs> same yeah, fucking same thing. <laughs> it's like why even have two? Bro? Yep, Grappler Union. You guys liked the post so on Instagram. Zito liked <laughs> it because he, can, he controls <laughs> the <laughs> the social media. No. Ah, see, yeah, Javi yeah. did not. I did I? Did nope, like, see right there, Grappler Union. Look, this could be you. Oh, oh Zito, I didn't know what I was fucked up. Did Paul Maloney like it personally? No. Okay. No. Damn, I have no idea. See? All yeah, because right. I follow you, so you'd be at the top. Dude, so, so are you really not liking my stuff yeah. when, when I post? <laughs> every, <laughs> once every six months like. when I post something? <laughs> are you not legitimately liking it? Probably not. Oh, man. It's just like it's in my feed. Boom, 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 boom. Well, Grappler Union follows so many people that show up in the feed. I'm just That Grappler Union is an Instagram whore. Yeah. Just liking everything. I'm liking everything. You got a bot to do it for you? Uh, you could. <laughs> now, this match isn't as exciting as the other two have been. It's because Zito kept saying that all the girls are going to bring the fire. We all agreed, and we jinxed it. No, they're going for it. Oh, 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 look at there. Oh, keep rolling. Going Just right, keep rolling. Right across. Too low keep on rolling. the knee. Man, that girl is just... <laughs> she looks fucking tough as yeah. nails, man. I want to say she just won Worlds, too. Let me check that. Man. She kind of looks like Miley Cyrus. The one on the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, she does, right? <laughs> How much mat space is, space is that, Omar? Is that a 1,000 square feet of mat? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, it could be. It doesn't look... I mean, it looks... Um, Hit up Eddie now. Ask him. He's not doing shit. Yeah. He's just standing, just standing there. there. Yeah, just standing oh, there. Uh, but you didn't you help put up the mats, or has it changed throughout the years? Um, when I mean it's changed because that's just like a stage, so I'm not sure if they added mat space or if that's the same. What mats did they use for the first one? Did uh, they have extra ones, or did they rent them, or how did they do that? Were they ones in the backyard? <laughs> well, you know what? Because we were at the tap out gym at that time, and the gym, the mats that he has at headquarters weren't being used at the tap out gym, so it could have been his mats, his oh, black really? mats, unless it was different I'm color. Sure they I can't were remember. Black mats. Yeah, if they were black mats, it could have been his. The HQ mats, yeah, the, which are like a slip and slide. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was just gonna ask because they look slippery, and you can tell that the logos have just almost been taped on. So Those I wanted to know. The logos have literally yeah. been yeah. taped on. There's no almost about it. I saw pictures of them taping it, <laughs> but uh, so it's just super. Super slippery. I was wondering kind of what kind of mats we could compare them to because those can be rough to get good grips on for a stand up. Yeah. I mean, not that many girls stand. I can tell you from experience, I at mean, least one person is going to just You just need to lay down sit. some sand or something. Just sprinkle some sand on there. EBI beach invitation. That's right. There we go. No, I'll not like it. a whole thing of sand, just like a, 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 a fine layer. Fine layer of it. You wouldn't even be able to tell on the camera. You'd be able to tell when it gets in your rash guard, right? Or your yeah. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> beach wrestling is totally a thing, though. So yeah, we got well, beach. Gary Tonin was doing it. I saw that. You see that? Yeah. They have tournaments on the beach in San right. Diego. That like, looked exhausting. Yeah. yeah. No, thank you. I'm I'm good. I'm, yeah. <laughs> you, hate, you hate wrestling. Now you want me to wrestle on the beach? <laughs> I'm good, bro. Thanks. <laughs> so, just to establish, so uh, no wrist locks, no sand. Right, Those right. Well, I mean, when you pull fetal position, you're just going to oh. get a mouthful of sand. You know what I mean? Sounds Omar, terrible. Not, you started, see what you started, bro. You're good at that guard now. <laughs> is, it, is it fetal position or is it fetal guard? I, I think it's fetal, Ooh, fetal guard. Uh, fetal <laughs> guard. Yeah. Yeah. You, you should come out with a DVD. I should. <laughs> 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 Make sure to get Grappler Union to sponsor yeah, that's true, that yes. DVD. Yeah, yeah put your logo on your own ass. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> on my back, because that's all you're going to see. I can feed on, bro. <laughs> oh, God, if this turns Tired of getting wrist locked? Pick up my fetal guard DVD. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I don't know. I think this is sometimes that's all that's available, though, Zito. It's true. I mean, the wrist lock. <laughs> the Vito, the you Zito's <laughs> super tight. Man. You could you could punch him in the nose. Ooh. Oh, oh, arm bar. Look at this. Oh, yo, I like oh. this girl, man. She's good. Oh, nice oh, escape, shit. though. She really didn't have too much control. Definitely got after it there, though. But yeah, they look at this. Like, oh, Javi, oh, Javi can appreciate this here. one. Is that like Captain Morgan to the? No. She's 
Uh, no. She got her. See, her arm is trapped. She can kill X card. Who? Wrong camera angle. Uh, see, her arm is here. trapped. See, her, her right arm is trapped. That's fucking nice. Let's get it out. There you go. That's good. Omar, what are you thinking? She's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you're I'll, speaking I'll, of Kayla. Is that the one with, on the right right now? The one with the just roll on her butt? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <It's> <laughs> that cute. wasn't a creepy yeah. <laughs> <at all. laughs> you assumed correctly. <laughs> yes. Is this going to be on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> Is my wife following the five kids? <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't worry. We only get thousands of downloads. All right, so. cool. yeah, you're good. Right. In cool. the Midwest. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and it's not like I'm going to tag you in it. Right. Right. Exactly. No, not at all. No, no, don't worry about that. No, not a lot of people are going to hear it. Don't worry. She is hot, though. You got to admit that. No, she's hot. I, 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 I'm honestly I'm glad you said it. Disagree. <laughs> You're glad he said it so you didn't have to? Right. I mean, I, yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh. Memphis is too far to go try. <laughs> I know. I was, just if I go over there, it's just to try out the gym. Just, just to, to try it out. No, it's right. about yeah. eight hours because it's an hour from my brother oh, in, that's not bad. in Mississippi. It's not, not that bad at all. You could take the Amtrak. It goes overnight super easy. There you go. Omar. Set up a seminar over there. Actually, if I recall, uh, I think Applegate's done seminars at Memphis Judo and Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, has really? It? I'm pretty sure. There you go, Omar. You got the end, man. I'm going to ask him. They just had an invitational tournament there, too. Did they? Yeah, I don't I remember I would be upset if I did go there and she wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> this is an exhausting match. Yeah, mother. Gabby has a lot of top pressure, it looks like, and Kayla's no just overtime surviving. so far. No overtime I'm so hoping far. for a goddamn finish here. There's a minute left in this one. So. I mean, hey, Talita finished with 26 seconds left. That's, That's true. possible. That's very true. It can be done. Not a Kimura grip. Yeah. But Are these healthy? No, of course not. No. Absolutely. Those are Toronto's. Toronto's cookies, man. Javier walked in, opened the box, and go, Zito, who died? <laughs> yeah. Hey, my family, we get these cookies when, when there's a funeral. Oh, right. <laughs> That's the only time oh, you ever is. see these. Oh, oh. They're Our like bar. The, what she got now? They're like, like the candy corn oh. of cookies. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 35 This is like shit that you see like really old people eating. Oh, man. This is going over time, guys. Well, yeah, that's part of it. So are they going to have the combat like in between then the... Yeah, it'll be like the intermissions. Right? Yeah. And then does the so combat the get a belt game. too? Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. That belt is silver did. though. Silver. Right. Well, yeah, it was for the last thing. Yeah. I feel like the, I feel like there should have been a different designator than making it silver because by Ooh, default... combat jiu-jitsu. You missed it. It looks yeah, like I you're in that. second place. <laughs> right. You saw that? Uh, yeah. You just missed it. It was like one slap, one two slap. slap. Yeah. I feel like the EBI belts are like really big too. Like the the actual logo on there, they're huge. Are they going to have the same size belts for the women? Because that's going to not look, not look right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it'll be like when Demetrius Johnson gets his UFC belt. Right. Yeah. Just the, swimming. His in it. UFC yeah. armor. You mean? <laughs> I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> I'm a little guy. Yeah. Tiny. Hair timeouts. Common thing in women's jiu jitsu. Okay. It's like the gi, right? Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tie that belt. You gotta you tie that gi. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like bad too. Like you'll, you'll like reach in on a collar grip and you'll Rip get like, you'll get like some hair too. And you're like, I, I have this choke here, but if I pull on it, I'm yeah, pulling hair, hair too. And, and I'm and gonna I never, choke you with the hair. Nah, I never No get matter it. how many times I tell oh, people oh, it's oh. okay, they yeah. still say sorry and let go. Yeah. Oh, oh, she's getting out of this one. It's extra special when they got like a nice long braid and you just. No gi collar chokes, totally a thing with long uh -oh. hair. Uh oh. <laughs> Can you go to sleep? No. Nah. Oh shit. Oh, now yeah. yeah. It in. was under. But so for real, if someone has like a pretty gnarly braid going, can you legally, legally like, choke them? No, not no. legally. No, no. That's like choking, no, that's... yeah, with a belt. It's not legal. Which yeah. totally used to be a thing back in the day. What about that uh, UFC um, um, referee? Was his Beltran? Beltran? Mark Beltran with yeah. his with his gimli beard. Yeah. yeah. Can he choke you out with that? Is that legal? He probably could. Uh, is it legal though? No, I mean, no, no, it's not legal at all. No. I mean strangely enough, in a sport where you're allowed to choke a person unconscious or or break their arm, 
you're only allowed to do it certain she, ways. She chose. She goes. She just got choked down. Now she chose spiderweb. Yeah, because she has to submit her faster than the other girl. So you think did. spiderweb's right. the way to do it? If you're looking for a fast submission, yeah. If you're yeah. looking to control, I'll take the back all day. It depends right, on right. what you're doing. Oh, 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 oh nice are. grip. What do they call that grip? Silverado. Silverado. Look at this. Yeah, but yeah, but that grip is not. Yeah, she's, yeah, not, she's, she's not no. Doing, no. Yeah. She should have gone for strong. the arm crush or something from the beginning to try and release that it. That girl is strong. Yeah. No, is usually you can throw that leg over that elbow and just kick it straight. All right, that, yeah. that wasn't yeah. that yeah. overtime at all. Uh, Evan showed me a way to escape. Um, Which Evan? Who? Would that be? Yeah, who are we talking about Neil here? Myler? Yes, thank you. Okay. And um, it's pretty cool. I never saw an armbar escape like that, and it's I'm gonna try it is it for the gi though no no gi just asking sorry it's no gi teach you his atos secrets that he has it's all stuff i'm gonna use on omar it's all from the yeah basically (laughs) (laughs) regard oh wonder woman rash guard i'm an instant fan oh is that gabby romero uh, matt therapy rash guard is it it is yeah they sponsor somebody huh Hmm. Um. yeah donna was wearing that during (laughs) trial Good Jeez. idea by them, huh? Oh my god! Damn! <laughs> Damn fuck this go. all up. I'm gonna make sure I that mean, Nikki trolls you guys for this too. Yeah, I can't believe I was. You can't believe you liked the picture. That you <laughs> well, that and then we were training. I was training with her, and I don't even know what the fuck yeah, I was thinking. Last like, Saturday, I know. What she should have asked you. Were you upset that she? I mean, let's she be honest. I'm not gonna. Like, no, I, I feel super although awkward I, I, like, asking the guys that My lips look like JJ from Good Times. I was like, I just, I don't. Yeah. I straight up asked Hillary and uh, Nelson in studio yeah, on I air. Know, like, I'm like, <laughs> you want to sponsor us? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I'm just, I, I'm just saying. Like, 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 say it in a joking manner. Yeah. Huh? Nikki's super humble, too. Like, yeah. she's not going to be the type to, like, go out and beg for things or even, like, you know, just to help with costs or whatever. So I would have I 100%. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Whatever. There'll be other opportunities. There'll be other opportunities. It's okay. Uh, this I, is one of the black belt on black belt matches. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I'm really interested because you know I follow Christina mm-hmm. on Instagram, yeah. and um, I want to see what. I've this is the first all female EBI. And this is going to be there forever in the history books. Yeah, dude, you Archive. fucked it all up, bro. Yeah, it's on bypass, you know. It's on like bypass. a lot of people see that. Who's a lot job, of people whose tuning job in. Technically, was that actually? That's and important. A lot of people <laughs> listen to that. Let's, 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 let's put together the There's, job responsibilities here. Paul, what's your job responsibility? I book the guests, and then what else? And then I come in and do the show. Exactly. <laughs> so I have to do everything. Else. Maybe you can pick up a little bit of slack. What do you want oh, me to do? Damn. What are you thinking? Hey, well, what would Apparently you like me to do? You're in charge of handing out sponsorships. Sponsorships, bro. Okay. That that's now now on you. That, so okay. I can't, I can't remember. Talent everything. relations. <laughs> talent relations. There you go. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Javi. No problem. Talent relations. <laughs> I'll that's... come hit you guys up if I get on the next fight to win pro card. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a spot right on my butt. Okay. Hold on. Hold. Let's, see, the... let's see how that would look. Hold on. Let's. Do we got a bigger <laughs> one than this, or <laughs> yeah, we got bigger than that? <laughs> All right. So this is Kyotera black belt. Mm-hmm. Kyotaha. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. My Portuguese is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. When I met him, I totally failed to give him the Skittles that I planned to. So, like, I remember. Did you when really have a bag of sh- Skittles on you for him? I I really did go to the store for the Skittles. Yeah. No, I remember Ben at the Chicago Open that Kyotera came to a couple of years ooh, ago. Like walked ooh. up to him with an open bag of Skittles and said, "Would you like some?" And I'm like Ben, you're creeping him out. Right, like he's yeah. not going to take open candy from a stranger. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ben. Oh, Does he really have diabetes? I, I believe that's a poor taste joke. I, like I'm, I, I Javi, think it's actually, Javi, what do you think about that toe hold? I, oh. I think it's. Oh, you think I that's think just like folded to be finished? Yeah. But look where she's but, gripping. Yeah, that's, a little low, right? Uh, she should be up closer to her toes. Foot might just break. Uh, 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 I mean, Gabby's uh, an MMA fighter, so she could probably take a little more than just your average jujitsu person. I'm still like I went down to James Klingerman and I got toe hold. And my toe held, toe held, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and it still bothers me to this day. And it was months ago. You probably should yeah. attack, bro. Did you tell him you had worlds in four months? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I did not tap. I was able to get out of it, and then I I did tap tap him with it. I didn't come back. I would talk, but I'm eat, busy eating these chocolate cookies over here. <laughs> oh, off mic too. We really off appreciate it. Yeah, yeah thank great. you. What a not profound. like us, man. People were very professional. People were a little. People close to me were a little upset about us eating them. <laughs> Here's Zito on Mike. Starburst, nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. Listen, yeah. experiences. 
you know, you, you, you learn from them. It happens. You know, it was a long podcast, and it was just like, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> it was just like, whatever. You seem to, you seem Watch, to say that a lot. Pop a Starburst and then start talking. I know. You know? That's so bad. That's like, it was so bad. It's very similar to jiu-jitsu. In jiu-jitsu, you, you win or you learn. In, in podcasting, you do it right or you lose all your fucking <laughs> audience. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. We got, we're not going to do that again. No. Sorry. Although, you know, Starbucks I have, are I'm going to go get some, I got some beef jerky. I might be snapping. That, that sounds you dangerous. Beef as well. jerky for I, tonight? Yeah, oh, I do. Oh, well, no, I have jerky. some, like, part of our, like, uh, in, in the office stuff, we, like, get snacks, and beef jerky is one of them. Oh! oh. oh the now would be a good time pass. to go get it. Yeah, yeah. The TV just froze. <laughs> yeah, it froze. It's, it's Fight Pass, man. Well, you, you keep blaming it on sorry, Fight Pass. Fight bro. Pass froze. It's Fight Pass. What else would it be? It, we're not. We're not blaming you. Yeah, it could be. We're trying me. to get you to it go could, get the jerky. It could be you. Trying. We're not blaming you. Like, <laughs> get the jerky. Like we have everything else on this episode. <laughs> How could you let him do that? <laughs> I do more than just book the guests around here. <laughs> oh. He shows up on time. That's asking yeah, a lot. Okay. I got some dirty feet, yo. Yeah, that really. Omar, can't remember, you're not allowed to talk about feet or faces, okay? That's right. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> nice. Whoa, what's that all about? <laughs> feet and faces? Ooh, I think that's gluten free, then. Wow. I, there's, there's probably actually a label on it that says. Because so. I know I've had some of their brand before. Let me uh, let you me sample some and let yeah, you know if there's any make sure it's safe. gluten in there. All right. <laughs> gluten detector over here. I just need to read the ingredients list. Why are you gonna pull that out after I eat twenty five cookies? <laughs> you should have pulled the jerky out first. Sorry, bro. Yeah, right. Jerky for dessert. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, bro. I'm trying to make one twenty five. Are you? No. No. There's no way. When was the last off? time you were one twenty five? Yeah, you gonna cut Never. off the leg? <laughs> <laughs> Omar, you look jacked lately, man. With all, all the fireman training. With all, all, all the, the fireman training. All the Italian cookies. <laughs> Carrying around are you those like, hoses. You, you you have to like do like fireman carry like legit like fireman carry stuff, right? Yeah, like of carry. course. They're not gonna pretend it in the academy. <laughs> yeah, usually like the gear with your air pack is like an extra seventy five pounds you're walking with. So, hello, nice bridge there. Is that the math therapy one, or is that just like a Wonder Woman one? I don't know. It might be a math therapy one, or just no on the other arm. On the other arm, you can see that it says Matt Therapy. Okay. And Dawn Award for for uh, the in-house trials. Yeah. Is that was their was that their way of sponsoring them? <laughs> I just that remember. may be an indication. Not it's not also right. possible that she's just a fan of Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. I can understand how anyone would be. I don't know who Wonder Woman is. Me neither. That's a death stare from Javi. I, I'm triggered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I forgot to do this like plenty of podcasts ago, but I finally saw Logan. Yeah. And I was going to give you a shout out on air, but it just never, I never had the opportunity. This is my shout out on air in yeah. person. <laughs> what did I think of it? Yeah. 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 At best. Mm. Yeah. Maybe you guys just hyped it up way too much. Maybe you're just a soulless bastard. <laughs> with a drinking problem <laughs> I, don't know if I, I don't know if I have enough geek running through my veins to enjoy it as much as you guys do okay so and I'm drinking water right now the probability he hears this is actually pretty low and I don't think I explained this to you so I watched it with my two older boys because obviously it's wildly inappropriate for my youngest and uh, at one point towards the end I look over and my eldest son is softly weeping in the theater. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh shit, it hit him hard. And I'm, I'm about to lose it now. Okay. Um, but I, I, I hold it together. And we get out of the theater, you know, because this is right at the end. And, uh, you know, I, I, I pull the boys in for kind of like a hug. And I got one boy on the right of me and one boy on the left of me. I go, so what'd you think of it? And he goes, Dad. I always thought of Logan as kind of being like a combination of you and Grandpa. So 
seeing that happen was like the worst thing ever. And I was just like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, must not hold right. <laughs> together, hobby. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why would happen to him? Did he die? <laughs> 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 this match is uh, pretty intense. They're all going to be intense. That's going to be my thing. I'm just going to say every match is yeah, yeah. intense. These girls are really getting after it. Getting after it. <laughs> what, what's the uh, what's the commentary? What are they always saying? <laughs> they punch their punch their ticket to the next round. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, dark horse. She's the dark horse. She's the dark horse. Right. The dark horse and the puncher ticket are really getting after it. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say about this. Yeah, I'm like moment. I don't know. I thought it froze. She broke the guard and just stopped. <laughs> Yeah. Perhaps if we had an alternate camera angle. Yeah, I don't know what she's waiting for. I think she has like a wrist control on that. Yep. It's possible. Oh. Uh oh. Don't feel like the angle's quite right for that. Doesn't appear to be. And the toes and in the yeah, butthole. And she's definitely kicking the ass. Deep, so. Yeah. Yeah, see, it says Matt Therapy right there on like the oh, arm yeah, shield. It does. Maybe Matt Therapy will sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably forget to ask. I don't even know what wait, to say. Wait, wait. That. That's Paul's job. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll handle it. Can you please yeah. talk to... Uh, I'll make it happen. You just... Becky and, uh, you just Donna. go back on social media and like everyone's stuff. <laughs> yeah, and not really pay attention yeah. to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Liking is the first step. Paying attention. That comes later. Ooh, you saw that? Did you see how she passed? She stepped yeah. on her leg and jumped over? I appreciate it. Good Rewind it. I can't. This is live. Actually, I'm not even sure. Can we? we could. I'm sure it's not live anymore since it froze, right? It's true. No, it, it's live, yeah. Yeah, because I think it skips ahead after right resetting. Now, yeah. Can, I mean, can we play this? I mean, I know Rogan can't play stuff. Like no, man, he, we can't play it. Because he mean? gets like, yeah, you know. Yeah, takedown requests. We put this on 10 YouTube. million listeners, but I don't think anyone's going to be. We post it. this to YouTube. They'll don't. kick us down. Oh. Yeah. We'll take it down YouTube. Don't. Don't. Don't let the audience know that you get less than 10 million listeners. Yeah, month. just slightly less than what Rogan gets. <laughs> slightly less, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll see if I can, uh, you know, get a spot on Rogan and, and, and you know. And give us a shout out? Give you not less than two shout outs. Yeah, okay, good. Well, Omar probably, know, you know Joe Rogan, don't you? No. You never trained with Zito, him? Zito, I you're trained, doing it again. I trained with him, but I don't know him. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Hang on, I have something to say. Let me pack some food into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Omar, have we trained with Joe Rogan? <laughs> I'm taking it away. Amber, you want to keep that someplace safe? He never stopped into the gym when you were there? Yeah, I train with him a lot, but I mean, yeah, you roll like, with him? Yeah. What's that like? <laughs> I mean, is he. He's it, strong as hell. Yeah, he's like, like strong. Rolling with a balding chimp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah he, do, he doesn't take much risk either. Like, what do you had, mean by that? You know, like if I have a Kimura. You go fetal position? Yeah if, I, yeah, if I have a Kimura and I don't get it within a minute, I usually let go and just play something else just for. If he latches yeah, like, onto something, he's holding on to it. Until he gets it. Or time runs out. Yeah. Way. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Why does he do that, do you think? I don't know. Just, Just the way he plays way. the game. He's I mean, like not a risky guy. At least some part of that's got to be injury related, I imagine. Because he's had a rash of injuries. Probably. Yeah. He got his black belt that day. I Me and him rolled for like 10 minutes straight. Oh. oh that, that was in Burbank, yeah. Oh, wow. I was still a purple belt at that time. And you, you were there for when he got his black belt. Mm -hmm. Did you know it was coming? No, I didn't know. Oh. At that time, that's when Ronda started coming. Interesting times to be out there. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. How's Rhonda? You roll with her? Nah. No. I was going to say a joke, but I didn't say it. Let's go, man. Because he doesn't want to let your girls. 10 million listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I just watch. <laughs> Creepily from the sidelines. I don't see any Aww. escape or submission coming out of this. This could be a lot of riding time. Oh, yeah. Ugh, one of these matches. Oh, my God. New rule. For this is what Joe Rogan would do, basically, <laughs> right? <laughs> Ride you out? <laughs> Probably. Oh, she has the mad. body triangle on, so that's going to be hard to escape anyway. What's your body triangle escape, Amber? I lean to the side that they have the triangle locked up on and almost try and ankle lock them with yeah. their own leg. 
I know a couple of variations of that, and that's a pretty good go-to, but I feel like most people are super aware of that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like they flip the triangle or whatnot. So I try to combine that with just, you know, like as I go to open it up, hard spin in to, to end up in the guard. Oh, yeah, turning into guard. That's going to be a lot easier than actually breaking it and yeah. fully escaping. Because being a girl, I feel like people like to go to that a lot, especially if they're bigger and guys. I mean, I got stubby legs, so I'm actually really, really excited when I can body triangle anyone. But mostly that's just like Ben and women. <laughs> you might, you, you've done it to me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I have at least twice. But then, it, then I am going to try to break your rib with it. I mean, let's let's be honest. Mm -hmm. It's possible. I've yeah. had mine broken with them. There was a cup Heavy involved rolling. in that one, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, there was a cup involved, yeah. which is why I still get a little hesitant if I'm rolling with someone and they wear a cup and take my back because it's it's a perfect pressure point. Yeah, you're right. Body triangle yeah. squeeze. You're wearing a cup that's just going to snap them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zito used to try to break my arm with his cup all the time. Oh uh, yeah. I don't wear a cup anymore. So. Thank you. We all appreciate right. that. Because Worlds is in a month and they don't allow it. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> no, and no more spats either. I dropped the spats. Completely dropped them. So yeah. you don't wear anything? <laughs> <laughs> you know what that girl was wearing? The red shorty shorts? That's what I wear. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, I get Valley Tudo. That's it. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Man. He's, got, oh, well, maybe he's you. got a set of bad boys from <laughs> yeah, 1997 yeah. coming his way. Right, yeah. The eyes right on right. the butt. Uh -huh. Straight banana I bought, I bought a pair of vintage Hickson. Back from the day, yeah, that's yeah. what I did. With actual <laughs> hicks and sweat on them. Yeah. Do you sponsor yourself for compositions? I don't. I oh, feel man. like they've been in this position. We've got for got to, but we should get some patches. For yeah, the podcast for the geese. We definitely yeah. should. There's so much we have to do, Paul. The fuck? Who's in charge of that? I forget who it was, but that. someone mentioned me that it would be cool if you guys gave a patch to everyone who came on the podcast. So it would be like an exclusive oh, thing. Oh, dude. Yeah, we, we talked about. We that. talked about. There's so much. What did I get? Nothing. You ain't got shit. You don't have a gi, Omar. Well, that's true. Yeah, see, that's, like, <laughs> Grand Prix Union true. is about you know uh, bringing the the two opposing sides yeah. of, of grappling together. Yeah, you, know, yeah, Zito, you can have a Oki, screen. So yeah, Zito, we need something so that the two yeah. opposing sides together. That's right. Yeah. You know what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hire a tattoo artist to come in, and then as the guest comes in, like, okay, so you're gonna grab your tattooed on you. So where would you like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'd get it right in my heart. No, no, it goes away in three days. I, I promise. Yeah, I promise. It's yeah. a henna. It's a henna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. She still has the a referee now. moved her ponytail. And I feel out like it's been way longer than a minute. Well, this I mean, goes on there's, forever. Yeah, there's, there's no, there's no oh, time. There probably should yeah. be. Yeah. There, there probably should. Be. What three minute max? What if they all go three minute max? Then I thought it do? used to be one minute. And then... I don't know. Die. No. Really? It goes on. That was oh that that might have just been the submission. Oh, it's fight pass. There. It's the fight pass. <laughs> no, it's not Zito. It's fight pass. Bro, did you think I control that? Man? You should no. up your uh, internet. Oh, uh, bandwidth? Yeah. yeah, it's probably like 25 megabytes per second. <laughs> just, just get Google Fiber in here, bro. Dude, did she switch from behind, back to arm? Yes. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. slick. Out. And lost and it. Now, <laughs> and now she's like, I just uh, want to submit She's going to do the so same bad. exact thing. I think thing. Christina's taking the back, too. Well, I think it's smart because she's probably gassed from trying to submit her. Oh, is yeah. it easy? Gabby, yeah. Isn't it easier to defend than to? Not with a body triangle locked in, mm, man. That's man. that's sad. It's hard to breathe. Like it's yeah. just compressing the diaphragm. I, I mean, I, I don't disagree with you, but I. Uh, I if we can test this out right now. I can lock you in a body triangle for the next five minutes. You see how how she, she you like, are when you get like, out. Oh, oh wow! Damn, it's just out. What the fuck? Wow! Didn't expect that. It's not over yet, though. No, that's just round one. Uh, there was no submission. I mean, that was not even like she didn't even come close to like holding her at all. No. Like, did she even get her grips? Oh, uh, just don't let her put a body triangle in. Come on. I mean, oh, this is she can't start with a body triangle. <laughs> yeah. Christina looks a little beat after that. Yeah. Defend I the mean, body triangle. Oh, yeah, my goodness. I, Why does she let her do it, though? Because... Well, I, I don't think she just let her do it. I, no, it looked like she did. It looks like she yeah, did. Yeah, she didn't she even didn't even try to like I think she, scoot I think down. she prioritized defending the neck too much there. Yeah, I don't know. She's a black woman or cow, Tara. There you go. She's Ta -ha. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to correct you all night. Please do. Man. That's, that's unfortunate. I... I I've never seen her compete before. You follow her on Instagram? I do. Yeah. Are you going to unfollow her now? I'm Damn. Not, I'm not going to unfollow her, Asking but she's very entertaining. Do you like questions. all her posts without looking at them? 
<laughs> no, but she does a lot of the live feed, like live, like you know, Instagram yeah. live, and she's always like playing a guitar and singing. It's like oh, oh that's, that's cute. Nice voice. Yeah, a lot of Asians do that. They sing karaoke. <laughs> some of that. They do. <laughs> It's a, it's a real thing. Is it? Zito, didn't you used to have a karaoke business? I did. Oh, yeah. I used to sing a lot. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Please, can you do a little snippet? I can do a ditty. No. Wait, you used just to do sing? It. Yeah, Paul. Do it, please. I used to sing. I thought you were just like the party no, starter dude. guy. Do I it. Sang. I what what was your go-to years. sing? So uh, we're back uh, to an arm bar again. I would sing a lot of different songs, man. Anyway, anything, really. Give me one song like, that you but would sing. But just like, you don't have to sing it, like... Uh, I mean, but just, I would just do. I would sing. Uh, I would go from. I could do Lincoln Park to. Whoa! In the end, it was a song I sing often. All right, Pete Chester. Yeah, can you yeah. give us like a five second little like? Thing. I mean, I, I didn't do the rap part. See, I so could, I had someone else do the rap part. I would do the other part. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Wow. Uh, you stain. Go, I would sing stain. Damn, yeah. that was your time. I see. I thought you were going to say something like Frank Sinatra or something like that. No, I, I can. <laughs> I can <laughs> look at Omar. Right. Uh, my my, my I wrestling can, coach can, does karaoke and he sings uh, "Summer Wind" all the time. Yeah, right. I mean, I could not, sing Frank Sinatra. I could sing right. Dean Martin. I could do, but I like to push myself. Like those are the those songs. That's good, man. Ooh, Give ooh, us a little in the in the air. No, like, come on, bro. You can't the do it. It's probably It's easier. been so many. In the year, <laughs> <don't even laughs> no, nothing. I mean, it, it's 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 a it's vocally loud, so it'd be yeah. Really loud. You got to really get into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But hitting yeah. those notes is no oh, shit. Joke, man. When's yeah. the last Not time the you did any singing? Uh, for probably. T- I mean, do you sing in the shower? Seven, I feel like eight, it was a better like legitimately. You well, haven't, you haven't back. sang in eight years, probably. Not I, even like I by yourself in the shower. In the car, I'll do some stuff. Yeah, but. Yeah. yeah, I enjoy it. I did it at one time. I don't but believe now you. I'm getting choked out so much. I don't believe you can sing. Yeah, what's up? Come on, bro. I don't believe you. Really? I think yeah. you're lying. I don't know, man. I'd Damn. like to see it just once. Yeah. Well, maybe we should go out, go out to look at karaoke. Why? Yeah. We have one right here. We yeah. have four mics. Five <laughs> mics. <here. laughs> we got no music, bro. That's, that's what phones that's are for. Yeah, oh, Pandora. <laughs> yeah. So if she picks her up, takes her out of bounds, is it stop? You tell us. You're you were there, man. Mm-hmm. How's it work? It never happened, so I don't know. <laughs> Bottom of the second in this overtime. She's trying to get out of it like as if it's an arm bar, but she it's has the, yeah, it's different. So what's what's the right thing to do here, Omar? Just hold on. She looks like she. The thing is that she she pulled her arm and that her and the other girl's left leg goes over her face. The arm bar is right there. If she if she pulls out of that, if she yep. strains out her arm. She could. Uh, oh, got it. Never mind. Yeah. Wonder Woman did it. It's one more overtime round. She's yep. taking the back for the third and final round. Wait. Oh, she has to do this right because. Yeah, because yeah. there was no submission yet. Yeah, there's yeah. Submission. There's been no submission so far. But she's clear, definitely clearly she's definitely she's up running, on. Right, by, yeah. by my count, she's definitely up on escape right. time. Yeah. And there she goes again. That double grip on the choke. Boom, Boom, body triangle. Yeah. She doesn't even try to defend it. No, triangle and she's hooking under. Like, turn the hip a little bit to try to defend, right, Omar? What do you think? Like, yeah. just try something, right? Or lift your left lift leg your and leg block it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I wouldn't know anything. I'm just a black belt. Yeah. A very fresh one, too. I mean, yeah, yeah he's barely a black belt. Yeah. I mean, Dirty brown, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a white belt in the gi, though, so... You're gonna see not according to the IBJJF. No, no, no. no. Well, you are registered with the IBJJF because you put yeah. brown, right? Yeah, brown, yeah. Are you under Denny then? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did he have to like formally write something? Yeah, he has to yeah. sign the paper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Blacks. Why doesn't Eddie? He just doesn't want to do it. I think there's a lot of politics in that stuff. I think you have to pay too in order there's, to be. There's in definitely there. money. Do they recognize at Eddie? minimum? They don't recognize Eddie on there. Nobody gets recognized until they pay no. money, though. Yeah, you gotta I pay. Mean, Everyone recognizes But would John Jock have to write something for Eddie then? Yeah. Or if Eddie wanted to compete right. in it? Oh, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, it's whoever belted you has <laughs> or to Denny. certify that. Or Denny, right? Denny would have to. That would be like, <laughs> fucked up. That would be so no. back. Yeah. That would for be Eddie up. to not get the letter from John Jock would be fucked up. <laughs> have you you've trained with John Jock? Nope. Really? Never. Even you were out there have. all those, wait, all those years and you never yeah. went, Why? I don't know, man. There's so many places to train over there. Just Come like, on. He okay, you first of all, so many places, but how many places have, like, coral belts? Uh, 
Yeah, but that's true. About that, twelve of them. That are that are your your masters. Like that's true. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want to pay the daily fee of nine hundred dollars to go train there. He let <laughs> me. He let me go for free when I said I was tenth planet. Oh, did he? Yeah. Where you at, bro? Damn. Damn. I yeah, because I was out. I was out for one of my like trips, and instead of paying eighty dollars, like, oh, you're tenth planet, your family, you can yeah. have this one on See me. See the risk there. You have to go in there and be like, hey, I'm from tenth planet. If I would have done that, he's gonna be like, all right, cool, it's eighty dollars. Like, uh, yeah. uh, never mind. I mean, it could have been because I was out of town and from a, yeah. uh, from out of town and a girl, but who knows? Yeah, and he probably would have let me. I just didn't do it because somebody told me it was eighty bucks. I'm like, yeah. I'm paying eighty bucks to go. Eighty bucks for one class, one twenty for a whole day pass. Heck no. Uh, I, I, see, I see the value in it. Oh yeah, yes. I was gonna pay it, but what's, I was happy not. What's to. the value of it? To roll with a, a guy like who that? said you were gonna roll with him? Oh, oh you don't get to roll with him. Maybe you don't. Right here. Yeah. Oh, that would oh. suck. Man. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I want to roll with him. Yeah, <laughs> no way, man. The oh, finger man. looks blue. Uh-huh. The finger the that's finger like through. Yeah. She does not want to tap. Nah. No. Nope. Oh, no. Hey. Finally. Jeebus. No, but she still gets another chance, right? No, she's, she's gonna cry. No, no, she. Yeah, because it's the no. top of the third. Oh, it's the top. Where yeah, does it so say that at? It was up in the corner. Oh, was it? Yeah. So. So she gets a she's chance. She's got a. She basically got to submit her in whatever amount of time. Oh wait, it was or less. is that you Wonder know? the Wonder Woman girl is the girl from Invicta, right? Yes, she just fought Invicta like two weeks ago, or the last Invicta card. Wow. I think she rear naked chicked the the other girl's eye. Yeah. Oh yeah. You see like red marks on her face. For an arm bar again. Dude, MMA fighters are different when it comes yeah, to Yeah, dude, they're like Ooh, they yeah. grit, like that yeah. grit. It's, they're just a different fucking breed. First round Nogi Worlds last year and this year, or 2015 and 2016, I got MMA fighters. I had a UFC fighter in 2015 and an Invicta fighter in 2016. Jeez, that's, that's... You so have all these hard. easy draws. I know. No, it's just different. Like, they're solid. They work out for eight hours it's a day. A diff- yeah, they're doing a different workout. Yeah, do- yeah it's totally so different. much stronger. Right. And it's their typical weight because most of them are cutting to 135 when they fight middleweight because it's 147, Nogi. Technique conquers all. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Technique and steroids conquer all. That's true. Yeah. I don't think anybody's on steroids, though. Anyone at all? Nah. 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 So it's fake news? Is that, that what you're saying, news, Omar? Yeah. It's that bison meat. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Everybody's hunting their own food like Joe. Yeah. Andre Gavall's not. No. Sure. No. No, he's eating elk. Straight up. <laughs> Straight elk? Yeah. I mean, he may have gotten some horse from, uh, what's his face? The Dutch oh, kickboxer. Alistair Overeem? Yeah, Alistair. Ah. He could have been getting some horse meat from him. Alistair Overeem, he eats horse? That was his excuse for when he oh, was gotcha. that it was a horse meat. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. I mean, Amber, do you like that rash card, that Wonder Woman? I, no, it's hideous. hideous. I don't think it's very flattering. Not very flattering at all. The shoulder, the way that it's cut on the yeah, shoulder. Well, the good thing is that it's from Matt Therapy, so at least they're sponsoring somebody. Right. That's <laughs> true. That's true. But, it's true. I mean... You actually have a rash guard too, dude. There's so much we have Definitely, to do. Definitely, uh, who's, who's I, responsible I would, for this? I would purchase your rash guard. Thank you. Who's Thank responsible you. for rash guards? <laughs> this is going to Paul now. Is it? I, mean, I almost do? think you need a marketing manager. What exactly are you, to do you handle do? Handle all these things? Because <laughs> I know you. <laughs> you plug that chip in there. You talk into these microphones, and then you pass the chip off to Bruno. Right. And I'm pretty sure he does oh, everything. Oh, 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 <laughs> there's a key point here. He employs Bruno. That's, well, that's true. true. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. want to pay a salary next week? No, I'm okay. good. <laughs> Ooh, her ankle is like peach red. Look at that. Ooh, man. Hey. But she got it. That was an exhausting match. I'm, I'm tired. tired. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm tired of that. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Those girls were really getting after it. <laughs> Uh, that was only the second match, right? Third, uh, no, that was this the, is the fourth. No, this is one side of the bracket. What time is, is this going to finish at? Bro. I got a war tomorrow. So do I. So, so do all those families of Robert Drysdale. Except Paul. People. Paul doesn't have to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Paul, you're on your own at some point if it goes okay. too far. You know? uh, Paul, you train Paul, tomorrow morning? Okay, so. I make my own hours. So all right, it's all cool. Good. Sweet. Paul, you're doing 10 a.m. Wow, tomorrow? Remember? Yeah. You got it made. Well, see, I'll be doing a 10 a.m. class, too. And I'm also interested to see Patty here. Is that right? I actually want to see Catherine. Why? Because she's, she's, she just won the EBI trials. But she's did she get a brown? 
purple. purple. She's a purple. Oh, she just got her. She purple. just got her. Just purple. got her purple under. And she's going blue. against. She's like uh, she's checkmat. Yeah. Checkmat black belt. Yeah. Who has won every no gi like IBJJF since getting her black? But belt. they do this all the time. They always put like the least expected person to win against like the mm. hardest person. Does Does Eddie set these up like he has a, like? I a, think uh, I think Victor Davila is the one that sets yeah. up the matches. He does. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because you want like the biggest names going into the finals possible. Yeah. I mean, I don't disagree. I was just wondering but if it, they did if they just did like a you know no a, like cap, a random draw. random draw. No, you'll or, notice like. Like they'll have like Gary at the, the top, and then like Geo at the bottom, right? Yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. the brackets are, but but I like that because it gives an opportunity for like a little Cinderella story here. Ooh, is that fight chicks bets? Yep, yep. yep. Nice. Just called it out. See, they sponsored someone. Yeah, Jeez. Yeah. So did Jake actually sponsor someone, or is this just a pair of? Uh, spats it could just be a pair because she wore them are recently in the sub spectrum. Yeah. Are those? Is that a new design, Javi? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, it is. Ooh, we got that Chicago flag on them too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, there's several new designs that Jake uh, posted about pretty recently, actually. Ooh, 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 sweet. Oh, oh, look at that! Nice. Oh, good, good. Let's see what she does here. They're going at it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's going to go all night long. Sorry, folks, all night long. No, they like it when we bust your balls. <laughs> no, no need to apologize. <laughs> so you said the girl on the bottom wins everything? Uh, she's won every IBJJF no-gi tournament that she's done since uh, getting her black belt. So Worlds. And all by submission. Yeah. Jeez. The past two years at Worlds. Our own. I believe that's just in her weight class, though. I think she does light feather. Because 125 is definitely, like, her walking weight, or she's even yeah, lower she's, than that. She's Patty's light. smaller. Yeah, she's small. Yeah, I mean, Catherine's EBI trial matches are pretty intense. Her um, knee does things that it should not do. That, that a human leg should not do? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. When I saw that, I was like, I saw. I think I saw a photo of it. And I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And then when I watched, I was like, oh. "Yeah, she's getting heel hooked, and she decides to uh, to like back arch into a upside down darse." Yeah, it's crazy. I do that all the time. Standard moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So warm ups. It's, it's, yeah. it's a black belt move for sure. <laughs> Omar, how come that- you're not sponsored by anyone big yet? Like uh, Matt Therapy <laughs> sponsor me right now. Oh, they are. Yeah. Oh no, are you sponsored by Hypnotic? Nah, you're not. Nah, we just have a good relationship with okay. them. Why don't they sponsor you? They probably could, they probably would if I wanted them to. Are you gonna do some more competitions after you finish up the fire fire academy? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking next year is probably gonna be my year just to hit it hard. Are you? Yeah. At what weight? Well, I competed at the 155 divisions for the longest, but these Italian cookies are kicking my ass right now. So extra yeah, medium? You do not weigh 155 right now. No, hell no. <laughs> no way. I'm, I'm at least walking like 75 for sure. At least. At least. Yeah, that's being very generous. <laughs> damn. No, oh. I'm saying that like, No, no, I meant the arm damn. bar, not your burn. You're uh, terrible. Jesus. It wasn't a burn. <laughs> <laughs> he looks big right now. Like, But what do you want to do? 168 or something? What do you want to do? What do I want? I want to compete at 55 again. No, I mean, come on, man. You don't think I can? <laughs> no. Don't you don't know oh, me, man. The gauntlet's been 155, thrown down. bro. I've always competed at 155. You just had a son, right? Yeah. I'm just saying, man. Got I'm that baby weight. Got I'm that just saying, weight, man. My, my it's going to be hard, stuff. man. That baby weight, bro. Sitting around the firehouse. Fire going all on. That man. Sitting around. You should see the gym we have at the firehouse. I mean, you, we can there's, see we have, it. There's a brown belt from New Breed at our firehouse. Oh, really? Yeah. You guys got mats down on the floor now? He, I didn't see any down there when I went down there, but he's a brown belt under Mark Vives. Yeah. What's his name? I know his last name because it's on his shirt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Pellegrini. Okay. But he's a big buff dude. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's dude, competed a, in Pan Ams and stuff like that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Decent commute for you, huh? Skokie to Lombard? Yeah, it's about 30 minutes, 35-ish, depending. Oh, it's that's the it? traffic is killer, yeah. yeah. They don't have a residency requirement? Nope. Ooh, that's Boogie's move right there. It is. Yeah. I am surprised. Amber, weren't you, you trying to get into the... Weren't you trying to be a cop for a while? Yeah, I was, still. I, I, oh, you're still trying to do it? Damn. Yep, thought I was there, but... 
Got to start testing all over again. Ugh, I, remember, I did that for five years. Yeah. It's rough. Well, yeah, we ran into each other at the Naperville test. Yeah. I just walked in. I, I typically, you know, stake out the room, see if anyone has cauliflower ear that I could have a common interest with, and I run into this guy. Right. Yeah, I was next to a bunch of weirdos. You got to look at people's knuckles now, too. Oh, see for, if they got the, oh, that spider guard thing going on. I'm never going to be able to wear a ring. You see that? Whoever Why decides to put... Right there. Why would I want yeah, to train the gi? Like a, like a typical like engagement ring. So the price for training in the gi is disability? No. Yeah, basically. Actually, what you want is to find a girl who trains in the gi because you don't have to buy some big diamond because she can't wear it anyway. That's It'll just true. spin around. That's right. Or you just don't buy one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take an engagement gi, please. No. Nah. Ooh. I don't know. I, I mean... We're all using the I think they need a microphone these silicone rings now. Oh yeah, no, that'd be great yeah. for like Let me see that official oh. bands. They even come in rank colors. Uh, Patty and Carlos have ranked ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, those like rubber band ones. Yeah, because you can even train with them. Like actually Ooh. working as a police officer, that would be a great thing to wear because yeah. you don't want to have yeah. well, jewelry anyway. Down. Yeah, I actually still habitually take it off because I don't want to wreck yeah. it. Or yeah. If I ever got yeah. married, I would never wear a wedding band. Yeah, I mean, but Joe I mean, always said the same thing. These are like twenty five bucks. I don't wear one. You know, in case I ever went to that girl from yeah. Memphis. Yeah, it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no real danger to you. It's not like it's gonna get snagged on anything and, and tear your finger open. Well, yeah. for you working as an electrician, it didn't make it doesn't sense, make a lot know. of sense. Oh, I thought yeah. you did At the least podcast. That's, that's the excuse yeah. I always got. <laughs> <laughs> Guest relations. It's it's a full time job. Yeah, I think every electrician uses that as an excuse too. Yeah. No, hey, I, but I, I can't do it. You know, it's a, it's a, it's so, a it's conductor. A work hazard. Yeah. So, well, I mean, this was years ago, but one time I walked into the office and I had my wedding ring on, and the girls they flipped f- out at me. They were like, "Oh, oh I thought God, they all started what? hitting on you." No, no, no. <laughs> it, 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 I was You're finally on the market. They, they yes. started swarming him. Yeah. Like, no, they, they, they assumed I had had some like horrible fight with my wife, uh-huh. or I was getting divorced, or something. Right. And they're like, "Oh my God, what happened?" And I'm like. I left my ring at the gym. And they're like, oh, you take your wedding ring off? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not leaving my wedding ring. Yeah, I'm right. doing what I do. Right. We have a what double kind of no armed triangle happening right oh, now. Oh, wow. wow. They just are triangling each other's double face with rainbow. no arms in. Double, double <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> Let me yeah. tell you, you watch girls matches. We get in some of the weirdest positions that you're just yeah, like, I, how in the world yeah. did this just happen right now? A double yeah. triangle. God damn. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm pretty impressed by Catherine because <laughs> oh, very she's, much she's fucking going. She's getting after it. She's <laughs> lasting Sorry, a lot longer than I actually anticipated. On, Let me say my line. Okay? <laughs> I've been practicing this line all day. All right, this is this is what they I was are getting do after it. Like, this is it. That should be the... It's going to be hashtag getting after it, bro. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Holy crap. Buy the t-shirts coming out. Hashtag getting after it? Yeah. Bruno, when you upload this episode, make sure you put hashtag getting after it on there. <laughs> and also scroll through my Instagram and like everything. <laughs> <laughs> Is this his work checklist now? Yeah. She's hunting for that Japanese necktie over and over again. Yeah. Well, like you said, it's boogie staple, so I'm sure it's yeah, been she got a tap drilled it in, into her game. In, uh, in qualifiers. In qualifiers, yeah. Yeah. Damn. yeah. I mean, I'll be I'm, I'll be honestly interested to see how this goes if it does go to overtime. Why are you saying like that? Because, I mean, headquarters at, and, right, you, should know, you know, right, like... Yeah. Tenth Planet just drills it. drilling yeah. and drilling and drilling these escapes constantly. Right. I mean, I know she trains with with Geo, and I'm pretty sure I've heard that they have the same right. same idea. You know, yeah, it's Let's the see. only rule set they train. Yeah, and the fact that so many of them have been in EBI, that's Omar. That's how come we don't have like one of those boards at uh, what boards? Like a board with all the warm ups. Oh, the there. ones they like paint it on. Like yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. Like we all the academies are getting them. Yeah, we want to do that. Do, I just don't have anybody. Do a wall yet? I just don't have somebody yet. Give that responsibility to. I was thinking no about Paul doing enough it. enough handwriting. Well, Maria, you, 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 you can do it. You pay him. Where would you put it? I, 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 I did it at 10th Planet Chicago. On I'm the sure wall where there is no men. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Actually, they've moved, so. Oh. I was going to say it. Could yeah. By the bathroom? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but most yeah. likely, yes, yeah, painted over by whoever the new tenants are over there. Yeah. There goes that leg. Yeah. That is a funky leg, man. 
she's young. I can tell she's going to have issues later on in life from that. It's tight. Yeah, sometimes when my foot gets caught in that, like, quarter guard and I need to, like, knee slide through, I'm always like, Oh, she's got it sunk in. I got to get that. She's got it. Oh. No No time. Damn. Oh, Oh, time? Yeah. Wow, that was deep, too. Omar, you see her just gripping that? Oh. Here's the thing. This is a tale about someone that just got their purple belt going up against some, like, world-class. Black belt. And look at that. Yeah. Just telling you, man. She's bringing it. That's crazy. This girl's 18 years old. Is just she turned, really? Yeah, just turned 18. Wow. It's crazy. And, I mean, how long, do you know how long she's actually been training? No, because she wasn't around when I was there. Well, right. she, in her, um, in the preview video, it said she's been martial artist her entire life. She's been training, doing something her entire life. Her aunt, I think, is like some sort of sports commissioner for the state of California. So it's, it's in her family. Man, I don't have anything like that in my family. You need to get a new family, son. <laughs> No, you just have to set something up so your son can say, oh, it's in my family. Wait, wait, what do they keep going for? Yeah, I, I what's, up was, that? what's up with that? What's up with that, Omar? I know they allow transitions, but it has to be way smoother Wait, that. that was a I, shitty yeah. transition. I, she was completely, that was I, more I of a scramble. I think Master Rick was just out of position when she... Those like, Datsusara gi pants look comfortable as hell. They are super comfortable. I, I sampled Chili's pair. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're massive on me, but they're so soft. Yeah, I... I want a pair, but I don't want, like, you know, the huge Eddie Bravo signature on the bottom of them. Why not? I think it's kind of weird. I don't wow, know. she's got her flattened the fuck uh, out. Holy shit. She's just going to hold it here for a little bit. Think she'll choke her here? Nope. No? She has a flexible neck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she has no trachea. <laughs> Yeah, but when you're belly down like that, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. Because the second you start to... She might be okay. Boom, she's Ooh, out. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. That was good. More of a knee pinch to hold her down. I mean, she's definitely held her a little longer than. Patty's always smiling. Every time I've seen her at a tournament. That's a, like, that's a mental game right there. Always smile, smiling. Smile, befriend them. Like, oh, that was so good. That's what Zito does. Yeah. I do. What do yeah. you do? I you just... always do that to me, too, from the fetal. You go, <laughs> you'll start laughing when you get fetal. Bro, because you talk to me. I hate it, bro. He's like, ah, oh, because. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Pillow Omar's talk. Omar's fucking talks, man. And it's like, dude, stop talking, man. I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> you talk to people bef- right before comp. You can't complain about somebody yeah, talking seriously. to you during a roll. Give us what he says, man. He's fucking with me. He's like, give us, give us some examples. <laughs> cite some. Uh, go ahead, Omar. Tell cite me, tell cite some of these horrible crimes. I, I don't know ooh, what I ooh. tell you. Foot to neck, right there. He put you on the spot there, Omar. Yeah, kind of. I don't remember what I said. You only, you only, you only say these things in the moment. They're not Yeah, deranged. exactly. Yeah. I remember you guys used to get so What's mad at me, or at least the guys at 10th Planet, for being too friendly before tournaments. They're like, stop being friends with everybody. You need to go out there and be aggressive. We get mad at Zito, too. I mean, look. Okay, yeah. so not just me. Yeah. Zito, that's what we get for being nice people. I guess so. Unlikely to change. <laughs> right. Old dog and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what makes you a good podcast, I'm sorry, I'm Zito. Sorry. I mean, you like... You like talking to people. I do. Masters. Oh, Delusion she got her. her. Fuck. She's not smiling right now. She better get her black belt. <laughs> she, should, she should skip brown right now. Is it one of those things where, like, you beat a black belt, you take their belt? Yeah. Ooh, that would be <laughs> awesome. Well, that's what we told Nikki when she beat Catherine. We're like, does this mean you get her EBI spot now? <laughs> Don't Pressure smile. Don't smile. Don't smile. Don't smile, yeah. Yeah, she's about to lose. I want you to smile, too. But she's got to she got choke her. It took a little her. bit. Yeah, it she took a little bit of time. And she's out. She ain't going to tap her out. I'm telling you right now. Oh, she tapped her out. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she's out. She's out, dude. She's There's out. no way. No she's way. keep spinning. Yeah. Out. Keep spinning. She's out. Don't complain. Yeah. No, no I don't like do the rule it. set, no. Don't know I, the rule set. The rule set. set's the reason I lost. I trained in the Gi 99... <laughs> Time percent of the time, so I wasn't ready for this tournament. Uh, you know, damn, damn. you know, what they're gonna say. That's a lot. No, man. actually, lot. I watched the countdown, and almost every single girl was like, "I've been training this rule set, you know, for the past couple of months. I right. really like the format. I like the overtime. So well, fortunate, wait, you know." Yeah, Anybody like, follow this girl on Instagram? I want to see her post. Who? Which one? This girl. Yeah, I, I follow, follow her. her on Instagram. I follow yes, her. please tell me what her post says. You know, I tried my best. I just, I didn't even care about winning. I just wanted to have fun. Yeah. That's, I hate those posts. <laughs> I hate those posts. Good experience. Or the, yeah, I hate those posts. 
Why are you saying you hate him? Why? Because it's like, Cause come on, bro. Nancy. No, you know how like those people like, like if I join the tournament as a blue belt in the expert division and then I lose, I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I went out there, I went up against a black belt because, you know, but I didn't care. You know, he's a black belt, you know? So right. I just wanted to try my best. Like, no, nah, bro, you're stupid. You lost because you shouldn't have been in that division. Right. That's how I feel about that. So Agreed. I, yeah. I yeah, said, what, what is, what is like, what is with that? Like, you know, those that, are, those are guys chasing belts. They want to show their coach. Oh, I went bumped Ooh. up with division and, and I hung with those that guys. That was staple 10th planet right there. Yeah. That break, that X break. Yeah. Oh, that Omar, you don't push, you don't push anyone belt. to compete up in competition. Like, Not yet. I want to though. Wait, I do. wait, you want them to compete up? Oh, no, no, my bad. My bad. I thought you meant just pushing no, to no, compete. No, compete up. No, heck no. No, right? No, if fucking you. Blow out your fucking. Blue belt, white belt, purple yeah, belt. Yeah, like what's the, that's the purpose of them, right? Right. It's, here's the thing, man. You got you get blue belts that compete in these expert divisions, and they do it because there's no pressure, right? Because oh, well, if I lose, I was supposed to lose, but if I win, you know, so right. it's like no, do it. I want you to do your division because now there's pressure, right? Because now you're gonna go up against guys that are supposedly in your in exactly. your. Yes. So I don't like that. I mean, I there's there's certain circumstances where I, I get it sometimes, you know, like for example. You know, like maybe some dude that's like wrestled his whole life. That's like a blue belt. I can get them maybe, you know, like doing an expert division. It makes sense. You know, they were blue belt, but they wrestled for 25,000 years. Yeah, but, you know, but you know, you know, I, I got suckered into doing expert division yeah. just because there was, there there was, was no, no choice. Right. Yeah, you had no choice. So, but I didn't know who I was going against. Yeah. And it turns out, you know, we thought he was a brown belt or whatever, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he was a purple belt. Yeah. You know, it's cool. And, um, but it kind of like, Expert division kind of like it's very misleading, man. Well, for Naga it is. For, well, for sure, yeah, for, for Naga. Naga it is. But that's why I kind of like the I'll IBJJF. Check mark on the Naga list. The IBJJF <laughs> is definitely like you can't compete at fucking black. Exactly. Not no. a fucking black. Belt. No, it's your skill level, your, your weight. Why you can go up and weigh? Trust me, you don't want but to though. But that yeah. also Not bothers the, me. But why? But why? Why? Why do they have it where you can't go? Why? Why is that even a thing? Like, if I was a black belt, like, why do I gotta go against a fucking? Why don't you have any? black belts here yeah you know i don't because it's naga and naga. black belts don't show up to that Naga's all well about just in general money. too well, the because well tournament. paul like remember we were talking about it uh i don't know for when it was but we're like you know knowing that you're competing against black belts as opposed to like oh this some blue belt just tapped me like you know what i'm saying it's kind of like i don't want to take that risk you know being like oh i'm gonna go in this tournament against i could go against a blue or purple even a white belt can jump in Right. And then, you know what I mean? It's like, why, why would a black belt want to go there? I think it's more of just dedicating an entire day to it and then paying your fee and weighing in and doing all the bullshit well, just, to get, get... just to get a match that's not worth your time. Well, and especially around here with the smaller tournaments, most of our black belts around here that compete also coach. So they dedicate the smaller tournaments to like helping their students or refing. Like True. a lot of the right. you know yeah. higher belts around here are either refing or coaching. That's why it's even hard to get refs sometimes because they want to be coaching, <laughs> and yeah. so they have they wear so many hats. So they if they're going to compete, they want it to be against someone their weight, their skill level, and really IBJJF's the only one around here that allows that unless it's like a super fight situation. Right. I want to make my own tournament. I think you should. So I'm, I'm going to call it the O2 Invitationals. Ooh. See that? Yeah. I like that. Omar Ocasio O2 oh, Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. I like that. I thought you were just looking for a lawsuit from Oprah. <laughs> oh, wait. She had an O2? <laughs> oh, O2. How do you know that? Come on, man. O squared, maybe? Uh, o squared. Yeah. Ooh, right there. O yeah. squared invitational. You guys want to be in it? That's the yeah. uh, symbol sure. for yeah. Agua. Right? But yeah. only if yeah. I can fight black belts. <laughs> But no, as I was saying before, like one of the things I dislike, and this comes up frequently, like with the IBJJF and whatnot, is like I can't use a large amount of my tools because I'm not ranked high enough to do so. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense to me. Like I can't do knee bars because I'm not a brown belt yet. Yeah. Right. So – Get yeah, your brown I, belt, man. I, Get your brown belt. Get your Omar, brown belt, man. For it. Just buy it. <laughs> okay, Omar, we're going to go back to the conversation before about the geese and, and the stripes and you things. You can't do that? I mean, you can. It's I frowned mean, upon heavily. Technically, you could get away with it up through purple, but starting at brown and black, IBJJF checks your lineage. Right, right. You so. definitely get away yeah. with it at other tournaments. Yeah. Um, oh, for sure. don't have such strength. Jesus. Dude, did she yes, just she was getting it? after She's, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I thought, is this the combat one? No. Oh, no. no. There's <laughs> just some almost eye gouging. There's uh, this one and then two more matches before the first combat. Okay. But, uh, yeah, no. It, it's just one of those things where, like, if I am given the option, I'm going to compete in whatever division allows me to use the most number of tools. If you call that an expert division, then I'm going to fight in an expert division. If you call that the black belt division, that's what I'd really like to be in. Right. But with your uh, background and the years of martial arts that you've done, you could qualify for those regardless of rank. I mean, I... I, At at the non-IBJJF tournaments. Right, right. I mean, IBJJF is not going to accept uh, years of judo and other martial arts as a qualifier for... Yeah. I I don't... You know, since we've been doing the gi, I don't... You know... I like knee bars, I like heel hooks, and but you know what? I've been able to focus on arm bars. I've been able to focus on triangles. I've oh, been sure. able to, and you know, it's kind of I do it too. I kind of I kind of like not having to think about going for knee bars, mm, not having okay. to think about that when we're because I know I can't do it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm focusing on Oma Plata. I'm focusing on. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of changed right. up my. You're game focusing a bit. on standing out of guard in manners that allow me to heel hook you. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, right. but you know, I I'm not. At your level, you know. So for me, no, no, it's okay. nice not having to like no, no, think about those submissions, right? Be concerned about those submissions because I can now train on the basics, which I lacked, you know, a right. lot. And at you know? some, at at okay, so at some point, you're going to have to add those tools back in, of course. And there are elements of your game that you've been working on that will simply stop working because now there's a threat that wasn't there before. Or you could train with that threat constantly present and not develop bad habits that can be capitalized on. Sure, sure, I can see that. But in the IPJJF world, it's see you're when never I going to be able to heel hook. Yeah, when never. I was a lower right, belt, I would train for whatever I had coming up next. Right, and that's but, what I do. Yeah, to this day, so yeah, and uh, even now, it's like when I'm rolling. If people go for things with me because they're training for the same tournament, but they are a brown belt or black belt, I won't get upset if they're going for, you know, knee bars mm-hmm. and toe holds because I know someday I'm going to be there soon enough. Right. But I don't actively seek those out myself. I don't, or myself, I only do the things right. that I know I can do. And that just helps me, you know, not get into those bad habits. Like Javi said, because I'm aware, like, oh shit, there's a knee bar from here. So mm-hmm. I need to not do that. Sure. But I'm also not seeking it out. Right. Yeah, that's. I mean, I'm not seeking out, but I, of course I know the threat's there. Yeah. Of course I know when my, you know, I give someone my heel, I know it's there. Yeah. And Especially with like a lot of X guard things and all that, you mm-hmm. have to really watch. Yeah. Have you seen this new uh, hypnotic hemp gi? No. I'm going to get that one. Hypnotic? Hemp gi, yeah. Hemp. Oh, yeah. really? 100% Are you have it up there? Let me see. I have it up, man. Let's Let's see see this thing. Oh, Jesus. You just cost Zito the price of another gi. Now we really have two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, man. Damn. If you're only gonna buy one, buy a nice one. Yeah, man. I mean, where are you gonna go? You gonna the, to do I'm gonna go training? To, I'm gonna go right here. Two Taj. Right? Two Two Ta. Two toe. Two toe. Right there. Right there. Yeah. I'll come to you with a gi. No, see, you just want to destroy Amber, me. Amber's gi delivery service. <laughs> and then you want to talk about it the next podcast. Like, we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do a podcast on me if they don't make my I do size, it after bro. rolling with Omar and Okay, the fine. They don't, they don't have my size in this episode. Let's see. Oh, they don't have the kids' no, ones yet? They don't have the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Holy shit. This is, this, is, this is it. This is what I do. I do it all the time. I want Omar and all the companions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. Why don't they make, like... Yeah. The eight, so they only have an A1? That's A1 dope. See, I like that's that my problem, too. Like what do you do, A0? Going yeah. by Somewhere. height and weight never works. I no, have to go doesn't. by height, usually, and they're too too long. Yeah. So. I mean, that's nice. I really like the Desucero one, too. but And they actually have women's cut. I'm not a fan of uh, the green there, personally. See, so. Yeah, that's why I like the Desucero. It's like, for the women's one, it's like purple and blue. Yeah. But War Tribe has a purple and blue one that I yeah. bought instead that was much more affordable. Not hemp. So the hemp gi is is it it's super lightweight then I'm assuming. I guess. Or hemp belts are like I think it's all gimmicky. They're they're really like yeah. soft and breathable because Joey had the lucky gear okay. hemp gi yeah. or hemp gi and it was just like the lightest, was most it? like airy thing. Okay. It was so yeah. soft. Well the did the, it last? I don't know. The tenth planet gi pants are, are 
Detsus are. I'm pretty sure they're hemp. Yeah. 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 And like I said, I mean, it was so soft. Did you see it, a little Christian on it? felt like I was I wearing did see like that, man. bathrobe. It's so geek. cool. He's on there, man. Did, did it He's feel such like a boss, it could, that kid. It could take a beating, like grip wise i mean absolutely everyone tells me how crazy durable hemp is as uh -huh. a material right so i can only imagine but it's not like i was like hey chili let's let's battle test this right now right you know let, let me let let's me head you off the roof by it and see what happens let's you know? try and tear your new pants yeah <laughs> but yeah no i i have to assume plus you know like that has been really good about like replacing damaged bags and things like that for people so I can only assume that it works the same way for pants. Right. Maybe I'm wrong, but. I'm not paying attention to all this match. I know. This is the one match that I don't know either person in. Okay. Oh, this is the Silver Fox girl. Yeah. Okay. The next who we'll pay attention to, because we have Lila in the next one and then Nikki in the final. Nikki's at the end, right? Yeah, she's yeah. the final. Um, <laughs> Like match in this round and Catherine, they're on opposite sides. Same side, so they would meet in the semifinals if oh, they wow. both win. If Nikki wins this match and they both win their next match, yeah. then they would meet in the semifinals. So a rematch. Yeah, Nikki beat her right armbar the last time at okay. submission series about two and a half, three weeks ago. The submission series? Or is that the one it was, Javi? Uh, sub I, sub spectrum. Sub spectrum. Okay. okay. If there are so many invitationals now. There yeah. is. Man, there is a lot. Did That's good, though, yeah. man, because they all include money. Did Submission anyone catch... Uh, one in Indiana. Javi, do you know the results of uh, Chokes by the Ocean or whatever? Uh, I, I didn't match? get to see any of them. From what I understand, Ethan beat Orchard, but I it may have been like a ref's decision. I like oh, like. Okay. I, I read some very abbreviated results. Okay. And... Uh, like in it, they they basically said that Ethan was was on oh, oh, orchard oh. like white on rice, but they didn't say what the finish was. Okay, and I if I understand it, they have like a you know like a ref decision system for for determining draws. Okay, kind of like so a fight I'm, to win. so I'm not. I mean, either either they didn't list what the finish was, or it was a ref decision. I'm okay. not sure. Is this overtime? Yeah. Yep. She just escaped. Or no. Oh, apparently the escape happened at the end of regulation. This is top of the first for overtime. Okay. Conveniently listed at the upper left yes. corner there. Still still missing the countdown timer. Still hating the coin toss. Omar, who uh, who came up with the coin toss idea? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> A countdown timer would be really helpful. Yes, it's, it would. It's strange that they don't. Like, yeah. What's the secret? Like, well, yeah, because especially since they have the countdown for regulation time, that was one of the things with the grappling games pro event after their first one in Chicago where, like, you need a time. Like, the crowd needs to know how much time is yeah, left because it drives us crazy. Well, I know what it is. I think it's Eddie wants the, the suspense of, of, like, whose arm am I going to raise? But you're taking away the suspense throughout all the overtimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I agree. Like if someone, if you know someone has like 32 seconds of ride time and this chick's about to get out and it's 28 seconds, I mean, that's suspenseful. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. And you're taking that but, away. But you don't think that it, it, this not showing them makes them work harder to try to get out? Oh, I'm sure they're Show corners. us. Oh, they're, don't they're, show corners yeah. are screaming at them. Their corners right. have yeah. to be keeping yeah. time. Absolutely everyone's got a fucking stopwatch going. Yeah, right? everyone yeah. knows the time yeah. except for us. Yeah, right. we, we're not timing it. Well, right. if we had our own stopwatch. Right, but look, but what about the people who aren't, who are, I don't know who those people no, no, are. No, no, no. Some people who people don't. The, most people in the crowd aren't timing it. A lot of people are just watching with friends aren't watch, timing exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, the people who aren't just watching this because they like jujitsu, they're not into it. Like, oh, what the hell's going on? Like. How are they I don't think I'm missing anything, but I see no value in not just putting it on the damn screen. Yeah, just put me it on either. The screen. The fuck? Come on, I say, I say, leave it as it is, man. It's not fight damn, pass. Bro. It's that's got to be Eddie's oh, call. It's totally no way. EBI. No, totally. No, because he's never no, had. He's it. never he's had never it had on the there. Clock up even on the before UFC came in. Maybe, maybe logistically he couldn't get it oh, on there. Oh, oh, but they have oh, enough production now to get that on. But they do it in regulation. Finish coming here. And they have the clock for regulation. It can't be that much different. No, I guess. What is it with these girls letting these triangles happen so easily? These body triangles? You, you, are you offended by body triangles? Yeah. 
I just don't think guys go for it as often because y'all are a lot thicker. Damn, like if you can, she called us all fat. I did. No, if you get a body triangle around a girl's like natural waist, it can't go up, it can't go down. You're just stuck there. Like it's your smallest point. She's insulting my hourglass figure. Yeah. I am. You're too. You're too boxy. I call it boxy. She thinks I'm a square. I do. Oh, just kick that foot. Oh, it's going deep. It's getting deep. Oh, she oh, tucked it again. She tucked it. Yeah, she that's tucked the hurt. chin. That's going to hurt across those lips. Mouth guard oh, is yeah. the only thing that saves oh. that. All right, see, though, you know about that. I do know about I was not wearing a mouth guard. I'm, I'm even bigger. What is this not wearing a mouth guard bullshit? Yeah. I wasn't. I didn't know we were going to Abu Dhabi that night. <laughs> It was fucking crazy. When Nikki's good. comp training, dude, it's it, always Abu Dhabi. It was, it was. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I really oh, yeah. did. It was fucking great. I just wasn't expecting it. You know, you were not prepared. I was not prepared, but, but it was. I had a fucking blast. I mean, even competing against her so many times, and then just rolling last Saturday. Yeah, I felt like it was ten times harder last Saturday, just in like casual rolls, than some of yeah. our hardest competition rolls. Plus, she just got off a month long uh, train training camp, camp at Atos. Atos, and she's just on another level right yeah. now. She's yeah, yeah. Man, get the. I man, I wish I could show you guys that fucking arm bar escape. I mean, you could. I mean, I could, but I mean, I'll show you after. It's pretty fucking dope. But Omar, you can't be here because he's going to use it against yeah, you. Yeah, I, I won't show Omar. Right? He, yeah, because he's a black belt. He probably doesn't know it. Yeah, he might not. This is this is a secret technique only taught in the gi for use in no gi. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Omar would have no opportunity to ever learn this. Yeah. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, it's over. Okay. Who won, Omar? Uh, the girl who gets her hand raised. Hey, oh, you're on the right. Silver Fox. Fox. Silver Fox. All right. So here we go. Can that Memphis Aaron. girl come out already, please? She yeah. She's gone, dude. <laughs> she lost? She lost, dude. <laughs> oh. She lost. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> she needs some consoling right now. So, I got to go. Sorry, Soul man. crushed. Oh, this is whack. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with these rules? <laughs> yeah, single elimination, man. She's not coming back out. That's horrible. Barring they should have a loser's bracket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you complaining that you didn't have enough time for this? That's true. <laughs> That's true. Dude, this is going to be a long fucking podcast. I, are Especially we going to make keep, it? I mean, keep if... Keep going. We got to keep going if Nikki wins, but... Oh damn! Th that's the that's the qualifier. Wow, right it's there. ten already. Yeah. We haven't even gotten through the first that's round. That's what I'm saying. Two hours and fifteen minutes in already. And we're, this is only match number six. Right. I want to see combat jujitsu, and I want to see how Nikki Bro, does. Well, this is on fight pads. We can pause the podcast and then come back and then start. Well, it. you know what we might do? I might just throw out two episodes, Ooh. or we'll just kill this whole first two hours and start now. <laughs> no, the, why? Because we were ripping on you for two straight yeah, hours. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, 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 that, that was not <laughs> slick at all. You can kill the part where I say you're not slick. <laughs> I mean, Ooh, you know, okay. you know, I do have the power to do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Bruno, we're gonna start at the two hour fifteen minute mark. Right. Jesus. There you go. We're does Bruno actually have to listen through the whole thing, or is he like he's, mostly he's fast skip, forward? No, he fast forwards. He skips okay. through it all. Um, he, he's like, you know, I'm, I'm sure he listens to parts of it. Did we stop calling him Young Bruno? Because I really like that. that yeah, that's, let's let's keep doing that. Yeah. Bruno, I, Paul actually got to meet him for the first time. The yeah. Day. Good dude. Really good dude. All right, Lila, let's go. All right. This is your girl, right? It's my girl. She's getting married next week. Oh, wow. Next week already? Yes. I didn't know they had a date. She needs that money to fit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> sure as hell don't hurt. She needs yeah. It, yeah, to buy her husband a, a rubber band, <laughs> wedding band thing. Silicone. 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 Look at Hypnotic is on the back of Elias rash card. Oh, man. That's yeah, she's sponsored by them, I believe. Yeah, I, I hooked her up oh, with that one. She's getting after it. Yep. I say it again. I'm going to keep saying it. No, I've, I've right. rolled with Lila numerous times at HQ. She's very aggressive. Yeah, she's like, gotten better. Yeah, this was a while ago. I was a blue and she was a purple. Oh. oh. I appreciated that attempt. Oh. So did I. Oh, oh, damn. oh that's oh, deep. Oh. Damn. Nice. Now that's how you finish a match. Thank wow. God. Thank you, Lila, for saving us some time. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was gangster. Dang, she, she was. She got up fast. It. Yeah. That's like an Omar choke. Oh, she had a Matt Therapy. I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> As an Omar, Omar, forget it. When he jumps on your neck, you ain't, you ain't getting out of that. I learned from John Jack Machado yeah. when I went so there. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> is that he? Is that he? Is he choke? Nah. No, right? Nah. No. So where'd you learn all your chokes? You know, it's just, is this you know, something you adopted easily because you're a very one? talented person? Yeah, you know? what I do is because you've got you've got you got you got a pretty. You know, they're not they're not that big, but you got long arms. You got like I got decent sized firefighter yeah, arms. I don't know, man. I don't know. They look they look a little small. They look a little chubby. Don't. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be super fresh going into the second round. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. What's that thirty second tap? Wait, and is she on the same side bracket as the other 10th planet girl? Yes. Yeah. Uh, her next opponent Ooh. will be the this. winner of this jump. next match. Look at, Look at that. That pass was beautiful, beautiful. man. She's a Capoeira pass type. Beautiful. Damn, that was nice. Look at Eric Compella right there. Yeah, yeah. You could pretty much see him emote fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nikki's up now. Wait, so is it Nikki going to face Lila? The winner then? of like, Nikki's match will face Lila, yes. Ooh. Ooh. I know. Me and Amber are going to be screaming at each other. I'm yeah. going to take you, Omar. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it's, I like Lila, too. You know what we should do? You know what, Fiona here. You know what we would yeah, have been good for the podcast? Yeah. Huh. You guys Fiona should do like a up. grappler union breakdown and like show a match and be like, this is what happened in this match. Like they do at the Gracie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be yeah. Yeah. So they're really getting after it right now. <laughs> and it looks like it looks like this arm bar that I kind of know. I, I'll show you guys later. And, uh, <laughs> but it, it's a, it's the Ghee version. But uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Zeno breakdown. The Zeno break yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, let me show you what I think they're doing here. I'm not Someone's really sure. trying to be Harley Quinn Hold on, right now. Let me, let me call one of my instructors. That. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but they are getting after it. But they, there's no after doubt it. about that. No, no doubt. After it, confirmed. All right, so we, we analyzed my BJJ stuff. sponsor. Yep, and my bruises are from. She's an ambassador for that uh, charity. I'm I, I'm only so. moderately uncomfortable with using that hashtag. Yeah. Which hashtag is that here? My hashtag my bruises are from jujitsu. Oh, she just leg, and leg, let me, leg right away. Let me tell you, Nikki gets some pretty good bruises. Wait, which one's Nikki? Nikki is on bottom. On bottom. The one with the, the she's one, tall. The one missing the grappler. She's not that logo. tall. She's she's not much that taller would be than both me. Both of them technically. Shh. I don't know the other girl at all. Nikki was on our podcast. <laughs> Damn. Fuck that up, Paul. Yeah, since Nikki's been with Nice Guy submissions, her leg lock game has just gone up. Yeah, Joe Bates is is an OG. Yeah, and she's got Bobby Emmons. 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 You know, I actually don't know how to say yeah, his last so name. We'll I've say seen both. it written a bajillion times. but I know it's E-M-M-O-N-S, but he's in her corner right now. Oh, nice. Yeah, could definitely cut the tension in the room with a knife here. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> is it easy for her to make 125? No, this is the first time she's ever made 125. She said she hasn't been this late since she was 13. Mm. She's, um... And she was looking shredded doing it. Oh, yeah. She, uh... I mean, her breakfast after was... Glorious. Glorious. Like, I, I don't even I know how she it. ate it because I can't eat like that after cutting. But she typically competes at lightweight, oh, oh, which is oh, 130. There it is. There it is. No. 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 Um, and she's gotten a 130 for a handful of super fights, but this is her first time at 25. Yeah, I got that. Nikki lives off of coffee and chocolate covered espresso beans. Really? That life. Yeah, I know. Dude, she is so fucking game. Like, she drove in and she just, she just fucking she lives out of car, too, right? She just. Uh, for, as of last week, because she's in the process of moving. moving so. Right. She's moving to California, right? Yeah, she uh, she's starting the drive August 6th. So they're going to fly back after this trip and then have a couple days, I think, probably with her parents. And then she's going to make the cross country track. Just a train? Yeah, she actually posted uh, She's the moving. The route that they're taking. Yeah. For training purposes? Yeah. Yeah, she's for gonna training purposes, she's going to train full-time at Atos. Full-time at Atos. Ooh. 
She's kind of been a bit of a nomad in all the time that I've known her. She's always been good with uh, James and AJ Klingerman, Mm -hmm. but uh, she's been with a couple different teams throughout her jujitsu career. I think she's been training eight years now, at least seven. Jumping uh, to different schools now, it's like a it's like a thing, huh? A lot of people that train at like they'll tr- stay at one place for like five years and they go to another school. We, I mean, Paul I and I have both noticed that it's it's a common thing. Yeah, I I every everybody on that mat has trained at other places. Train at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't everybody. support other people moving for their best interest either. Like, never a thing. Never, never. No. No, uh, I think I, I think I it's just against a, it as much as possible. <laughs> like, no, no, stick it out while under, eating forever yogurt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that you know throughout everyone's jujitsu journey, I'm not, I'm not speaking for everyone, but I, my own personal, um, it's just you know you kind of get, I don't know, on a certain path, and you just. I mean, almost find every single guest we've had on the show has talked to, about like, well, you know, I started here, and, and then, then I went know, there, I went yeah. there, and I finished yeah. off here. A, Got my black belt from that guy. A very wise man told me no, no, no. that you no. just sometimes outgrow when you start where training you're at. Gi, you might. So you right. know you. When you start training gi. I was gonna say Sorry. a wise man told me that you sometimes just outgrow where you're at. So you can you know spend a couple years with one person, and mm-hmm. you just realize you've peaked, and you need to move on somewhere else. Right. And he compared it to uh, wrestling and having different coaches throughout your years. I and think- it's true though because. You know, you don't know where you're going to be or what you want to do a couple of years from now, so you have to switch teams to oh, get the train scissors. parties you need. Head scissors from she Nikki. She got the stripper choke. Yes. Oh, stripper she got choke, it. Nikki. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to tell the women's chat this because wow. I'm sure they all know. <laughs> For those who are not watching. Uh, beautiful head scissors. Damn. Nice. Though, if I mean, you know, if stripper choke becomes the official BJJ term for it, I, I, I suppose <laughs> I can adopt it. When Can necessary. You? Okay. I'm Only when talking to jujitsu athletes, though. That's okay. Oh what? man, this next round is going to be tough. Then with Nikki versus Lila. It's going to be a tough. But they're. I mean, that was a tough match. I mean, obviously. I believe that girl's a black belt during the like uh, countdown show. Scrolling through it. Yeah. yeah. Who owns her own academy? Who this girl that she just beat? Yeah, she owns Nikki's her own academy. Nikki's kind of cute too. She's okay. cute. Yeah. Just wanted to share that with you guys too. Thank you. <laughs> We've noticed. We've known her for years. We'll let her know. Do you guys know her? Yeah. Yes, that's why we're. Oh, I thought you guys just trained with her. I didn't know you know her. No. Wait, I'm so confused by what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like you know, just train with her. Nikki time. has beat me seven times in competition over the last three years. Okay. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Amber doesn't know a damn thing about her. Nope. Yeah. Hey, but she beats me less each time. Okay. <laughs> got to take those victories. Right? I that. do. That's a nice head. Paul, scissors. we yeah. could have our logo on her ass right now. Dude. Yeah, look at all we that bullshit right there. Like, we fucked that all up. Right like, <laughs> fuck <laughs> that all See, up. the only reason I think Nick got that is because replays. he made those. I know, right? He made the spat, so of course Nick can throw his logo there when no one else paid for fuck. the spot. Uh, that was the I'm best gonna... possible uh, submission scenario for I'm gonna right. <laughs> advertisement. I 100% need a screen cap of that with Amber saying over it, just like zoomed in. <laughs> With Amber's line of, look at all that promotion material. <laughs> Uh-oh, our first combat jiu-jitsu f- females. Do you know this uh, 10th Planet girl? No. She fights for Invicta too, doesn't she? I don't know. I'm pretty sure she does MMA. I think I've seen her around. Dude, this is going to be a four-hour podcast. Or longer. Uh, it's going to be a four podcast with just you on it. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to be interesting. I don't know, Paul. All right, here's the combat jiu-jitsu, right? Yep. Hey, Mike uh, Beltran. That's why they have an official certified and an referee. referee. Yeah. yeah. How long do you think it's been since he's cut that beard hair? I don't believe he's ever cut that. <laughs> <laughs> right? He may occasionally trim it if he sees a split end pop up here or there. I don't know. He's, he's put some throwback, like, Thursday photos up on his Instagram from, oh, like, him, huh? yeah, from, like, maybe seven, eight years ago, and it's only, like, this long. Okay. So it's mm-hmm. probably it's taking uh, some time. I hope this is exciting, man. Dude, this is I He's a brown belt, too, in jiu-jitsu. I thought he was a black belt. Black belt now? No, I thought he was. Oh, so l- what last you, I saw brown. What does he do with that beard hair, then? He's got to like tie that up somehow. I mean, wait, they can't hit until it hits the ground. Correct. Yeah. Right, right, right. Open palm strikes. Only one. They both have to be on the ground or just one? One. Just one. Just one, right? Okay, that's right. 
collar tie. Just fall on the floor and start smacking the shit out of each other. So. <laughs> well, you don't want to be on bottom getting smacked. Yeah, come on. There's a lot less leverage. What if you develop a good, like, bottom slide game? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> if such a thing could exist, I, I believe this is the context under which we would find it. Uh, true. And this is the crucible. Man, there's some crazy shit going on outside. <laughs> I <laughs> know, man. Where, do you, where is this place at? Are we in the hood? Uh, no, we're not. We're not. It lends an air of authenticity to the experience. Right. Of, yeah. It is a Chicago podcast after all. That's true. Right. And we're, about to, we're, we're potentially about to see some crazy slap fight going on. So. Yeah, if they ever get to the ground. Like maybe if maybe if oh, here they we go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Slap, 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 slap. God damn. That was a, that was really nice. Yeah. Possible triangle here. Oh, yep. Oh. But don't, don't finish it. Slap her first. Not one yeah, slap, slap so not far. One slap. Dude, cross, what are you doing? Cross your Yeah, that's not in yet. Not even in. What are you come on? Grab the ankle. Ladies, come on. Grab the ankle. Why is she Oh, she's going mountain. Now slap her. <gasps> Just start slapping. This is the ultimate well, how position. How the fuck did she get her out? Oh, what a ding. What bat. the fuck was that, Omar? Is that so your what girl? Are you asking him? Isn't that isn't that from Tenth Planet? The one on the bottom is. Yeah. Oh, the girl that got out. There you go. First slap yeah. of the match. Wait, the girl that got out is Tenth Planet. The, the one on bottom. The girl in the pink right now is the one who had the triangle, right? And yeah. Couldn't finish. Yeah. yeah so was, Tenth Planet that, did get out. That's crazy. How the fuck did she get out of that? that girl ooh, like, ooh. Oh, punch your way out of leg locks. She just froze up. Look at. Yeah. She's an MMA fighter. You'd think that she'd be used to getting hit. She just took those hits. She didn't even care. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Her knee's out there. Yeah, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is out. Slap her. What's she doing? Slap her. Whoa, hey. What was with that? that was, yeah, that was a weird cut. Dang. Just imagine your logo on that. <laughs> <laughs> is that how the fetal guard works? Yeah, yeah. But usually it's, on the side though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, that was just that uh, was just a standard turtle guard. Elbows uh. tucked in real tight. tight. You're not getting. You're not getting, yeah. you're not getting me in the, with the elbows. Exactly. The only thing that's exposed is his wrist, and then he yells at you for attacking them. <laughs> <laughs> no slapping. Nope. Dude, I'm telling you, if I I would love to do combat jujitsu, but if I wouldn't get slapped back but <laughs> just if I can do it man I'd just well, be slapping from everywhere as a black belt you could start training this in the academy and insist that like that's what like the white belts and blue belts have to endure <laughs> right you know it's there like you listen you know it's true until you're a purple belt you don't get to slap back <laughs> <laughs> you can only take it you can't slap to the back of the head can you I guess you can't look at the ribs Palm strike action. Palm, oh, oh. To the, wow, to the chest. Yeah, yeah, messing around. They had 10 minutes of slapping. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. You just see handprints all over their body after this. Yeah, sure. this is all going to come to an end when someone ruptures an eardrum. <laughs> no. Nah. I don't know if it'll come to an end, but yeah, that'll be a, Ooh, be a rough that day. knee bar. There it is. Uh, knees out. I mean, Dude. if you rupture your eardrum, are you? That's it. Are you deaf in that ear now? Well, that's gonna be hurting. No. No. Look at this. I believe it can be repaired. Oh yeah. But we do have Google to confirm that. That's true. Wrong way. What's she doing? Yeah. yeah. And Ooh, <laughs> yeah. on her ass. That's for the crowd, right there. Yeah, yeah. That that that. That. Is a meme already? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Someone in the crowd hopefully got a better Omar's angle than we did. definitely not, not hating those shorts, though. Nah, I think it's good for like <laughs> stuff and things. <laughs> slap her right there. There you yeah. go. Wait, so if they go to overtime, do they get the slap in overtime? No. I don't know how that combat jujitsu overtime works. No, Omar? No. No, right. 
I started in spider web all day and just slapped down the whole time. <laughs> Omar, do you like the EBI rule set? Yep. You're a big fan of it, right? I'm a big fan of all rule set. It's all different. Somebody lost their mouth guard. It's all different. I don't like decision ones, though, when you have to make decisions. Let's do that. I hate making wait, decisions wait, wait. as a ref. What do you mean? You know, when the refs decide who the winner is, because oh, that's, like, so biased, yeah. Because well, it's all about, about like, perspective, what about fight too. fight to win when there's three refs? I think it's the same thing. Why? Why don't you like that? Because they're all probably best friends. Oh, you think so? <laughs> but how do you know? How do you ju- I mean, there's some matches where it's definitely obvious, right? But then what about those that are super close? That just becomes super It's biased. a coin toss, then. It doesn't yeah, matter. stupid, then. yeah. And then if it's so close, then... You shouldn't be mad either way. You know what they should start doing? They should do regular jujitsu and then in overtime, allow the slapping. <laughs> That'd well, be really for, cool. for your O squared tournament, you can Ooh, have O-squared. that. O squared. It does have a certain ring to it, I, I must admit. Bring a new meaning to slapping on a leg lock. O2, isn't Ooh. that the symbol for oxygen? Yeah. I'm on to something, man. I think so. I didn't realize Boogie was coaching her. Mm-hmm. She's, she can't figure out how to do the toe hold. Oh. oh. Going to the body. <laughs> With the palm strikes. Oh, but, I mean, okay. Go ahead. All right. They're getting after it. <laughs> no. So they're going to the body. I like, but they're not. She's not opening up anything, right? I like, like usually, like you go to the body to open up the head, or, but what what is that doing really? It's well, just, I she I think she had a, a a hold of her foot, and she's like, I'm going to try and you, palm you to the liver until you let go of my foot. But yeah. shouldn't she be more concerned about like? get in the right position to get her foot out as opposed to like trying to strike know, and then get just fucking heel hooked yeah, really well, worried I mean, about it like isn't it like I feel like I mean? she was but at yeah. one point the other girl was just holding her foot so oh. it's kind of like oh if you're just gonna hold it then like I'm if you're trying to smack. hold it to readjust I'm gonna slap you so that you can't readjust you know okay. what I mean that type I guess, of thing yeah why do they stop it mouthpiece reset and, and then get the, the edge right there slap her Pink belly. What kind of tattoo is that on her Ooh, leg? That was a good one. It looks like she has that like gray scales disease from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Jesus. It just looks like flowers. I just want somebody to get knocked out with a slap, like unconscious. <laughs> and you want it to happen in the first ever women's. That would be awesome, dude. <laughs> Combat jiu jitsu match. I mean, for sure somebody could get knocked out. With, yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Yeah. You hit him in the right spot. And then what happens? It, it's over? They win? Yeah. I assume it's like a tap. They choke him out afterwards. No, no, then you got to knee They choke him out. Then you knee bar break their knee, I break their arm. It could be a rough stoppage, too, like if you're not in not defending yourself. In defend yourself, yeah. From slaps? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like if you're rocked, man. Oh, we uh, ever see those, like, those YouTube videos of the guys, like, standing oh, through yeah. the slap table fight. and doing a slap fight, like just cracking each other they would the be good for EBI <laughs> yeah but they're like they're like prepared like they just yeah. stand there and just get cr- it's so stupid I don't know like, what yeah. is wrong with you guys Cormier was complaining that uh, that fight was stopped too early shut up seriously fight? Yeah. no way I think so it was stopped like seven punches too late I, yeah. yeah I thought it was too Wait, late it was complaining when like while he was still loopy I don't or, know I like, saw afterwards it. on Twitter no that's what Dana White said, Dana White said, Cormier complained to me backstage about, he oh, thought, no he thought it was stopped way. early. No I'm way. like, uh, I, I don't know. I, don't, I thought I didn't it went hear, a couple shots too long. I didn't hear John Jones call out Brock Lesnar. I yeah, didn't he hear did. That. I didn't hear it. Oh. I mean, I wasn't, I heard it today. Yeah, he did. After they interviewed Cormier, then he took the mic back and oh. said, you know, I'll give up 40 pounds and then he wanted to fight him. Nice. I'd, I'd be interested to see that fight. I guess. Yeah. I think Jones eats him up. Lesnar wouldn't pass a drug test. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you, you can, can kick. kick her. You can kick? No. That's a sweep? It wasn't a kick. It was like a slap with the foot. So it's over now. 
I like the idea of foot slaps being. And uh, that was disappointing that Damian Maya fight last night. Oh, oh yeah. my god! And Dana White wouldn't even talk about it. He's like, I don't. They were interviewing him, uh-huh. and uh, she mentioned the shake. So what do you think? She's. I don't even want to talk about it. That was the lowest amount of strikes ever thrown in a title fight. Don't even ask me one thing about this fight. Yeah. Blew the whole fight off. Right. And then she moved on to the next fight, the Chris Cyborg. I read something that he's not going to get GSP after that fight. Nope, they're going to give it to uh, Michael Bisping. Yeah. Yeah. Tyrone. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, Tyrone is not going to get get to go against GSP? No. Yep. Why? Because of Why the, should he? that showing. Because he basically ran from him jab, just to save jab, his energy. Jab, jab, sprawl. Jab, jab, sprawl for 25 minutes. But he should go after, so let GSP get his title back and put t- put Tyron out. You can't just <laughs> That's take a really the guy's bad title. Punishment. Right? You're like, no, no, no. no. I mean, let him fight. Let him fight. No, let him fight. Oh. So GSP smokes him and then that's call it a day. Yeah. Why would you Why would right. you not let that fight happen? Because I don't think that, because after a performance like that, I don't think it sells enough. You know what I mean? Like, GSP will sell everything. Just to see GSP get his title back is huge. Yeah, but, the then, 170 it, but then it, it would just be GSP's following that. Fo- you know, the, you yeah, want to get two in. people to you, bring. Tyrone. Nobody wants to see Tyron Willie fight anyone else. I don't want to see any. Well, fight then why do you want him to fight GSP? Just, GS, just because I want GSP to smoke him and then oh, get his title on, back. On. GSP what will if not GSP smoke him. Doesn't smoke right. him. Right? Because I actually don't think he will. High on the probability of that happening. What? Yeah, I don't think that would happen. It's been so long. He hasn't fought in like four years. Yeah, bro. Wait a minute. GSP, you don't think will take? No, he just does like. Rings and gymnastics to that's all he does. <laughs> I mean, I, I disagree. I think GSP yeah. would, would light him up. Right. GSP is one of my favorite MMA yeah, fighters. I mean, his, his not, Tyrone is very I'm hard not to take down. Confident of his ability to take Tyron Woodley wow. right now. Okay. Going into the fight yesterday, Tyrone Woodley's takedown defense was ninety two point five percent, and Damian Maya at one point it was like zero for twenty, and I know there were more after that. So his takedown yeah, I stopped defenses. paying attention to the numbers, but it, yeah, I, I mean it was zero and thirteen yeah. in like round two or three. Right. Yeah, that, that makes me want. That makes me want to see GSP 0%. fight him even more. With just just the, I mean they can that that could be a huge fight. I think Dana's going to shelf Woodley for like nine months. Yeah, as long as I, he I think can. he's gonna make him suffer, and you're not. The next payday that I allow you to have, you better fucking get after it. Oh God, <laughs> Zero hates that joke right now. I'm so mad. <laughs> I don't care. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> I'm too old to get mad. I gotta get up at five thirty in the morning. I just wanna let you know that right now, bro. That's sorry, a, man. That's a super soft guilt trip. Yeah, you're under the impression that Zito cares. Yeah, zero fox, dude. That's F U X. There's not even food here, bro. Hey, I got jerky down here. Oh, you know what we have yeah, also. This was there? the math therapy th- podcast. I think they serve food too. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it got some pretzels with some peanut butter in it. Oh, dude, what? What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> and we've lost Paul. You want some pretzels with some peanut yeah, butter? Yeah, something. Okay, let me get that for you. No, Paul's already going to raid your snack cabinet. Do you have a LaCroix? He will find it. Yeah, where's the LaCroix? Yeah, give us some LaCroix or something. If I'm going to have to sit here and watch. Non-striking overtime. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we'll modify the overtime rules where heel strikes are allowed in overtime. Oh, she got it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Joystick it, joystick it. There you go. Bring it over the line. Stop crossing your feet. Oh, nice triangle transition. Really nice triangle transition there. Because she went from an armbar to a triangle transition. Yeah. She tapped. Oh. Ten Planet Freaks. Who? Wait, who just won? That was bottom, so that's done. Ten Planet Freaks. You brought the crunchiest thing. Gotta lean back. Yeah, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Should I I just turn your mic off? Yeah, that's what I do. I push the mic away. (laughs) 
<laughs> bro, just eat it, bro. Yeah, look, theirs is a lot less money. Only twenty five hundred dollars. Or $2,500 per win, so 5000 total for but the so combat jiu-jitsu. Though. No, so the most she could make is 2500 Okay. if she wins in regulation on the finals. It's a nice transition. You, you miss it. I'm going to watch it right, right now. now. <laughs> Omar, as he's eating in the mic. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. You know that thing moves. You can just push it away. Oh, really? Yeah, man. See that? Look at that. <laughs> I missed a couple of those. They're not even that good. What? Damn. Are you serious? I have quality of food for this podcast. <laughs> 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 I don't even want to start on those pretzels, man. They're, they're really good. Oh, that's... Dude. People yeah, I hear, I hear the crunching. <laughs> well, that one was definitely deliberate. Yes. Dude, this is going to be a six-hour podcast. I know. <laughs> no, it is. I may have to go to the car for my snacks. <laughs> Listen, we we just realized that the last time we did the EBI, we did the semifinals, and we did not do the the beginning. That's right. Part. We started it right at the, the semifinals. Well, that yeah. would have been a lot smarter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You would showed up at 1045 at night? Yeah. No, you wouldn't have. I would have been like, hey, I can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Just fall asleep, wake up the next morning, apology text. Yeah, yeah that's all. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Couldn't make it. It's cool. You know, I got to get up at 5.30 in the morning to do workouts at 8 o'clock in the morning because they want to act like the military over there. Why do they do that? Military. I don't know. Like, how many fires are you going really to be fighting? Uh-huh. It's cool. So what do we got? We got five more matches. How many fires has they had in the past year? No, like you've got zero. 68% of the There's like seven game. more matches oh, really? for regulation. Okay. Four, two, and then one. And then you have one more combat jujitsu. Right. So eight total matches. Why do we have commercials? There's no need for commercials. These are I'm leaving there. Has I'm Muscle Farm. Clock. Has anyone uh, used their products in here? Would Muscle you Farm. I had had some of their bars before I found out I was allergic to life, and they weren't I, I bad. Can't uh-huh. it's but what, what part I know. Of life I'm is leaving at eleven bars. o'clock. Uh, the whey. The whey. They use whey protein, and I can't have uh, dairy. I'm leaving at eleven o'clock. I'm leaving at eleven o'clock. <laughs> what about you? You ever try Muscle Farm? Anything? I don't. I don't do anything other than. No recovery, or anything. No recovery. Uh, he's on the same diet that the Atos You're on the guys no are. Recovery on. Diet. Yeah, yeah, right. I, do, I don't take any <laughs> any supplements. Nothing. Not even a multivitamin or anything. No. Uh, no. I take vitamin C. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> the gummy ones. Those are the good ones. <laughs> the no. <four. laughs> The one a day forty. <laughs> Men's Centrum Silver. Yeah. <laughs> Ma- Masters Five Vitamins. What the fuck are we? See, Alice. What garbage are you watching? Why are there cartoons? Oh my gosh. Why is there a unicorn? Because oh, of Datsusar. Datsusar commercial. <sighs> Who made this? I want to blame. I'm going to blame somebody on mushrooms. Right. This is this whole hemp thing is so stupid. Isn't it's a it's, it's a same, gimmick, isn't it? It's the same shit. It's the same shit. What's that? The same bag that I use to throw my dirty clothes in. It's the same thing that that the bag does. Yeah. Wait. What are you talking? The about? hemp. Yeah. It's the hemp. It's, come on, bro. Like, hey, you buy hemp. It's better. But it's not the, true. I, I mean, it's better. What? What does it do? It's better for the environment, and it's supposed to be antimicrobial, which means ringworm and staff can't grow on it. See, I, I so get, you've got you've got a ringworm from putting your dirty clothes in see, a Nike bag, right? <laughs> no, you haven't. Nobody has. It's stupid. See, I get a similar bag at the military surplus store. Like lots of compartments, great for traveling. And I get it though. Half the price. Boy. Yeah. Everybody's friends, you know, with friends, and try to help promote, but. Just buy. I don't know. I have one. It's not. My wife got it me for for my birthday, but. I mean, theoretically, though, the the environmental impact is. Strong. For sure. That's yeah. I yeah. Mean, for that, sure. That that is a good strong selling yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's. That's perfect. More it's awesome. Readily yeah. renewable than other. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. 
But the whole like, you're not gonna catch something because you put your clothes in there. There's one way to test this. Do you have a white belt? We can put staff on. Zito. Damn. Ooh. It's loaded. It's hard. Fuck. I'm just messing with you, Zito. You know I love you, man. I know. Even though there's no food here. Not yeah. enough to ever give you a purple belt, maybe, but... Probably not, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe John Bones destroyed him like that. DC. Really? I'm not, I'm not saying that because that's a black guy. That's not John Jones. I'm just saying. In your defense, the timing of that was poor. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, it, when you started talking, there, there was some other dude being tossed. <laughs> but, uh... So, let me ask you guys. Did everyone actually see 214? Yeah. So Le Legally or illegally? <laughs> I, I'm deliberately not bringing that subject oh, okay. up. Okay. So that nobody has to... Uh, yeah. Nobody has to uh, incriminate themselves. But, uh, no, no. So, did it just feel like Cormier was winning? Or was Cormier 100% actually winning? Because everyone I was watching with was like, oh my god, oh my god, he's going to do it. I think no. he was... I was at one and one. Yeah, I think he was doing better than people were expecting, expecting. And they were excited then, yeah. about it. I, I want to go back and rewatch it before I really past final judgment that but that's kind of what i'm assuming was happening to right. us um almost everyone i know that you know like like is is a good fight breakdown guy was basically like you know hands down jones was going to take it so seeing cormier bring it you know yeah i mean he's got to move up now Jones, who's left for him at 205? No one. No, no one comes to mind. Beat. Yeah, this was the only real fight to sell. Yeah, there's no one. I mean, ever since Connors, Gustafson. Ever since Connors left, man, the game just hasn't been the same. Oh, my God, look at that. You just love it. You love yeah, it. Well, I love uh, it. Let's have John Bones Jones fight Conor McGregor. Actually, that was brought there's up. There's not enough money in it for me. <laughs> They're like, if Connor thinks he can take anyone, have him go against Jones next. I didn't know John Jones was a white belt. I had no clue. Okay. I thought it was odd. Well, now you're the same rank as John Jones. Actually, I'm a little higher rank than him. Yeah, that's true. You got some stripes on that. I do. <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm please, sure. rec please recognize. I'm sure this would matter to him. You know, you try to get you in an arm bar and you'd be like, ah, I can't. I'm just saying, if, if he, uh, if we can meet absolute at some point. And you will test your fetal guard against his eye gouges? I, I would. Definitely. Mm, I think that Lisa might lose this one now. You only like her because her shorts are super no. short. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm just saying, this girl, this girl look good. Her long legs. Long, long legs. <laughs> Built for triangle chokes, of course. That's what you're implying, yeah, that's right? Yeah, I'm saying. Definitely. No, seriously, though, I don't watch women's jiu-jitsu just because of what they wear. <laughs> Nobody will believe you at this point. <laughs> no. We've, we've, we've gone two hours of this. <laughs> oh, look, triangle chokes. Me. There you go. Look at that. I told you. Long legs. I told you. How many people fit in the or Orpheum? Um, a lot because they have a they have an upstairs and a downstairs. Yeah. There. Does he usually fill it, or no? Would you would you say half? Probably half. But the downstairs usually looks pretty full. I mean, unless that's camera trickery. No, no. It, it the more and more these have been going on, the they're bringing a lot more people in them. Right. I mean, this girl, this girl's gonna beat Talita. Watch, Talita's not gonna know what to do with her legs. It's gonna be crazy if all the black belt women get taken out by yeah, get taken out by purples and browns. Those don't matter nowadays, man. I'm That's very you. true, especially in this kind of rule set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be a rough one to restart. I mean. Are That's they actually why trying to restart it in the triangle with her no, stepped over. She escaped the triangle. It was more just kind of like stacking her then, 
Because she escaped the triangle, then she kind of had the arm, and then she pulled the arm out. She's like, fuck it, let's just stand up. It says that the Orpheum has a capacity of 2,000. Really? Yeah. That's a lot. It is. I thought it would be bigger, though. It's like a super old theater. Yeah. I think the Chicago theater is about that big. No, it's not. It's smaller? Yeah. No, it's bigger. Because um, yeah. I remember Rogan talking about how he did a, uh, a stand-up special there. And he's like, yeah, it's the biggest show I've ever done. It was like 5,000 or something like that. Yeah, he did it before the uh, USC one time. Yeah. When they first came back. Some butt scooting here. It's got to be new for the IBJJF champ, right? <laughs> it's the only reason I started playing more of a top game is because every girl seems to pull in tournaments, and I hate 50-50 when you can't attack legs. So right. I'm just like, I'd rather work my passing than just sit here and play footsies. Mm -hmm. Amber, I've never Fake rolled footsies. with you before, right? No, I rolled with you at HQ years ago. Did I tap you out? Probably. I just want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Omar, you get that gi, and I'll come out to an open mat Damn. on Sunday, and we'll test this out again. I thought right? you were going to just bring him a gi. I can do that, too. My brother, yeah, yeah. My brother's in an A3 right now. I might be a little big on you, but I'll make it work. I know people. Wait, your brother trains, too? I, he actually just moved up here this summer for an internship, and I've been taking him to the gym, and he's fallen in love. He's already researching schools back in Mississippi for his senior year of college, and he's Got looking at... by the bug. Yeah, and he's looking at school, so he's going to go to grad school, and he's now looking if there's a good jiu-jitsu school near the grad schools he's looking at. Isn't I Alan Belcher this. out in Mississippi? I don't know. Andrew's or is in, he Louisiana? I think... No, I'm pretty sure. What is that one girl train at again? It was Memphis, right? Memphis. So yeah. Memphis is about an hour from... Ole Miss, no, but I just, uh, I just didn't want him to go there. Oh, oh, oh in, in case did, your brother was not. good looking or something, I just didn't want him to go <laughs> near that school. Is that calf crush here? No. no, it had potential to develop, it did not. But anyhow, so so he's looking to go back to school based at least in part on proximity to a good jiu-jitsu academy yeah so he uh he finishes his internship this week and there's a check mat affiliate in oxford that he's going to check out once he gets back for his senior year and then he's looking at grad schools and corresponding jiu-jitsu academies i like the way the band thinks i know yeah i approve i told him i said if you're going to phd in chemistry you, you're going to need jiu-jitsu as an outlet <laughs> I mean, he's oh, the, he's oh, the next eddie cummings 100 percent oh at 100% going? Uh, it's going to squeak through. Uh, they should do like a like a mixed sex division. <laughs> you know, like man versus girls. Really? I mean, different. I'm saying that's different. You don't think it'll sell? So should the, the combat jujitsu where the girls are allowed bitch slaps and the guys are allowed pimp pans? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> now we're on to something. I'd go up against that Memphis girl just to see if I could beat her. <laughs> just, to <laughs> just to test your jiu-jitsu. Right? Yeah, yeah, you know, against a 125-pound girl. Yeah, I just want to see. Like an absolute division. <laughs> I'd, this, butt, I'd butt scoot for sure. Is this O-squared? O-squared invitation. <laughs> I'm going to invite tournament? her. It's just going to be me and her. Just That's it. <laughs> Not weird at all. Not weird. Yeah. Like, nope. We'll make sure she hears the podcast I'll have before dim, she accepts. I'll have dimmed lights, candles. It's like, oh, it's just a different type of tournament. <laughs> make sure you at least have food there. The differentest. Yeah. No, seriously, my wife can't hear this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Bruno, hook a brother up. <laughs> <laughs> Edit out all the inappropriate things I said. Yeah. So uh, after reviewing the footage, uh, Omar's actually not in the podcast anymore. <laughs> at all. <laughs> We're three hours in right now. Uh, we're going to uh, do what I said earlier. What? What's that? We're going to start it. I'm going to talk on mic. What are you talking about? Well, if you start it, you're going to be missing one person. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. Like, we're, we're missing all of Javi's combat wrestling then. We're missing Omar's black belt. Uh, all of that. And all the this, roasts on you. All, and the, this great conversation and in the middle, though. And the, and the two hour roast on Zito. <laughs> Well, Which I think is true. Wrote on both of you for not sponsoring anybody. That's, That's the part true. that I don't want out. I know. Okay, you. okay. This is I what know. we're gonna do. We're gonna speed up the podcast 150. percent So like chipmunk style or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just do a two part podcast thing. We could do that. Yeah, but then you're releasing Savage Guard Jump. You're releasing part two a week later. 
No, no one's going to listen to no part two a week later. later. Yeah. Better, li- better, better have some good content coming on part two. Well, we need to get some better matches. Dude, we, don't have to, <clears throat> we don't have to listen to it. We don't have to like, complete watching this. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? It's a fight companion. Yeah, but people aren't tuning in to find out the result of EBI. They're probably watching it anyway. Like, we could just almost consider this like a regular podcast with Amber, Javi, and Omar as guests. But we call it Fight Companion. Yeah. I'm just saying. Right. We're not going to finish the fights. I mean, Joe Rogan wouldn't do that. Well, okay. Okay, but Joe Rogan it. sponsors people. First too. of all, we that's true. <laughs> 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 that's also 100 percent true. Yeah, and Damn. here's the here's the real question: Should we perhaps stop recording and have this conversation off mic? No, we like to keep <laughs> it real here. Keep it real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't edit this shit. Yeah. This is as real as it gets. <laughs> I'm chewing on the fucking mic when I didn't. Yeah. yeah. See, if we had more matches like Lila's and Nikki's, this would yeah. be an issue. Right. Uh, we would have left three hours ago yeah. if that was the case. That was like 12 seconds. Yeah. I'm, I want to see that. I want to see this, how it's going to play out. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm willing to stick through to completion if you guys want to kill the mics for a little bit so that we're not... Burnt out? Yeah. I mean, maybe that's an idea. We've done that in the past, Companions Anyhow, where we didn't review, you know, talk through the whole thing. Right. True. In previous games, we also <laughs> rotated. We lost Omar. In he's he's sleeping. <laughs> Omar. I have, Omar's I have taking a, his I have break a test now. tomorrow morning. No, I don't blame you, dude. It's about you know, the history I mean, of fire. Tell us really? about it. <laughs> I, I, Let's I, review I, it. Let's review some of that. Let me get the answers from my phone. <laughs> do you have to like actually like study? Or yeah, you... I have to read every day. I have a quiz every day. A history of fire? Not about this quiz is about the history of Why? fire. Why? Why is that so important? Because you got to know the history. When you go for a job, it, or I know you own your own business, but when you go for a job interview, you know how you, you have to know the history of it. Yeah, I see your... Um, I want to work here because in the past, in 1932, you guys but started... But what is the fire? What, is, what does that have to do with knowing the history of fire? What does that have to do with fire? So you can kind of see how we've progressed as far as fires are concerned. What do you mean? Like Not the like, way it burns? Burns no, differently way, this way, year than it did 10 years ago? Yeah, it did actually. Shut the fuck up. You know up. that a modern day apartment yeah. burns Infinitely at about three flammable. minutes compared to those old school uh, like apartments? With and the what, what is that attesting to? Why, the why? materials that we make our furniture with and stuff like that. So modern day fires burn Ikea, way so fast. Ikea's Ikea. fucking everybody. Mm-hmm. Ikea nice. just fucked everyone up. That's they what it burn is, right? faster and they burn hotter. So. Wow. Damn. I just figured you'd watch Backdraft and call it a day. That's a Omar feat, dropping man. knowledge, man. <laughs> you know, man. Good, did not man. know that about fire. I did not know that either. I just figured fire is fire. No, man, it's, it's crazy. Well, the fire is fire. It's fire true. is fire. It's true. It's the, but it's, it's the material it's that goes hotter. into fueling. Some fires are fire. hotter than others. Damn, dude. Are these mics expensive or are they cheap? And they is hurt. it to say how the fats are going to burn? <laughs> yeah. Right. No, these are not IKEA mics. That's for sure. These pretzels? Those pretzels are fucking legit. That's Costco, bro. I'm gonna upset. You don't even have a LaCroix. I don't. Mm. I, I thought you said it. Fiji. Oh. I thought you said you wanted Fiji. Jumping Triangle. We got some beer. So oh, that's arm a bar. Ooh. She's such 20, a goon. 20, 20 seconds left. I mean, she did finish, finish in 26 it. seconds last fucking time. Fucking finish that. Please. Oh! oh. No slamming's aren't allowed. No slamming. No slamming. Oh, she, she tapped. tapped. She tapped. She tapped. Master Vic. Oh, he should have just let it go. To break her arm? 11 seconds this time. This girl likes to get down to the wire. Dude, she's gangster as fuck. Yeah, she is a beast. She um, is. So there's no slams allowed? There's no slams allowed. No. Oh. Yeah. I mean, she made her pay. Man, yeah, there was... Yeah. There, there I was mean, does that still. tap count? Because I, I think the ref was trying to stop it after no, the slam. it's over, Paul. Well, we're going to okay, see in the, in the replay here, but... Firearm way to get after it with like 10 seconds left huh she she kind of snubbed somebody when she lost it last time she did you heard about it i saw it oh but it outside afterwards in the parking lot oh, go ahead oh what happened come on man Ooh, go on. tell us how it is i'm just saying she lost and she snubbed somebody when they went up to her man like, Yo, you did a great job and she's like it's not that serious she, oh, oh really Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, who did she snub who was the person I can't tell you bro. it was a secret lila <laughs> <laughs> that would be a, an interesting rematch I mean I honestly I want to see Nikki go to the finals personally I personally want to see and yeah, Nikki's kind of pretty so I wouldn't mind seeing her <laughs> you know because Lila's taken already so yeah Lila's my boy's wife I'm about to be my boy's wife yeah 
Oh, she's just yanking on that wrist, too. Look at that. Oh. Drop her. Bow! Oh, hey. Made Lost it worse. The oh, yeah. hyperextension. Oh. She's not stopping. She's Damn, getting a Paul Harris right there. Fucking nasty arm bar. I hate That's what she said, too. She's like, fuck. I mean. Put the girl on the bottom? Don't yeah. Don't slam your opponent when there's no slamming allowed. She's made it worse. Kind of. Yeah, she's kind of like whiplash the street. Yeah. Here's Wonder Woman again. Oh, she's the, <laughs> she's the one that just freaking holds people and shit. Yeah. yeah, she's the MMA girl. This might go into overtime. And the other girl is the one that beat your Memphis girl. So. Oh, oh I hope they so both. So he hates lose. everyone in this match. Yeah. That's what you're saying. <laughs> he just wants a double DQ. Yeah. Got some fruit snacks out there too. If you want some fruit snacks, do you have something to drink, bro? Paul was supposed to drink. Bring water, Paul, like oh, bring him any three water? hours what ago. Paul, customer relations, bro. He's like mm-hmm. customer talent, relations. <laughs> talent relations. <laughs> Wait, why did I do talent Paul? relations? <laughs> yeah, sorry, talent relations. I'm thinking my regular business. Um, I got some uh, kill. You ever have a kill cliff? What the hell is that? Oh, yeah, those are good. The recovery drinks? Yeah, the recovery. I've yet to try it. You have, have them here? I have a couple. Some yeah, let me get one. Some flavors are good, some aren't. I got to get up? No, Paul will get it for you. <laughs> Paul, Paul, he wants a Kill Cliff. Can you get him a Kill Cliff in the, in the fridge? Paul, that's not his in his job description. Yeah, talent relations. <laughs> he books a talent. He has to make sure they're happy. I'm talent? Yeah. That's awesome, You're dude. You're talent, dude. Wait, is that like a, a straw burrito? <laughs> a strawberry. And shit. So I thought you said it was strawberry. No, Kill Cliff. There's beer in there too, Omar. If you want one, I don't beer is beer. excellent for recovery. So I guess Navy Seals made this. Oh, here we go. And they donate the proceeds to some kind of foundation for. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Are you joking or you're serious? No, I'm serious. Kill Cliff, it's called. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. They sponsor a lot fun? of like CrossFit uh, yeah. competitions and stuff. They're used by those athletes. Is it Navy SEALs? Am I wrong by saying Navy SEALs? Or is it just like Army? Or is it? I'm not sure exactly, I it but I know it's military. Yeah, it's military. Yeah. yeah. I can look it up. But That's great. <laughs> is it good or no? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> what, bro? I've never tried it. It's like Omar a, just it's, did the whiskey It's like taste. an energy drink made with stevia. <laughs> <laughs> is it really sweet, dude? No. Is it now good? It's, all right. it's great, man. It's a great, great cause. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I don't think I've had that flavor. There's one flavor What's that it called? I just What's couldn't that flavor? stand. Pomegranate, I think it was. Pomegranate punch. Yeah, I like, I like how... <laughs> Definitely a punch. I like how Zito's like, I haven't tried it. Here, try it for me. Give me the review. <laughs> yeah. So I know whether I want to throw them all out or not. <laughs> oh, these two are going after it. Wow. All right. I said going after it, not getting it's after it. It's a variation, it. so it's okay. Right. Oh, yeah, right. Come on. They're not going after shit. They've been on their feet for two minutes now. Oh, has it been that long? Yeah. Mm-hmm. These girls look stocky, man. They do. They don't look on 125, unless they're really short. Amber, you could be at 35? Oh, God, not anymore. When I first started, I competed at 35. Now I'm at middleweight, so um, IBJJF no gi, that's 147. In the gi? In the gi is 152 and a half. Oh, okay. I don't like how they named the women's one so much heavier. Like, middleweights makes it sound huge, and it's not. Oh, gotcha, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it's lightweight. I, I'm a lightweight, so I got to be 168. Yo, you're fat. Yeah, so men. Is it 168 or 168.5? I don't know, but I know men's. But that's in the gi, Omar. Right? You got to weigh in with everything. Oh, I'll do it. Yeah. In the yeah. gi? Mm-hmm. Men's feather and women's middle are the same. Then, for sure. Uh-huh. I said men's feather and women's middle are the same. Okay. So yours is probably 168.5. 0.5, okay. That's what the women's uh, middle heavy is. Okay. Damn, I got to get a gi now. Yeah. Got to get a lightweight gi, you know, something under four pounds. I'll just get the Datsusara ones because they help with the mold and stuff. Yeah. Staff. <laughs> <laughs> the IBJJF would probably not let you wear that, though, with the fucking pot leaf on the leg and shit. That's true. You don't think they'd care, Amber? I don't think so. As long as it's not in a like illegal placement, like too close to a it's hem, a and if it's right. stitching, then it doesn't matter. It's yeah. the patches that they're concerned about. Is it matter? Is there a reason for that? Is it because you grab the 
ski pants and his- um i know with the patches you can't have it in certain places or you can't cover too much because you don't get the same grip on a gi that oh, has okay, patches so on it then it. yeah i see people that wear gi pants that are like riding up their ankle yeah i'll, I'll just get like a super tight one like no, spandex no there's regulations for that <laughs> there's, too Ed. but the thing is the regulations are more about the ankle opening because I have some gi pants that are tight just because I have really muscular legs uh-huh. so you can't help it but as long as the ankle opening is a certain width and then the height uh, compared to your ankle so I know plenty of people who will sag their gi pants for inspection and then tie them up higher so that's why it looks like they have flood water pants I know um, who Christian when Manzi was telling us like that he was he was getting custom made geese and you know that part where they like shove it like down yeah, the, like, yeah. your arm and it's got to hit your armpit like it it wasn't getting down there like it was too tight around the tricep mm-hmm. so and see yeah. they only use that tool at the big tournaments they they don't use it at the chicago open yeah, normally it's just the finger check right yeah they just kind of like pinch it along the way see they, they pinch it again. all the way down yeah they use a tool yeah, it's a different tool. Oh, so different for the tool. big tournaments, it looks like a shoehorn that they stick up the sleeves. So and they really like wiggle it in there. And if as long as it gets in, that's all that matters because they were having people pull it out themselves at Worlds because the gee checkers couldn't pull it out. Wait, so do you ha- <laughs> this sounds like way too much work. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to stick a pole down your arm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and see, that's why you have IBJJF legal geese. And then, like, for me, my War Tribe Lioness is really fitted. That's my fight to win pro gi because it would never pass IBJJF inspections. But it's fine to wear a fitted gi for a super fight. It sounds like some, like, police, like the inspections. Yeah, yeah. got to pass inspections. That's crazy. <laughs> You'd have a license with you, too. You wear your driver's license around your neck. You need a photo ID at all photo times. Photo ID of all times. And actually, brown and black belt, you need to have an IBJJF ID. I have, right? one of the, I have one of those. Oh, you do? Yeah, they send you have to get it. You have to get it renewed with your black belt, though. Yeah. Every year. Gotta yeah. Pay, I think it's like 100 bucks for the card or something like that. Making money. IBJJF oh, should cool. just make their own geese and make everybody else wear them. Gracie Baja That's does that. Idea. Yeah. I'm going to start doing that too, 10th Planet. You make an official 10th Planet? Game? Yeah, you have to wear a 10th Planet lumbar rash guard or a shirt that has a 10th Planet logo. How come you got no short sleeves, bro? What's up? I don't make my rash guard. It's hypnotic does. www.hypnotic.com of? Looks like a signature. The Kraken. Dude, that girl's kind of good, man. Is that a technical term? Tramp stamp? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know why you call that a tramp stamp. Yes. Because that's what a tattoo yeah, that's what is it's on, called on the on lower back. The lower back. The tramp stamp? Back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Although, I, if it's part of a larger piece, it is not considered a tramp stamp. I made sure of that when I got my back tattoo. Right. Wow. Yeah. You've never heard that? that sounds sounds pretty. Like, Dude, why are you disrespecting crazy? people with tattoos? so weird. Right? Was it where did that stem I, from? I'm actually Tramp. quite shocked that this. Is I the first honestly time don't. I, know. I don't know of any other way to call it, other well, than a tra- oh, okay it's, lower back. It's tattoo. a lower back tattoo. If you're, yeah, I mean, I for sure heard people why, call why it Tramp. That. Why? Why? What's that? What's you're signify? gonna have us explain this on Mike. Oh God, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Zito really wants to know. Let's hear it. Why is that considered a tramp stamp? <laughs> okay, because in the in the late eighties, early nineties, it was like considered kind of trashy for women to get tattoos, I guess, and and that was a very popular spot on the body to get it because okay. women would always have the they'd Super have that t shirt, yeah, the low rider jeans and the jacked up t shirt, so you could see the tramp stamp on their back. It wasn't considered a tramp stamp till years later until. The public realized it was only trashy women who were getting it, you know? <laughs> wow. Interesting. I can't believe Is you that, didn't did, know did, this. Did I explain that well enough, Javier? You explained it with more class than I was about to, so <laughs> I'm glad you took over. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Zito will shock you every once in a while. He'll be like, no, I've never... Dan, this, like, this podcast 40? has to be named something else. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Omar, so, you know he's never ridden on the L before? Because he uh, grew up in Chicago his whole life. Never? What for? Well, I mean, if you, if you, if you drive everywhere. <laughs> Is that for poor people? I, mean, I, 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 I didn't say that at all. Yeah, okay. no, it's not like he, I may have strongly implied it. 
I grew up, I, like, listen, I grew up in Cicero. Man. Right, okay? exactly. It's Relatively not like, speaking, I haven't... I mean, I've, I've been on the L plenty of times. But okay. it, like, I've been on the Metro. <laughs> You're so excited by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. I'll give you I'm one saying, point for that. I mean, yeah. Well, but yeah, I, I mean, know, like... And wasn't like... Weren't you ever like a... A, like kid. a kid when you know and your <laughs> buddies like jumped on the train and went into the city and no i mean i <laughs> nah, no. No, no, no. When, no when i would go I into the city that. i was always the dude driving yeah yeah I, i'm I mean, talking about before like you had licenses and shit no we just no skateboard, i just had older friends skateboard. that were always the dude driving <laughs> we'd skateboard everywhere you didn't go <laughs> from that cicero far, to then. downtown right no we never went downtown <laughs> but we just we just stay in the neighborhood we didn't really venture out your neighborhood kids got it yeah yeah you know neighborhood going down on the train for the patty's See, day parade nobody was driving that day this is when uh i appreciate eddie cummings and <laughs> right <laughs> they were finishing matches at about a minute flat. Yeah. <laughs> they're there's two they, i mean these are just like they're very well yeah either that or they're just not very well <laughs> <laughs> they're either just really kidding. well matched or <laughs> yeah yeah tramp stamp Oh, here we go. You're from the era of the tram stamp. Yeah, I guess. I mean... Also I also known as a bullseye, if you want to get really creepy. Was that part of your original description, Javi? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is it over? Oh, yeah, it's over. Not overtime. Great. Overtime. Top of the first. Do you have a pillow? <laughs> Dude, I'm going to get you a cot. Dude, we really fucked this thing up. I know. I may we'll have to switch my glasses. What's for? What for? Right? We just ruined it already. <laughs> it's already ruined. <laughs> it's already fucked. I like this podcast, though. Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's, it's one yeah, of my favorites. Yeah, I'm sure. It's just ripping on me the whole fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. Hey, we, we gave Paul some shit, too. Yeah. yeah. Cut a little bit. A tiny bit. Really practically nothing. Mostly just Zico you know, <laughs> accusing you of not doing shit. You're talent relations, Paul. All right, I'm on it. This is a prestigious title. I mean, Omar, can I get you more water? <laughs> <laughs> Where's his three course meal he was from? Yeah, dude. from the <laughs> finest <laughs> restaurant in Chicago. Yeah, exactly. Finest exactly. restaurant. We're still waiting on this. <laughs> oh, it's give you an opportunity and a platform to come in here. Promote your gym, and you ask me for food. Think about this, bro. Where's my? If there food? was food, we wouldn't even be focusing on how long this has been going on. No. We'd just be eating and eating. talking. If we talk, look all these snacks we have here, man. We have peanut butter pretzels and beef jerky. <laughs> Don't forget some fruit snacks out there. Oh, you know what? And some alleged fruit snacks that nobody in this room has seen. Wait, the, Hobby, would you like a fruit snack? He wants fruit snacks. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, I do. Paul, go get me some fruit snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Director of Talent Relations. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, <laughs> Paul, they're in Dorothy's lower uh, uh, cabinet over there. Really, we're stealing just sending... from Dorothy right now? No, she just, she just keeps them in there. <laughs> Does Dorothy right. listen to the podcast? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> and she would lose respect. And she doesn't even follow us on Instagram. I'm like, Dorothy, can you at least follow us? Can we need some more followers? She don't even do that. There you go. Boom. Organic fruity snacks. Organic fruity snacks. Also from Costco. Yeah. Let me guess. It. Javier, you are in um, post competition mode. Yeah, with for what for you've just been eating lately. While. Yeah, I saw your your Facebook post earlier. Yeah, at Dairy Queen. <sighs> My favorite part of comp yeah. coming off of comp. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, let's go. Let's finish it here. This doesn't even make any sense. Like, how could they have this? They got to fix this EBI. What? It's too long. <laughs> too long for my podcast. <laughs> therefore, yeah. Therefore. It's too long, period. What's well, let, wrong with an eight-minute match? Why has it got to be ten? What's wrong with five minutes? <laughs> Six minutes? I mean, eight minutes. Armbar. Armbar. Okay. Nice. But think about it. I mean, right now, okay, so UFC. The prelims are, what, two hours? And then the fight's two hours. So that, you know, that's four hours right there. Well, right. yeah, but there's there's multiple prelims also. Because you got the fight pre past prelims, which is usually three fights, right? So that could go Two to up. three, yeah, you're right. So that could go up to 45 minutes without any commercial so interruptions right there. So we've got to do like a main card. We've got to do a main card. Yeah, we yeah. can't do it. But again, the main card would be fucking... Could be over Starting at midnight Starting at fucking, here. Yeah. yeah. Because right now difference. it's 9 o'clock in LA. Right? Whose idea was this? And then we wouldn't get Omar. And then we wouldn't.
wake it up. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fail my firefighter quiz tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's no okay. big deal. Yeah. yeah, no big deal. This is my life. <laughs> Lifelong dream. Your one, one of your primary modes of uh, really the only reason why I wanted income. Omar is because he didn't sign the fucking mat. That's the only one what missing. this is all about. It's really what it comes. You down couldn't to. have got him in here. Am I the only? Like, am I the only no gi guy on there? No, you're not. No, dude. Orchard's on there. Orchard, uh, Josh. That's it. There's three out of the ninety that are on that damn board. Uh, uh yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I I dabble in no gi. I mean, <laughs> I may have no gi at some point in time. No, Gabby no. McComb. Another black belt bites the dust. Another one bites Only one the left dust. is Toledo now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's they an Toledo. interesting theme for the evening. Another one bites the you dust. You call Toledo to win it all, right? If I was going by, yeah. By accolades. accolades. Yeah, by accolades, not just friendship. You Oh, you're friends with Talita? No, I'm friends with Nikki. I want Nikki to win oh, it yeah, all. Oh, yeah, me too. Or, or, or less Lila loses. <laughs> well. I was rooting for Lila, Memphis, and then Nikki. Well, Lila's fighting. I know. Nikki, yeah. yeah. So I know Lila's going to win. Mm-hmm. And if she loses, then I'm going to have to support I've, Nikki. I've trained with both, and I'd have to say I would give it to Nikki. I mean, I haven't trained with Lila was recently. Was that that mosquito sprayer? Yeah, yeah, that was. Was that what that was? Street sounded sweeper. like it. Oh, oh was it a street, street sweeper? sweeper? Yeah. This late? You guys, yeah. you guys, they spray stuff no, in the air over here? No. You were here talking about Datsu Sara and they're spraying stuff in your neighborhood? Bro. Dude, there's a massive, like, cat problem outside the no, studio. It's not, it's not they're a spraying problem. for cats? They're just, they live here, man. That's where <laughs> they live in that fucking parking lot. There's, like, a whole wildlife fucking thing going on out there. We got skunks, Mosquitoes. raccoons, cats, and fucking coyotes, dude. And it's like, well, the this. dude, I parked the over cats. there. You know that, right? Well, no, there's someone out there who, who's f- feeding the f- feral yes. cats. Right. And now there's, like, 500 skunks out there like I, like every time i leave the studio i see at least one or two oh, skunks. got so scared last night <laughs> he was throwing the garbage out and he ran he's like ah he ran dude yeah this big skunk just ran by him and he was like ah oh, freaking out yeah dude. i did i had parked over there am i getting killed no i'm gonna run for bro speed. i was up on the rooftop the other night and a fucking coyote was just Right down the center of the fucking of the road, just cooking, yep. mm-hmm. just cooking, going, man. I was like, up fast. Damn, that thing is gangster. Right in the center, like zero fucks. Are given. there parking restrictions across the street? No. Okay, I'll make sure. Since we're gonna be here till three a.m. Well, yeah, because some suburbs you can't park like on the streets from like two to six. I didn't know if that was a mic thing or not. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I parked over there. I'm good. In the lot? No, I parked by the across park. the street, like by You're the fine. park. I parked Are you by the sure? park. There'll be a cat on the hood of your car for sure. Well, is there, there going to be, like, am I going to have, like, tickets? Oh, so? if you park in the lot? Yeah, there'll be a cat in your car for sure. No, but on the side <laughs> street, we're okay? And yeah. In the park? No, you're, you're, okay, good. Yeah, because this podcast ooh, would, be, ooh, oooh, would be paying for right into that triangle setup. <laughs> Sorry, bro. That's Catherine nice. versus Silver Fox. We're a non-for-profit podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm in charge of talent relations, so any parking tickets you get for, from doing the show, just send them my way, and, <laughs> and I'll make I'll make sure Zeno gets them. <laughs> Actually, we were thinking, can Ted Planet sponsor our podcast? Yeah, can I got you guys. Our? Okay, yeah. cool, man. Thanks. <laughs> All you guys just want is my logo somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> is that how that works? <laughs> What's Omar get out of this deal? I don't know. Pretzels, pretzels, some water, awesome. kill cliff, Snacks. and some. Ne- oh yeah, some really good kill cliff. <laughs> Is that good? Hey, there's oh. death cookies in the middle of the room too. Ugh. True, cookies of death. Funeral cookies. So, Funeral cookies. So if she wins, can she and Lila win? They could go against each other. Yep, next round in the semi. Holy shit! Yeah, it would never be two ten planet girls in the finals. Ever. Right, ever. But we used to be able to do that. Yeah, when, we, when, when it first started off. When it first it started, mostly it was... Mostly 10th Planet guys. Right, Omar? First one, right? Cause no. Was it Denny and Orchard in the, in, in, the, in the finals? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. Huh. That was two? Yeah. 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 Because the first one wasn't like that. The first one didn't have that many 10th Planet guys. Really? It was Ben Eddy, Geo. Glover wasn't that one too, right? But he's not 10th Planet. No, no. He's oh. just throwing out a name he knows. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but he was in that guys. one. <laughs> <laughs> not all 10th Planet. No, I wasn't saying it was all. I thought it had Majority. proportionately more. Yeah. 
then how the, come you didn't jump in in the first? I don't know. I never got asked because I wasn't invited. You, <laughs> you were <laughs> invited to the oh, invitation. Man. Sorry. Bro. Well, I do remember the after the first one um, when I worked it in the back. Victor Davila was like, "You're next, brother. You're next," and I was so paranoid for like six months that they were gonna <laughs> ask me to do it. I was like, "I don't know if I'm ready for this, man." Wow, you don't think you were ready? You were what? I think I think at, at that, that point, time you were brown belt. Yeah, at that time. Yeah, at that time, a lot of the guys that have competed, I had competed against a lot of those guys like at local tournaments. But the talent now has gotten like ridiculously better now. Yeah. The, I mean, not to say that the talent wasn't good back then, but now these guys are like full time. Yeah, yeah, higher caliber guys. And how does um like Eddie promote in the? Do you guys have promotion ceremonies in HQ or no? Yeah, I think they do, he does them twice a year. I think. Oh, he does. Yeah, and then from time to time, I do like a spontaneous one, but they're generally twice a year. Oh, okay. For the headquarter guys. Does he always film the spontaneous ones? Not all the time, no. Did he film yours? Mm, we filmed. I some mean, people filmed yeah, it, but yeah. I, didn't, I saw people. Did you post anything? No. Nah, did you post I anything I don't afterwards? post most about myself ever. Why? Especially when he's crying. It's gunshots, bro. Dude, this is the worst neighborhood Watch ever. Watch out, bro. <laughs> They'll get you. Because they know you're recording. Yeah, man. It's real. Dude, this is going to be the weirdest podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the first two or three, I, I thought it was gunshots. What are those fireworks? It's fireworks, man. Yeah. Well, now I know it is. I mean, I'm from Sister. I know what a gunshot is as opposed to firework, man. I bet you do, just like you know what the L is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they have gunshots on the L all the time. We read about it in the newspaper. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, so that's cool that he does it like that. Yeah, he does one for, like, the Christmas time. Okay. Oh, yeah, the holiday we do, party. Because at, at Maneco, we do two promotions here. He does one summer and one in the winter. That seems standard for a lot of academies. Yeah. They do one, like, usually right after the Chicago Open or right after Worlds is a big time, and then after kind of competition season's over. Man. But Ooh. for HQ, does he tell you you're getting promoted? No. So it's just come show up and no one knows what's going on. Usually when there's promotions, like, you'll see the people that haven't been there a lot of times show up, too. Oh, for <laughs> real? Hey, yeah. how you doing? I haven't yeah. seen you in a couple of months. And yeah. I just randomly showed up for promotion. Let's see. <laughs> That's funny. I like the randomness of it. Like, I think it's always weird when you're being told you're getting a promotion. Like, yeah, well, advance. because some schools, though, you have to pay for the... Yeah, you know, yeah, so. I get it, but it's just... Some schools, we have to test for it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... What does that mean, test for it? Like a hobby? Yeah, you got to demonstrate proficiency with the with the curriculum. So, you know... The, but couldn't you tell that already by if you're just constantly training? That kind of depends on what the curriculum is. If it includes self-defense techniques that you're uh, using yeah. rolling... Things like that. Yeah, because I know, like, uh, the people, like, at the MMA stop school, they had, like, that, uh, uh, I forgot his name. Uh, he was in John Jones's corner. What's his name? Izzy Reyes? No. Martinez. Oh, Martinez. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about the wrestler? John Jones is a... Uh, Wrestling coach? No, the Who? fight guy. Uh, he's super famous. Winkle John? Is Greg Jackson. Greg Jackson, there you go. Oh, Jesus. They're, I think they have like a Greg Jackson affiliate, so their belt structure thing is like, aside from jiu-jitsu, you got to know like certain striking stuff. Okay. That right. makes sense. Yeah. I guess. And, makes sense. I mean, well, what's the curriculum for 10th Planet? You got to know the warm right? Yeah, it's true. I mean, you Didn't can't... Use it. You can't yeah. You can't promote people without knowing the warm right? According to Eddie. True. Well, yeah, you have right to know it to get your blue belt you was the new standard. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when we went down the HQ, we had to fucking know those warm-ups. Yeah, or you get called out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time I visited, it was like that. He's like, why don't you know the warm-ups? Because like, you just changed it yesterday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you should change, it. change it again tomorrow. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I just don't know this yet. I was like, trust me, I know that. <laughs> yeah, but now the the changes aren't that dramatic. Yeah. They're better now. Yeah. I don't know. It's, I guess I don't know. For me, it's always hard. That whole promotion thing is always like weird because like there's so many things that you can base it on, you know? Right. Well, now being you know. And then my thing is always like, because you know that, that discussion. You know, I had that discussion with a lot of people. They're like, oh, you know, like which cross train other schools. Like you know, we've had guys suggest like, oh, you guys should do like the Gracie combatives, and you have to learn this many. You have to do it this many times. You have to do this move this many hours. And you have like a punch card, and then that's how you know you've done all these requirements. 
and like stuff like that i get it but it's always like ah, that's I, I so rough i don't mind the idea of an attendance yeah metric so that you can look at like as an instructor you can look back and go like okay yeah he's he's been here for like every class yeah. for the last six months you know but i don't ever want it to be like all right, he's achieved the absolute minimum necessary for the promotion. Let's give him his belt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's always rough. I just like that, like you know, like Andre, like he just rolls with you and he knows where the fuck you're at. That's how I like it. Yeah. I like that. Like that's fucking, that's you just dope, know, man. you know, man, you'll know. You know, you right. know what I say? Well, so. you, I mean, like you know when you roll with someone where they're. Yeah, at. that's what I'm you saying. Like, yeah, I, I just know. That's why. That, that's that's what I'm getting at. Like, I don't have to like say like oh you have to know these moves right, to be right. like well and everyone has different paths you have people who go the competition around you have right. people yeah. who just do it casually so right. you can't hold them all necessarily to the exact right. same it standard everyone's gonna go at their you know own pace well, Catherine right. just lost yep she, she did yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Kimura next is Nikki and Lila okay well I mean she she fucking beat that black belt, man. So if she can't be all down about herself, man. That was a fucking hell of a fight. Who's this girl that... Oh, this is Silver Fox girl. Mm -hmm. right. Is she a black belt? I don't, I don't think believe so. so. No, I no? don't think so. She's one I'm not familiar with. She's good, though. We'll look her up. Amber, what do you think... When it comes to, like, purple, black... So you think it's... More evenly matched in no gi than opposed to gi. Meaning that a purple belt versus a black belt in the gi is definitely more difficult than a purple belt versus a black belt in no gi. Not, I wouldn't say that just because of the, the amount of tools you have in the gi and the amount of like knowledge you have to throw stuff. Because I, mean, I, I hate, I hate that so word tools. You have Sorry, to, no. so I know you hate that. We I hate I that know, word tools. I know you, do. I know. We'll you don't want to get into this. I know. Geek conversation. I do want to get into it no, because I think you have some good points and I think you should express them because I like to talk about The word them. tools needs to be expressed. Okay. Well, go ahead. Explain it to me. Well, hold on. Let, <laughs> let, let Amber finish. Let yes, Amber please. finish. Sorry. Well, Sorry, I was Amber. just going to say that I really think that it's dependent on the rule set, but I think that you can have a purple belt and a black belt go against each other in no gi much easier than in the gi, mm -hmm. because in the gi, most tournaments put so many restrictions on it that it's like, oh, you can't do this, or you can't do that, mm -hmm. or you have to have been training a certain amount of time in order to do this. Mm -hmm. Whereas in no gi, like, Nikki at Nice Guy Submissions, they train a lot of leg locks, a lot of MMA guys. Mm -hmm. You have the girl who beat her at ADCC, who's technically only a blue belt, but is just like a beast and it's because of who she trains with so i think that there's less of a gap in terms of no gi than there would be in gi mm. so i don't yeah. know where your question was going but i feel that you can have the various belts go against oh. each other more in no gi well that, wow. didn't, that so didn't end like he's got holy shit Nikki's he's got full mount here that was a great fucking it was sweep. great sweep. Yeah. four points she uh over committed on that <laughs> would have been yeah actually six Right. Well, you could even consider yeah. it a takedown. What's Nikki doing? Why is she reaching back like that? She's trying to reach for her foot, twist that leg up. What is she? I'm gonna start doing that too. Omar, what is she like? You know what I mean? Why is she reaching back like that? Maybe she just wants to feel her thigh muscle. Or is she trying to get her? Oh, the guillotine. She's trying to cut an angle. Is that what it is? Oh. <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I mean, no. I don't know who to be excited about. Fuck. Yeah, that's her second match in less than like 30 seconds, yeah, yo. She's on it, man. Super fresh. What? Holy fuck, she's going for she's it. Getting, she she's, wants Talita. She's getting it. Is that how you pronounce her name? Yeah. yeah, Talita. Wow, she wants that rematch. Damn, Nikki. That that was... She that, she's yeah. been training hard, though, man. Good effort, Nikki. Lila's been giving it up. Good effort, for Nikki. Sure. You're still cute. Um... <laughs> Yeah, Lila. Tell me she needs that money for the wedding. If not, she Is can't that get married. Angle lock? No, no heel, heel, heel hook. Heel hook. Okay, I couldn't see the angle. Man, I hear some I static just don't, in my microphone. Yeah, yeah I heard that too. <clears throat> yeah. I just don't understand um, what she, why she was reaching back like this. I, I mean, oh, it's, it's not. It didn't. Oh, look at that reverse Alcatraz. Mm -hmm. Blip. 
She was holding Look her leg that. so she yeah. wouldn't get her leg inside. Oh, oh that was beautiful, uh, man. Oh, it was deep oh, too. Oh, damn, that was deep. Man, that was fucking <laughs> hip in. Oh, that's that Eric Ramey, man. Yeah, that. she's Look been at joining that. that leg lock club. Did Ramey shut that down? Yeah, he shut it down. You know the reasons? Mm, he wouldn't say, but okay. Uh, you suspect the reasons? I think so. Okay. Would you like to get into it on the podcast? Negative. Okay. Could we get back to that tool conversation, please? Yeah, man. You keep saying that there's more tools and it makes me mad. C- please explain. Because when you don't have something that's still a tool that you need to get used to not having. So it's still like another level to it. You know how you were like, oh, the gi is like 100 level. Who was saying that? I heard something. There was a, there was a, um, a commentators where I was watching 540 um, when Gary Tonin and... and uh, all those guys were fighting at the five studio 540 and they were saying that they were trying to compare no gi to gi and what they were saying is that um gi is like playing a video game with 100 levels oh, and no gi was like playing a video game with 10 levels how ridiculous is that wow. sound that's that's how those two guys those two guys it. should who are they again i don't i don't remember Thank call you. them out omar see when Yo, I... if you were the one that said that 10 planet lumbar open mats on sunday <laughs> 10 a.m. to 12 minutes. <laughs> See, when I went from no gi to gi, I yeah. did get caught a lot by collar chokes and gi specific techniques. Sure. And there are still things like using the bottom of the lapel that I'm not always sure, like, where are you going with this? Right. But yeah. then in no gi, you had all the leg attacks that were just, you know, not being taught or not really going over because it's illegal in most tournaments and most divisions, especially in the gi. So I feel like they both have certain sets of tools even though he doesn't like that whereas certain tools that you can use that don't necessarily apply to the other and so you well, should know them all regardless I, I don't disagree but what i what i'm looking at is like okay if you don't have a lapel and i can't choke you with a lapel that's one less thing you have in no gi right true and, but but and but, how many different lapel chokes are there so here's, I mean, realistically or no, like just throw a number i mean javi i mean I, there's Probably like a hundred different lapel right. chokes. Okay. That, so you know, how, like how many? How many? How many? How many different like chokes are there? Four chokes that actually exist with the lapels, and the, everything's a variation yeah, yeah, yeah. thereof. Right. So and then compare it to like a no gi. But my thing is that I'm not talking about specific submissions. I'm saying okay, so. Sorry, go, no, ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. Finish. Finish well, your thought. What I was trying to say was like yeah. just like as there's a level of lapel chokes, right? There's that same level of not having that lapel choke. So right. when you don't have it, right. there's still a level to being able to do stuff without having it. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. No, so no. I wasn't trying to get specific with submission. I'm right. just saying, You're just saying there's that. level one, lapel chokes. Well, level one, no gi, no lapel chokes. And there's still a level, you know <laughs> right, what I'm trying to right, say? Yeah, right. So level. that's what I'm trying right, to say. Right. So one of the things that's always annoyed me about the gi versus no gi debate, and you know, bear in mind, I come originally from a strongly no gi background, and I've also got like, I don't know, what is it, a dozen years of, of gi grappling now under my belt between judo, sambo, and jiu-jitsu. And everyone's always, like, the same bullshit gets cited to me over and over and over again about how gi is somehow more technical. And people will be like, oh, well, you know, in no gi, you could just pull out of an arm bar because you're sweaty. And I'm like... Well, yeah, I guess that's technically true. That means that you have to be way better at arm bars to finish them in no gi because you don't have a goddamn sleeve and collar to just tug on like training wheels. Right, right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So are you implying somehow that that no gi arm bar that's technically harder to finish because of your theoretically low skill escape of being sweaty, are you implying that somehow the gi will be better because I don't have to deal with that factor? No, I'll, I'll, I'll agree. It's different. Okay. But it doesn't make one more technical or have a different or, or, or more tools per se. Okay. Now, if, if you want to get into things that are specific to clothing, you know, like collar chokes can't be done without some manner of collar, obviously. I can't teach you worm guard without having, you know, the, Worms. the, the <laughs> yes, without it, but without having the, the, the lower skirt of the, 
uh, of the jack to hold on to. Okay, things like that. Yeah, absolutely, that, that's true. Those, but those are specific to both the uniform and the rule set. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you've only got a certain amount of time in your lifetime that you're ever going to learn techniques. Okay, like there, there's only so many moves that you're ever going to memorize. Sure, there's going to be sweeps that you can't do because of a lack of an article of clothing. You're still going to have other things you can do. You're still going to develop proficiency with those things. And as Omar was alluding to, very likely you're going to develop a high level of proficiency with those things because you don't have other things as options. Right. Okay. Uh, I don't like the idea that one is somehow inherently technically superior or possesses more than the other. I'll take you into a wrestling room anywhere in the country with a good skilled coach and you'll learn thousands of things that you've never seen before in your life that don't require any bit of clothing because you're not allowed to grab any of it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll do the same thing with a judo school. We'll go in there, we'll learn gripping that you can't do because it's not there. Both of them will be able to get to the end result of throwing somebody to the mat same way. I mean, it'll be different, you know, different grips, different, different setups, but same net result. Right. There and you go. Debate ended. Yeah. I don't want to hear that shit again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like to, because some people have questions. You know? Yeah, yeah, for I mean, sure. It just makes sense that everyone... You know, discusses it, you know? Yeah, they're both great. They're both different. Yeah. You know? I that's, mean, I enjoy I, doing that's both. Why that's why I'm, like that's why I'm buying a gi now. Yeah. I wish, I really, I really want you to I'm really going to buy the, the, the hypnotic gi, www.hypnotic.com gi. The hemp one. Well done. So mm -hmm. that through the end there. Yeah. Or www.mmawarehouse.com slash hypnotic. Lack of slaps <laughs> going on here for the record. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, but I really would like you to throw the gi on. Yeah, and I'm gonna submit your ass too. I, I, I don't have even no care if you did fetal guard. Not, you will definitely. <laughs> in the gate, fetal guard in the gate is probably effective though. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> it is. No, it's not, man. Because now no. when you neon belly, man, it sucks, dude. It sucks. <laughs> and there are a lot of collar chokes you can set up from neon belly. Yeah. So Ooh, I do that Andre pretty good. Smokes me with that shit. Dude. We'll, we'll also, work it, Omar. <laughs> also, you can just roll him over onto his belly, grab the collar, grab the the cuff of the pants, and just. I'm honestly, right I'm honestly more scared of Amber than I am. <laughs> you should be. She's Justifi a high level, man. <laughs> Justifiably so. Yes. I've been doing ghee for since January, so really not that. Have bad. you rolled with Amber yet? I have, yeah. Yeah, he's his grips. Oh my god, he's got like old man strength in those hands. Well, no he offense. is masters, <laughs> masters of <laughs> three strength. Please. Oh. <laughs> no, but even even when I was only doing no ghee, my Gi knowledge came from whatever Javi showed me the Wednesday night before a tournament when we would throw on a gi. <laughs> and, and your ability to implement that still shocks me to this day. Oh, that rolling bow and arrow is still my proudest like submission ever. <laughs> but um, but I was able to get away with not training gi but competing in it for like up through blue belt. It wasn't until purple when it's like, man, you really need to like if you're going to compete in this, you need to know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. Right. So it's. Like everyone hits that point that it's good to know both, and yeah. I feel like I've learned a lot from both, and I've taken a lot from every academy I've trained at, and it's just jujitsu is you know a plethora of knowledge, so take bits and pieces from everybody you go to and implement it the best you can yeah. to fit your game. I will say something, and this will probably sound like like rampant favoritism, but if I could only choose one, for the sake of practicality, I would choose no gi. Because I can't count, even in Chicago, I can't always count on somebody always having a lapel or a belt or whatever to grip. Like, it's very unlikely that I'm going to get into a, a street fight with a dude wearing, like, you know, Valley Tudo shorts or anything. But, but by the same token, if I'm not relying on particular grips, particular techniques like that, if I'm, if I'm focused on grappling strictly the opponent's body then that body will pretty much always be there in any confrontation. Yeah, but you don't necessarily have to do a grip to choke someone out or arm bar them or anything like no, that. No, no, you, you don't, but it's you, you fight the way you train. Right. Okay, so if you're focused on that, then you're... Yeah, I don't focus on my grips, per se. Me, I, I still haven't. You know, I still just focus on trying to go for the submissions, not as opposed to like, I don't, I don't, I don't have like a go-to, okay. like, oh, I get grip here, grip well, here. Then, hold on, start. hold on. If you're not focusing 
on the grip and the use of the clothing, mm -hmm. then you're basically doing no gi in a gi. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I'm focusing on when I have to choke you out, whether it be a bow and arrow or a collar choke, I know where I need to grip to do that. But I'm not, when I first start the match to get a hold of you, I'm not being like, okay, I'm going to grab the sleeve here. I'm going to grab the collar there. I'm mostly just concerned about getting under you or, or, or bringing you or sweeping you. So right. I'm not really like, oh, I got to have to grab here, grab here. I don't have like a go-to grip grab right away. So I'm not really focused on that that part of it. So you're, you're, in a, if, if I brought that to a street fight, I'm not looking. I would never no, no, look no. to be like, this, oh, this I got to grab like this a, guy. Dude, you can't bear and bolo in the street right, right. type argument. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, just I'm just saying, saying I'm, like, I'm not looking for like grips to like need need those grips to like. But if that was to happen on the streets, that would be sick. <laughs> <laughs> what, bear and bolo on the street? Who's actually done it at this point. Bear and bolo on the street? That would be sick. Bear and bolo on a street fight? Yeah, sure. That would be cool. Gym shoes and everything. There is that Kit Dale video where some guy bumps into him, he just sits on his butt and starts scooting down the sidewalk. So. <laughs> funny as shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah no i i just mean like no gi is more to my mind a universal cons constant it, it doesn't matter whether somebody has clothes on or not yeah you know a double leg is a double leg is a double leg right you know th there are absolutely throws that i've learned in judo chokes that i've learned in jujitsu techniques that i've picked up here and there from various jacketed arts that you know it's like when that's gone this move just does not exist you might be able to modify it in some way but now you're not doing the actual move anymore i see makes sense is this a combat this one? is combat this is yeah. so there, there's it's a, hard to tell because there's no combat there, there's a relatively low volume of slaps she throws one literally the second i start talking <laughs> sorry she threw thank two. you javi she threw two i i will Speak of the low volume of slaps repeatedly through this conversation, yes. just so she can for for the next twenty seconds. Anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. They're about to get oh even more guys, low volume on them slaps. Hmm. Eleven forty six. You have you have broken your own promise to yourself, sir. Yeah. Twelve o'clock. I'm definitely <laughs> definitely out <laughs> exiting the podcast, Bruno. So chop up some of my earlier conversations and throw them in the later. Just throw it on repeat. Uh, <laughs> 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 just go repeat some of the burns. Okay. Yeah, that's all. This is going to be a whole podcast of me saying getting after it. That's it. That's all it is. New hashtag for the podcast. Why does Eddie throw that thing up so fucking high? Because he knows it pisses me off <laughs> on a personal level. He knows. He's gotten to the point where he actually knows my name, recognizes my face, and he's like, that's the motherfucker that hates my coin toss. He does, yeah. I'm piss him off right now. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> he's making eye contact to the camera, hoping that you're watching. <laughs> Knowing that you're watching, I just don't know why we do it. I, I, I so Ly Lila can win this fucking thing, man. Holy fuck, she's tearing through people like Gio is tearing through people, like a woman on a mission. It's 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 impressive how she's. She's good, fuck, man. man. She could be Eddie's first female black belt. She Eddie, will be Eddie's first female black belt. She would be right because mm -hmm. there, there's no one. No. At her level at all, right? No. There's girls Cause... that have been training longer than her, but oh yeah, she's one that's like Cause... advancing pretty fast. Because when I got Is my she, purple, he's... there were only like ten of us. Does he have other brown belts? Is she the only brown belt? Mm -hmm. Uh, did Kim first and come in, or I know she's not really. Oh, she, she was already a brown belt. Yeah, now. that's what I thought. So Wait, Lila's so the only homegrown. Only. No. Um, planet brown belt. No. Lindsay, isn't she a brown belt now? Brandon's Brandon wife. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Is she just a purple? But, a but are we just about, a purple? Like, are we talking about Come just on. headquarters though? No, no just no. I'm second in the across system. The system. In the system. Mm. I know when I got my purple, I was like the tenth one. Like there weren't many women at all then, yeah. and that was two and a half years ago. Wow. And Lila got her shortly before me. Her brown. Purple. Purple. Wow. Lila just got her brown. That's long. Mm -hmm. Maybe a year of that. Really. I just got my black. Color. Did you? Mm hmm. Wow, it's, it's impressive, man. So fresh. It's <laughs> fresh. So what'd you do with that belt? And I, and what'd I you do with the actual belt? Like, where's it at? My house somewhere. Where? Is, you, it, <laughs> is it an A4? My house somewhere. I always got the really big ones. Wait, so that means I have to wear a black belt with the Magi? <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, God. Yeah, otherwise you're a sandbagger. That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, man. I could possibly get destroyed by somebody with one stripe, but it's a white belt. Okay. Doubt yeah, it, perfect. but... Yeah, I mean, yeah. what if like the match starts and he just like, bam, that'd be awesome. No. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, see that happening? Just shove their arms together and then they have no leverage. Okay, just remember. That's how you defend? <laughs> well, if they're doing a cross collar choke, just push their arms together oh, and they can no longer. You know how she was saying how like she would compete in the gi and everything that she knew about gi was from me? Like we would jam session at 10th Planet Chicago. She'd bring in her, her gi. I'd be like, yeah, defend this. If she gets like this grip and this grip, you know, that's trouble. So don't let that happen. You know, watch this. You know, like, like it was yeah, for, very, yeah, it, it's very easy to learn basic, you know, like super basic, like, oh, this is bad type stuff. For about three years, that was my gi training. I'd compete in every single tournament, both gi and no gi. I wouldn't be winning all my gi matches, but I'd, I wouldn't like get destroyed if I lost it, maybe on points or, uh, you know, I'd like win one, lose one, something like that. But yeah, submission wise, though, I learned one gi submission. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a fancy one. It was a, like, oh, was I literally showed it to her. I'm like, I shouldn't have done that. She's got comp like tomorrow. Like, I don't need to be filling her head with these fancy moves. And then she goes out and does it. And I was just like, I, I proudest I, moment I, today. I don't even know what to do. I don't even care about fight to win pro or my fight to win pro win. That was my most exciting submission. It was now brilliant. actually beating Crystal after she beat me like twice already was good, but she got the red naked choke. That shit, naked choke. So it's over because that was the yeah, bottom. Yeah, that was the bottom. bottom. Okay. Yeah. So now it's going to be Talita versus no, that's Gabby. Not, oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, back to, back I didn't to the... To, I didn't mean to say no. And yet you did. Yeah, Talita versus Gabby and then Silver Fox versus Lila. Grapple Union has me in front of 10 minutes. Is there anything you'd well, like to promote in that brief period? Of yeah. Time? Deadline Lombard open mat Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. That's it? No other class times? Nope. I'm closing the school down Monday through Saturday. <laughs> Damn. All open mat all the time. Very limited time. <laughs> How was today's open mat? We had about like 14, 15 guys. Nice. A lot of MMA guys. A lot of guys have fights coming up. Mm. Well, some people were doing stand-up stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. I, I didn't even, I rolled just for the last two matches because we had some new guy, some new like MMA fighter guy. And I just wanted to roll with him. He was kind of like running through people. Anytime I see somebody like kind of like running through people, I'm like, hmm. That's probably roll with that guy. Yeah. I always do that. I roll with everybody. Right. That new blood appears to not suck. I should check it out a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> when I went to O'Fallon for that. Uh, oh, how was that? It was good. It was good. I got. I, it was supposed to be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing. I didn't get there until Saturday. But Get up on that mic, Omar. Uh, um... <laughs> I taught the Saturday class at 10 in the morning. That was rough, though, because I rode, like, 20 <laughs> times. <laughs> you did? Like, 20 times, I'm not lying. How'd you do? <laughs> I'm a black belt. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that was good. Okay. What did you think of his school? It's fancy. Fucking nice, huh? They had, like, their own private, like, mat section on the side. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. That That's sounds really nice. no joke, man. That They're a lobby. Nice they got one. leather seats. Isn't it? A big old Buddha statue. Yeah, there. gangster. I just got like papers, picture painted, printed from the printer, <laughs> and my walls. You gonna print a Buddha? Is that the? Yeah, I got a printed plan? Buddha. Oh, you yeah. know I do have that um, that thing for you. I yeah, thanks, to bring bro. I appreciate that. Fuck. I'm glad. I'm glad you got the metamorphs thing. I got you. That's Dude, fine. that's gangster as fuck. It's so nice, man. Uh, so what is that, Zito? What are you talking about? Uh, Omar gave me, gifted me, the um, original um, Metamorris 3, um, bro, what's it called? Like the pamphlet that they give you when you get there? Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the program. The program, program guide. Yeah. yeah, the program guide for Metamorris 3 with uh, Eddie, Eddie and Hoyler. Hoyler yeah. And then at the Eddie Bravo seminar, Eddie signed it for me. Mm -hmm. so Super cool. Pretty cool. cool. So I have that. It's at the frame shop right now, getting framed. It'll go right up here on the wall. Uh, right up there? Yeah. In right that empty here. space right there. In this there. space over here. Oh, okay. Next to McGregor. Oh, snap. I didn't see that. Yeah. You got to get that signed. It is signed. By him? Yeah. How do you know? Because I got the certificate about that. What, what, what certificate, Zito? <laughs> because he's going to hunt him city. down in Vegas after <laughs> Masters Worlds and confirm. <laughs> well, that's going to be a hard one. Yeah. <laughs> so. You never know if he really signed that, though. I mean, 
I don't, but I'm just See, like, so it's just the valley just I mean, this is signed by Nick Diaz. Says who, though? You know, you know what? Hickson. Says who, though? They're signed by uh, Hoyce. And, but says know, who? According to these guys, yep. I don't know. You, you know see? what's not signed, though? What? The mat? What Omar's got to do it. He did, I did. He did already. Oh, did he? Did he sink yeah. it in when I wasn't looking? Yes. Damn it. He did it. First, th first thing he came in, I said, sign the fucking mat. Please. It's driving me crazy. I'm missing that one. Did it he was, put the proper number next to it? Omar was episode four. Yep. And it's been driving Zito nuts for 40 straight weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Almost a year, Omar. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't have the mat when he first right, came right. out. That's why. And then he never came back to any of our parties. Because I canceled on one of them. Right? Yeah. Yeah, man. You just I should have canceled off. today since I have a big testimony. That's true. You should have, man. <laughs> this is so definitely, I feel bad here because I did not know some of your worst like judgment long. ever. This is this was my wife's plan. like. You better not stay out late. You I'm better like, don't. Just, but you're gonna finish. But you don't have a far drive from here, right? It's only like 15 minute drive. 18 minutes to be exact. 18? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. But, Going to Google Maps with this traffic. Yeah. What's interesting is you are closer to Mineco's than anything. I should go there. You should stop by Open Mats on Saturday. What if I go there and I like, destroy Mineco? How would you feel? <laughs> I mean, I know it would never happen. What? And I wore a gi for the first time, and I was just like freaking destroying him. Just, oh, wow. What would you feel like? Would I don't you? know. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I, I would feel strange weird right like i, I go in there like, man i never trained I feel like i'm like taking off my belt and like wrapping around his leg <laughs> oh yeah, dude. i feel like omar is a fucking prodigy like, yeah i'm mean, like dude. never that be crazy but then i go in a tournament i lose first round to like a blue <laughs> belt. yeah white belt with one strike remember <laughs> right. what does that mean like man? i don't know man it's crazy i don't know it would mean maybe something. maybe that maybe you jumped him while he was sleeping on the mat or something that's no what, it would be what like. if he was awake i was like hey you want to roll <laughs> he was awake <laughs> Hey, bro, bro, you want to roll? You wanna roll could you, uh, you tie sleep, me up for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't get any worse than at uh, the Jean Jacques seminar. We had one of the guys put on my gi because he never worn one before. And he put the pants on backwards. So always make sure you don't put the pants <laughs> the on backwards. Dude, how about Eddie calling out that kid in front of everybody that he uh, wore the rash, rash guard? Is backwards. He, he goes, hold Dude. on, let me look at it. Yeah, it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid, man. He's a wearing a white belt rash guard, and he's like. Uh, <laughs> your rash guard backwards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did he change it? No, no, no he left it on the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Well, he told him at the end of the seminar. Oh, okay. I mean, was yeah, he he could have potentially changed it, but there was no point. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny, dude. I was like, damn, man. Dude. How was the seminar? It was good. I got yeah. my black belt. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No city Bravo seminar ever for oh, man. No, no, no conspiracy talk and a little bit. Yeah, he he, he, he dabbled, dabbled on it. He dabbled. He, yeah. yeah, he saw sprinkled the, it in. He, he he saw that the room was not interested and for once opted not to pursue it anymore. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, he's so. learning to read people better. Right. Mm. He may have actually saw me reach for a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he he came in town and then left the same day. He always does that. Yeah, yeah that's the, that's been the thing for a while now. Yeah, I like that. So you didn't do the rolling on Friday night or anything? He didn't roll because he's injured. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a text that Friday saying he was in town. I was like, that's nice. Like I'm in Lombard. I was like, that's really far. <laughs> How were you far from me? Well, I was I was in a north suburb mm -hmm. at the time, so I was like, I'm not coming to Lombard right now. I should have. <laughs> I would have rolled with you in the gi. Yeah, I had to ref that Saturday otherwise. Mr. Opportunity. I know. I know. Could wrap him up like a Christmas present. What do you think he is, like an A2 or an A3? Well, I mean, with those guns, A2. got you. I'm an A2. But... Go, get your, go get your gi out of the car. Let's try it out for him. Yeah. I need to know what size to bring him because I could steal an A2 from Aaron. Okay. Bring him an A2. Well, size him up. How tall are you? 5'11". How tall Jesus. are you? Jesus. You're not that tall, are you? See, I all said the same thing. <laughs> Milos, Milos called me out one day because I don't. Why did I had to send you, like you, a picture of my license you to you to for me. something yeah, or whatever? And Milos tickets. was like, "You're a five eleven, and they measured me, and I'm like, "There, there you go, five eleven. Yeah, he is five eleven. Yeah, yeah. five eleven. You're taller than me. I'm he's taller than half the guests, so it doesn't surprise. I'm five nine, me. so he's taller than you then. I mean, no. basically everyone in the room is taller than me, so. Yeah. Why does this matter? Should I go get my gi? Don't get your gi. I'm not going to try it. I'm, I'm leaving in two minutes. 
So you're just talking shit jump, this whole time. Jump him in the park. I think you're an A2. I'll, I'll borrow one from Aaron. And <laughs> Amber's looking to kick my ass. No, I just think it'll be fine. We'll get this on video. Hell and then no. I'll come back to the podcast and talk all about it. Talk so mad shit. Open that next here. week's Sunday. Yeah. 10, 10 to 12. Oh. You're coming? Oh, no. Uh, next Sunday. With my gi. We have the women's open mat next Sunday yeah, at Seraphins. Dude. Yeah, we You're not invited win. to that one, Gisela. Yeah, sorry. No, sorry. I, I don't need to go to that one. Yeah, you, we don't want you to get your lip busted play. again and then yeah, I don't post it on the ball. podcast Fuck and my blue belt's getting beat by girls. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look at Amber. Like, no, we'll see. Zito's good. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to see when I can go out on a Sunday. I think the week after that, Chicago Open. Yeah, that's the yeah, Chicago Open. Chai and... Uh, Chai, Chai Sarasute and Ray Ray will be in town, but they're not competing at the open because, like, supposedly the registration closed. Wait, well, they're coming for the Nogi. Yeah, yeah, the Nogi yeah. registration yeah. Why closed. Why did they sign up a month ago? I'm not sure. Well, then Why August twentieth, you signed. have three weeks to get a gi. I'm training for three weeks in the gi. You're you screwed. Do, you do it. You I've do trained that. not less than three weeks in the gi. You <laughs> possibly defeat me. I will continue training two days. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> And we'll make sure Pedro teaches me everything he knows. Pedro Viana? Viana, yeah. All right, Talita. Yeah, let's see some quick finishes here, please. Ooh, well, neither of these girls have been Midnight. able to give a quick finish, so. Yeah, I'm going to stay for a bit. Bro, I got to get up at 5.30. No, dude, you can go. Get, get out. You can get go out. Out. It's not even like a regular, it's like some pre-military, like, stand attention. And all the Are you trying to convince right. us or are you trying to convince yourself? I don't. I don't want to go. I want to watch Lila since yeah, she beat my other girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll t I can. I'll just text you what happens. Play by play. Talita is rough, yo. Well, so is this other girl. She's fighting right now. Ooh. She's... Oh damn! She's... That was like rape choke. Yeah, yeah, that that was. I thought she was gonna choke slam her. They're like, I mean, Gabby looks angry. Break fingers here. That, on that each girl, other. That's, that's her face the whole time. She's got like resting bitch face. She's like, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such a ferocious competitor because of my <laughs> resting bitch face syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, arm drag. Ooh. Let's, okay, someone just sit down. Let's go. I have a yeah. feeling they've gone against each other before. Oh, really? Yeah, they just they look like they've had. Anyone tell, these, no had this exchange? Anyone tell these ladies there's no points? Because Talita hasn't been a black belt for that long, and Gabby's a brown belt. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And I mean, Gabby's uh, out of Gracie Umada, San Diego. Talita's now with a, a Cobrinha, but I think she switched teams. I really want to know this. Now I'm going to Google it. You confirm your story. <laughs> you can usually tell by like looking into people if they've like... Have a little bit of a history. Yeah. This would have been a, this would have been a perfect combat you just imagine. This one, yeah. Disu going at it that one. What's the next EBI? Has that been announced yet? Yeah, they just announced October twenty second. Uh, lightweights. Okay. So Gary Tonin defending his belt. Okay. That that one I should have done. Orchard's on that one too. Is he? He's, in, he's doing the. Isn't he doing the combat on that one? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, Did he tell us he was? What the hell? Or was that on the DL? Shit. That was something you were supposed to say. <laughs> I don't know. No, I believe he said that on air. I can't sure? remember. You sure, we talked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Omar, you can come back for that one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this might be the last one we do. Be honest with you. <laughs> Four we hours. We can't do this anymore. Yeah. What should we do? Should we release this in two parts? Like a Monday no and a Tuesday? I, 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 like I, the to, problem is this. Tomorrow and Tuesday. The problem is that it takes, because we're, our pockets are so fucking long, it takes people so long to catch up that it fucks with our numbers a little bit. Because it'll take people like, you know, two weeks to listen to this fucking four or five hour podcast and they're going to be like, and then next week numbers aren't going to be as, you know what I mean? Then it'll, yeah. It takes a little longer to... Gotcha. I'll promise you this right now. I ain't getting through this on a Tuesday. No fucking no. Way. Yeah. All right, guys. I think I gotta go. Go All ahead, Omar. Dude, it's it's, uh, just, it's just, midnight, man. Just want to say thank you to everybody listening here. Um, Ten Planet Lombard Open Mat Sunday, 10 a.m. 12 noon. 
<laughs> you heard him. www.hypnotic.com. <laughs> Don't forget about the seminar. Chai Sirisute, Black Belt, Head Instructor, Ted Plant, Long Beach, Ray Ray Brown Belt from Headquarters. And that is. And they'll be in, they'll be there from Wednesday. Let me see. Are they teaching classes or just seminar? The 8th, August 8th until that Monday or Tuesday. Uh, they're doing the seminar Friday, but I'm going to have them run my classes for me during the cool. week. So, That's great. If you guys want to get tapped out by a black belt. Always. And a brown belt. Yeah, it's always a good time. Ray Ray's your size, man. I've, I've rolled with him at HQ. What do you, how did you do? He wrecked me. Really? Yeah. Because I was white belt at the time. I mean, was, yeah, <laughs> I mean, but now you're, now you're a four-stripe white belt. It's different. <laughs> In the gi, in the gi, in the gi. No, you're three stripe. I'm three stripe blue. Oh shit! Yeah, come on. Damn, you're about to be a purple belt, dude. No, not even close. (laughs) Why not? I don't know. It takes a long time. Hey, we'll see after Masters World. You never know. Yeah, dude. You never know. That's gonna be your best chance to like test yourself. We totally missed what just happened here. Headbutt. Hopefully, a submission. I gouge. Yep, I gouge. Um, there you go, combat. More combat in this one than the last one. Yeah, that's for sure. You know what I mean? Mm. Well, this is yeah. to get to the finals. All right, guys. I yeah. love you guys. All right, love you all, Mark. Love you. See you, buddy. Yeah, man, yeah, man I'm done. All I'm right. good. I mean, I'm going to stay and watch this, but I'm just, yeah. I'm all right, well, fucking wrap it up. Say right. goodbye to the people. Amber, you got any sponsors or any shout outs you want to make? Nothing official, but if Omar is throwing out his open mat, Viana Brothers Jiu Jitsu in Chicago, we have open mat Thursday nights, 7 o'clock till 9 usually, or Saturday mornings uh, starting at 11. Anybody's welcome, uh, especially women. We'll do the women's open mats there. And also, speaking of women's open mats, uh, next Sunday or this upcoming Sunday, August. What's the, yeah, what's the date of that? It's the 6th, right? Yeah, August 6th. Um, Jen Z, who's been on the podcast, uh-huh. is bringing in some people from Vegas, and we're doing a Rowdy Rollers open mat up at Seraphins and Evanston. So women, all ages, kids, everybody, come up, get some training from 1 to 3. Awesome. Cool. The Hav, 13, you got anything? Uh, just the usual. Invertedgear.com, Fight Chicks, my, my diehard fans. Um, we've got the seminar coming up this this week with uh, uh, John Callistine and, and Matt Kaplan, mm-hmm. but I actually don't know that there's any benefit to advertising it since we're basically at capacity. Right. So, um, yeah, unless it, it, unless suddenly I get like 20, 30 more people being like, I want to sign up, I want to sign up, and then I'm going to have to try to figure out some way to get something going on. Right, right. <laughs> you know? Bigger space. A double seminar or something crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, no. Beautiful. Cool. All right, boys. All right, thanks, guys. See ya. Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us on another episode of Grappler Union. Siri, how can our listeners find out more info? For more information about Grappler Union, you can visit them on the web at grapplerunion.com or follow them on Instagram and on Twitter at Grappler Union. Like them on Facebook at facebook.com slash Grappler Union. Also be sure to subscribe on iTunes. All episodes are available on the Grappler Union YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe. Anthony, I really enjoyed the podcast. Can't wait to hear the next one. Thanks, Siri.